Hey, you two bobos in there, you gotta be quiet. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Corporate Brian. <laughs> Shut up. Mr. Bazelot. Okay, sorry. Liar, liar, pants on fire. <laughs> All right, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll handle it in a minute. Okay, we'll be there. We'll be there in a minute. Sorry, Except guys, a little technical difficulties this afternoon, this morning. Um, but thank you, everyone, for coming in. Yep. 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 You you teaching two blind guys, one deaf guy, and three people who can't listen to you how to put a DVD into a VCR. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing here. Absolutely. Good morning, Brian. Good, Good morning. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Oh, yeah, afternoon. Afternoon. Afternoon on the East Coast. Morning anyway. somewhere. It's afternoon morning somewhere, somewhere else. I'm sure where you guys are. It's time to start drinking. Yeah. It's five o'clock. Woo! Hi everyone, I'm T Auctions for you, for those of you who do not know who I am. And this is Brian, Mr. Bicelot. I'm Brian. <laughs> I'm Brian today. I was T yesterday. Yes, oh yeah, that's right. Hi Toilet Girl. Hey everyone. We'll Look, see it's everyone Toilet Girl 2. I see Toilet Girl, oh, Toilet Girl 2. We have a new one. That, no, that's, she's going number two. Ah, okay. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Good morning, Scarlett. <laughs> all right so thank you guys so much for coming in um we are going to just say hi hi oh, there's donna good morning good afternoon donatella modellino excited to be here thanks uh-oh not sure why it's doing that okay. we're on a new computer thanks for including me yes so guys donna's going to be joining us probably halfway through around the three o'clock hour because usually on my channel at three hi, Kathy. on sundays we do do an auction so we figured, why not? Let's let's bring Donna in. Yep, we'll bring Donna in at three o'clock. Hey, KK. You guys are going to see Mr. Bazelot in the middle of a threesome. Not the good kind either. <laughs> good morning, Jennifer. And what's that supposed to mean? Because I'm going to get yelled at a bunch. <laughs> it's like being married to six women at one time. He's surrounded by a lot of women. No, oh. that's not true. Today you kind of split. We're so Actually, Pam and I are the underdog today. No, no, no. David counts as a woman. <laughs> My son, sometimes I'm not sure. No, stop. That's not tr true. <laughs> That's not true. Hey, Jennifer. Good morning. Mama G, thank you for dropping the link. Yeah, but Donna, we appreciate tell us it. Come if anybody in later. needs to register for the auction, please go ahead and drop it in there. Um, Pat Dees was here last night. I was out womanized. And um, go ahead and fill that form out so we can get you eligible to bid. If anybody does not have a wrench right now, all that means is you're eligible to bid. It means we verified your information that you've sent to us and you are able to bid. It does not mean you're a moderator. We have our own moderators. Um, Which and is Mama G. Mama G and Janine. And Janine. And uh, they, they'll uh, decide if there's anybody else who's pitching in or helping out, if they have to step away for any reason. Um, that's how it'll go. We feel like we're lagging. Are, Are we, we lagging? lagging? I don't know. Guys, let us know if we're lagging. Hey, KJ. I think we're probably good. Thank you, KJ. I feel like it's taking a minute for that to come up, too. But that's all right. That's just me. That's StreamYard. I always look at it on, on regular YouTube. Hey, Scotty. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate you guys being here. Hey, Scott. I always put my interweb on the YouTubes. There's Janine. Hi, Janine. And good morning, Carolyn. Hey, hey, hey. For those of you that hey. popped in this morning for coffee, sorry we caught, cut it close, but it was just we were both out and about and kind of just working on our day. Backpack treasures. Good afternoon or good morning. And let's see who else is good in morning, the house. Good morning, Mr. Coleman. Thank you, thank you. Sandal Ray is here. Hey, Sandal. Hey, Ray. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate you. Oh, we're going to have some Pokemon. Oh, my God. We have so much stuff, guys. So much. She started looking through the pile in the front. She's like, well, what about this? What about that? What about this? I'm like, we already got like 60 lots ready. Jesus. <laughs> oh, well. We have to go to midnight. We're we running we'll to to 12 hour marathon today. Hey, Ken. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. There's Frank Perez. Hey, Frank. Janine, are you related to Ash Catchem? He's the little kid that runs around and catches them little critter Pokemons. Hey, Jen. This is what happens when I listen to Redneck Resale in the morning. I start talking. Oh, you're talking a little I start talk. I start talking a little down south. A little down south. Like, well, like, you better I, get used to it if we're going down south. I was born in North Carolina, <laughs> so I naturally have that accent. 
Hey, Susanna. No, I get called that on my accent all the time, and it's it's not even Long Island. It's South Bronx. <laughs> I spank yeah. I, wait, no, I don't spank Yankees. Maybe depends on what she looks like, and if she's smart, she's gotta be smart. Okay. S- surround yourself with smarter people than you. Hey, Christopher, thanks for coming in, honey. She gotta have five fingers, five toes. Miss Bonnie. Most and, of her uh, teeth, and not be able to bench press me. Don't like them. They're stronger than me. All right. Scary. Okay. Sorry. That's okay. I'm in one of those moods today. That's people. all right. That's all right. It's all good. We're going to have fun today. Kyle Elliott is here. Thank you, Kyle. Borderline hoarderish Kimmy Kimberly in the house. Thanks for coming in, guys. For everybody else who's jealous that T's losing all this weight so fast, if you agree that for every item we sell, she should do a shot, <laughs> you should put one in the comments. No. No, 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 no. Her hotel room's already paid for tonight. She don't gotta go nowhere. I'll drive her. <laughs> Robbie can make fun of her. <laughs> he makes fun of me anyway. Oh, Doesn't well. matter. <laughs> Simply Dana, how are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. All right, guys. Sixty-six of you here already. See that? Look, they all want to see you drinking. Oh my goodness! Look at the ones. Oh, stop yes. playing into them. Oh, yes, my God. It's going to be five against one here. She's on She's on our Wi-Fi. All right, Jen Bennett. No problem. If you guys are registered with me and you're here today, gotcha. um, it's it's no big deal. We'll make sure we get you wrenched up. And um, gotcha, Jen as Bennett. long as you guys are okay with it, I will share your information with Brian. If you're one of my customers and um, you you don't have a wrench, we'll get your wrench, and I will share your information. And if you're one of my customers and you want to be one of T's customers, and you will because there's something special coming out. We're going to announce. Yep, yep. We're going to announce it. We are. Okay. All right. And you guys will want to be there because she's starting to buy like I buy. <laughs> and uh, let's put it this way. I offered to buy what she bought without her touching it. And she won't sell it. No. No privilege here. Hey, Vintage Memories. Hey, Shell UK. Patties with the two dollars super sticker. Thank you, Patties. Audio and video is not matching. Yeah, I didn't think so. I had a feeling I could see the lag. I can see how it's lagging a little bit. Hey, Tammy. Dawn and Mary are here. Hey, guys. Thank you. Nance P is here. Thank you. Stay loyalty. Thanks. Brian Maroney in the house. Heidi Leslie is here. Thank you guys for all. Ribbit. Froggy's here. Froggy. Fronini. Oh, chat is jumping. Tamara's here. Simply Dana says she's Simply waiting Dana. to win the Powerball so she can buy you out. Hey, whatever. You okay. buy me. Look, buy me out. Harold's I'm going to move Sicilian. down south, build my building. I'm going to start a living. And I'm then we'll buy it back for me, maybe, or some of it. I'm buy some of it. Never know. There's a deal in Maryland that I'd like to buy. It's a million dollars, but. Yellow Brick Road reselling. What's going on? 80 million items. 80 million items. One time, one shot. That's right. how you know you're a buys a lot. When you buy 80 million items in one purchase. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Soul is selling. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hi, everybody. So thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming in today. We so appreciate it. I'm sorry if I missed anybody. 72 of you here already. And um, we're going to have an auction. So just to recap, I'm T, auctions for you. This is Brian, Mr. Beisel. I'm Brian. You should know that if we're over here on Brian, Brian's channel. T's becoming Mrs. Beisel. Thank you to Brian. Oh, um, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. It's she all bought good. five five storage units, 10 by 20 feet. Yeah. Lots more coming yeah. into them, and they're full. Loaded. Old toys, toys, turtles, cards. sports cards, rock yeah. and roll memorabilia. Yeah. Guys, it's going to be fun. going to be fun. going to be fun. All right. So let's. Um, oh, we're going to be over on the phone. Yeah. Let's um, get set up here and we'll get a couple of you wrenched who we need to get wrenched. Remember, you do need to be registered to bid. We'll verify with one another. If you're one of my customers, you're one of Brian's customers. And we will um, start Farmer. the auction. Farmer. <laughs> I'm still at work. Hopefully, be back later. All right, farmer. We'll 
We'll be here. I promise. Farmer, but we got the porns for you. Oh, yeah, Farmer. Got some porn today. Got some good stuff today. So spread the word. Spread the word. Like spread the... Never mind. No, don't go there. <laughs> it's, it's too early. <laughs> Maybe later. It's afternoon. <laughs> Maybe later. I've been like this since 9 o'clock this morning. Hello, Zygon Tiger. Yes, rock and roll. Oh, my God. Signs, rock and oh, roll stuff. It's oh going to be God. fun. It'll be fun. It'll I actually have fun. to go out there now to help her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to use his expertise. Yes, Toilet Girl. We're going to have a little bit of that. Yep. 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 If we get some bids. We're going to have a lot of that in one big lot. The more the bid goes, the bigger the lot is, and it will be uh, some stuff. Absolutely. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's get started. Okay. Where do you guys want to start? All right, start. we're going to switch it over. We're going to switch the camera over. Let's do... Uh, I'm going to take the banner down. Oh, i got to put my banner up. I'll put it back start with this one? Okay. We're going to start with that one. Right. Let me put my banner up. There you guys go. Okay, you can okay. get your mic muted this time. Okay, now we just got to know if you, they can hear us. All right, can you guys hear us? Can you guys hear us talking? I feel like sometimes this one picks up better than that one, but we'll see. see there we go. They got us, yes. Okay, awesome. Hey, Liz, is Wiley. Okay, folks, we're going to get underway. And gonna sell you guys some stuff. You know me, I'm all business. <laughs> Said that with a straight face. So we got G.I. Joe's Comet Magazine. It's gonna be a nice little lot of miscellaneous stuff. 1988. All right, this, this is, is gonna number this lot number 55. Yep. We're gonna continue yep. from yesterday. We're gonna start with lot number 55. And starting bid's gonna be ten dollars on this lot. Guy Richter's Gamekeeper. So this is a graphic novel hardback, still sealed. Mickey Mouse, 50 Happy Years. Has a lot of great Mickey cartoons and different memorabilia shown inside. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, making of a classic film, 50th anniversary, hardbound book. Uh, I don't know exactly what year it is. All right, Leslie's going to start us off at 10. 1987. Harold's in for 12 now. This is actually a really good piece. Um, the early comic price guides are good. This is hey, Hi, this is number six. The first one sells for like a Sorry, lot. Sorry, guys, if we missed you. I don't know what happened. I apologize. 14 now from yep. Leslie. So this is Overstreet's comic book price guide number six with Spirit on the front. It does have pen writing right there. A little mark. Then you have a hardbound Pinocchio, and then it's also written in some other language. It sounds pretty. We have Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas. Harold Sicilian now at 16. Harold would put this in here specifically without Pam seeing it. Monsters, Inc. Yeah, we're, we're fine. Monsters, oh, yeah, Inc. Essential yeah. Guide hardback. <laughs> hardcover. Oh, got to cover that up. She's out of here. She can hear us. Chicken Little hardcover. Dust jacket. A hardbound A.A. A. Milne's The Complete Tales of Winnie the Pooh. This is... And these are all in great shape. This is 1992-94. How is that possible? We don't have the mic on over there. The yeah. mic's right here, my collar. Oh, that's why. Yesterday we had it the other way around. Yep. This is a tally book for something. Leslie Wiley in for There's 18 now. A housekeeping book. This is 1920s. It was a giveaway from Dr. Miles Remedies. Harold now at 20. This was kind of gruesome, but it is an old postcard of somebody in a casket. Modesty Blaze, another uh, graphic novel paperback, first American edition, and a comic book. So you get all of that for your bid. And we have Harold in at 20. First slot is out. 
nice group, especially with all the, the Disney and Nightmare Before Christmas, Pinocchio. This is awesome. Number six. It's a good book. Very sellable. Snow White. Mickey Mouse. And another hardcover. And a G.I. Joe book. All right. Leslie is out. Kyle Elliott's in at 22 now. And guys, we got 50 lots done yesterday, or 51 lots. So we started with number 55 today, just so that we can make sure that we're not double numbering anything. 24 now from Harold. But we're going to shoot for, oh, 100 lots today. Sounds good. 100 lot shot. And we can have the front of this place cleaned up a little bit because I have a pallet of... 26 now from Kyle. Really old stuff coming in this week. I have 10,000 1800s and early 1900s photos coming. CDVs, cabinet cards. Harold now at 30. 10 types. Embryo types, daguerreotypes that I bought out of Florida. So it's coming up here. I bought it blind. I didn't even see it. All right, Kyle is out. We're going to call it Harold going once. We sell mystery boxes and we buy mystery pallets. And we're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning. Hi, Spencer. Hey, Spencer. We're going to be sold to Harold. I think Spencer heard we had Pokemon cards yesterday. Oh, okay. We have more today, Spence. We do. We have the rest of that group. Okay, I don't know nothing about records. So, uh, as you all know, I sold most of mine to T, and then somehow we get more. Darn things keep growing in this warehouse. So, Vera Lynn. These are 45 London. $10 shipped to start, guys. James Barton, paint your wagon. This is some kind of box set. With extra records, even has the little sleeves in between each one of them. Really nice shape. A couple of sleeves. Uh, nut character sweet. Elisa, we did some yesterday, but we'll do more today. Yeah, this is something different. Turn back the hands of time as Eddie Fisher. It's not Nutcracker. Sayer mine again. Jamie Hutton. Or Elsa. I'm sorry, Elsa. Then you get into the Nutcracker suite. It's down there. So there's a couple extras on the top of this one. So we'll take those out. But then the rest of the set is down in there. This is by Tchaikovsky. Uh, yeah, Anytime by Eddie Fisher. The Ames Brothers, UUU, and Once Upon a Tune. Lawrence Welk. My Love for You and Riders in the Sky. Harry Como. Don't Let the Stars Get in Your Eyes. And Kyle's going to start us off at 10. Wedding Bells by the Four Aces. Three Coins in the Fountain. Uh, I can't, I have no clue what that is. Grige Pierre Zint. I don't know. By the Cincinnati Orchestra. We have Doris Day. I've got to sing all these, I'll weigh all these blues. Whatever will be, will be. I know who she is. Don Cornell, that's the chance you take. And I'll walk alone on the coral label. Dinah Shore, Sweet Violets, and If You Turn Me Down, High Society, uh, Bing Crosby, and Frank Sinatra, Gogi Grant, never heard of him, that's on Era Records label, usually if I hadn't heard of him, I worry more that it's really good, Mitch Miller, um, Mystery Records, yeah. An old wax bag with some records in it. Oh, this is Plantation. This is Harper Valley PPA. My mom used to sing that. Yesterday, all day long, today. Long Lonesome Red by C.W. McCall. The Breakup Song by the Greg Kind Band. Eddie Fisher again, Just to Be With You and Many Times. Another boxed set, first piano quartet encores. And inside... 
Nope, can't tell this one's African lullaby. Oh, maybe I can. Cest Sebon by Eartha Kitt. Thank you, Spencer. Spencer, I think I have your registration. You're good. Colonies Jose Iturbi. It uh, Zing a little zong. Helen O'Connell. So these are just extras that are in the top of this box. And then this is red. You can see through this. And the record is red. That's kind of cool. Moment musical. The mo the music box. And then here is the set of records that go in this. Looks like they're red too. So this one might be part of the set because the records themselves that are in here are all red. Lullaby, Italian polka. This one is something else. So here, are these three records are the ones for this box. I guess. Three Sons. As we've seen. Nope. That one is definitely Three Sons. This one is Tony Bennett. So this one's an extra. This one is the Three Sons. And the bottom one is the Three Sons. So there's that box set. Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. This one. Oh. That one's red also. I like when they're not just a plain black. Tychos ah, Tychoski. Concerto number one. Again, these are red too. Three, four, five, six. There's seven records in this box. I don't think they're all part of it. Should I tell you how many records? It doesn't. A couple of bonuses in there. Yeah. Lombardo Land. Guy Lombardo. I had some Guy Lombardo records once. Ah, Sweet Mystery, Red Seal Record. Oh, Indian Love Call, Janet McDonald, Nelson Eddy. So that one obviously is not. From Lombardo Land, Al Goodman and his orchestra, Leroy Anderson. And then you get into the Guy Lombardo stuff. The ones that are actually supposed to be in here. So they're in there. Uh, some kind of concert. Both records are there. Here's a sleeve for the Three Sons. So this might go to that Three Sons box set. So I'm going to put this inside of the Three Sons box set. Just in case it's extra, it's an extra. Charlton at 12 now. And then you have Les Syphilides. Leslie at 14. Right? That's Syphilides, not Syphilis, right? Yeah. Syphilis. Okay. Oh, this actually is, um, you know like what, this. this is, scratch that. We have Kyle in at 10. We have Keep It Gay with Perry Como. My chat is still catching up on StreamYard. Perry Como. We have Leroy Anderson, Bell of the Ball. Vic Domain, April in Portugal. And Boston Pops Orchestra, Song of India. Those are extras. And then here are the three. For lace supplied. Cyclids. Okay, vintage memories at by twenty-two. Sh by Chopin. Actually, Joe is at twenty-two first. Let's throw that in the garbage right there. It's a nice little lot. Um, don't know much about records. They just kind of wind up showing up whenever we buy houses. Because everybody had records back in the day. Some of them are super valuable and some of them are not. And well, the most valuable thing in my life is time and, and people around me. So, yep. yep Purple she's, Lily she's now at 24. Oh, no problem. Yeah, it's Purple Lily. It's Lily. Twenty six now from Vintage Memories. So it's a nice big group for sure. 
and they all looked like they were in really good shape, and a lot of them are red vinyl. Sometimes the obscure sell better than the uh, Oh, for sure. Pop. Yep. So we have Vintage Memories in at 26. Joe, if you want to be in, you got to be in at 28. Twenty-eight from a purple lily. Oh, I always watch it. Whenever I yeah. watch these, I always watch them just on YouTube. Oh, on StreamYard, yeah. This this does tend to not lag as much as StreamYard. Oh, really? Gotcha. All right, Vintage Memories is out. We have Lily in at twenty-eight. Joe is out. All right, we're going to go once to Lily at 28. I have a little bit of records in front of us, so we'll, we'll do those and just kind of get them out of the way because I'd like to make space on the table for some bigger items. And we're going to go twice now. As I promised you guys today, we're going to do some concert T-shirts, some concert posters getting mixed in, vintage clothing, Pokemon cards, silver coins. I have two extremely valuable items that we are going to put up for sale today. Uh, you guys in, in my group and T's group always seem to treat us right. So I'll take the risk and gamble and sell you guys stuff. All right. Sold to Lily for 28. Thank you, Lily. Nice buy, I believe. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So I'm going to – I have a giant box of records here in front of me. So I'm going to make it into a couple lots because Lord only knows what's in it. Um, and we'll just count and if you guys want a lot bigger we'll go bigger so West Side Story Columbia actually it looks pretty nice so you got the West Side Story obviously the moisture it has moisture on the uh, sleeve the best of big bands. There's a couple records in there. Best of big bands. Singers. Uh, Shep Fields, Warren Tucker, Dance Date 38. So if there's something here that's special, guys, and you want to see something special out of the lot, let me know. So these are LPs. Holiday Music, Custom High Fidelity, Bama, Hit Parade, Islands in the Sun, King and His Knights, I Like Men by Peggy Lee. That's probably good. Three times dope live from the something something. So this is 3XD. It is a nice looking record. But my guess is this is early rap. So that is probably a really good piece. From right, Act Kyle, Nicholas. Three. Off at 25. This is an empty sleeve. Right here I can tell whenever I thought of it. Nice and easy. We'll put the wrap onto the sides because it's kind of different in genre. Hawaiian Eye. That's pretty cool. Original music and stars from the Warner Brothers hit television show. So that's kind of cool. Drifting and Dreaming, Bing Crosby. Jose Jimenez and in Jollywood, starring Bill Dana. We have Shotgun. Cool, Bad, and Funky. That one's kind of neat. It says, ownership reserved by ABC. Sale is unlawful. For promotion only, it says right here. Right there on the top. But that's kind of cool. Right over there. We have Led Zeppelin 3. And it's got a nifty little turn style. Change pictures. And let's see. The, let's see. So Led Zeppelin. There's the record. Both sides look really nice. Lightwear. They're played. Okay, Midwest Picker. So we have Tommy the Who. So 
So I don't know how many records are supposed to be in this one. It's got two. Tommy the Who, their stereophonic, their Deca label. And thirty dollars now from Vintage Memories. Opens up like this, and then there's another record on this side. So there's two records in here. I don't know how many it's supposed to have, and there's a booklet. I just don't know if there's supposed to be a third record inside the center or not, or if that's where the booklet was supposed to go. So you got Tommy the Who. Let's make it a big one. Christmas favorites. Men of Destiny obviously has JFK introducing Billy Durkin. Roger Williams, Songs of the Fabulous 50s. Christmas Sing Along with Mitch. This is a, a book with you know, karaoke style. It's got the words and the record. Welcome, Matt Dennis. This is a Jubilee LP. It's kind of neat. Strolling Mandolins. The 50s Greatest Love Songs and Golden Hits to Remember. Christmas in New York. Special Collector's Edition. The Sally something, 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 something. 1931. This one feels like... There we go. It is the correct record. I check them every now and then just to make sure. Film on film, great movie themes. From Born Free, Hawaii, Paris Smiles, theme from Lady L, Two Loves, Alfie. What? <laughs> I know if I'd say Alfie, she'd sing. <laughs> Bells of Easter, Mario Lanza, my Son, the President, a musical sapphire featuring Christopher Weeks. This is actually cool. She's just sitting on the White House lawn. Do you think that's what Biden's mom looks like? Or is that Trump's mom? I don't know. Frank Sinatra, a swinging affair. Old Blue Eyes himself. The Ice Man Cometh by Jerry Butler. Tata Vega. Totally Tata. And inside you get to see your Tata. No Tata's in there. Bella Barth. That one says censored, not for airplay, for adults only. Look at this. <laughs> if I embarrass you, tell your friends. After Hours Records. That's probably pretty good too. See, we get some weird stuff here. Mandolino. Make love to me. To me. Liberty. Julie London. All right, Kyle. Kyle wants to know if he needs to show his ID to play that one. <laughs> Hot Piano, Honky Tonk. Hapo Hallahan on a Ricky Trick. On a Ricky Ticky. Here we go. Tina Marie, Wild and Peaceful, includes I'm a Sucker for Your Love and I'm Gonna Have Make Call and Deja Vu. It's on a Motown label. That's kind of neat. Okay, so I think this is probably, is this half of it? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we made the box into two lots. So you get this lot. Like I said, this is probably really good because it's early wrap. Parental Advisory, Explicit Lyrics. Okay, so you get this giant stack of records. I don't know how many is in there. A bunch. Probably more than 50 that I can say. Because usually I do lots of 25, and that's at least double. So go ahead and start counting it down. See where we're at. Two, three. All right, we're going to go once to Kyle. Go twice now. There's the who. 36, 7, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. 36 records. Lots of doubles there. Yeah. 
And we're going to be sold to Kyle Elliott. Kyle stole that one for $40. Nice buy, Kyle. Awesome, Kyle. We need a label for it. Okay. So we're getting a label, guys. We're going to start the next slot. No, not any of that yet. So I believe this should be lot number, what, 58? Yep. Okay. So it's a lot 58. Music of Rogers and Hammerstein, Carousel. It's got some weight to it. Good. Starry-eyed Margaret Whitting, Whiting, Capital High Fidelity. Good afternoon, Bluegrass Picker. How you doing, Anthony? Living Stereo, Janet McDonald, Nelson Eddy. Tony Martin on DECA. Songs of Our Times. For dancing, for listening, 1918. Howdy, Russell. Soft and sweet, the three sons, RCA Victor. Memories, sing along with Mitch, Mitch Miller. Kyle's in at 25. Join me and let's be free. Wilson Pickett, this one's got some water damage at the bottom. Looks like it's a Motown record. Les Vedettes de Haiti by G Line. Class of 66, Floyd Kramer. Special disco version of Roy Ayers running away. Got the long version and the short version. Lifeline Records. This is, is this a movie or is this a record? No, oh, this is a movie. Disc. Yeah, this is a movie. This is a laser disc. Darby O'Gill and the Little People, Walt Disney. Yep. It's a movie. Like a giant DVD. No, they are not moderators. They're registered to bid. Is that? Yep. So if you want to be able to bid, you have to have a wrench, so you have to be registered. Just follow the yellow line down at the bottom. This is a movie. This is a video laser dick. Uh, laser dick. <laughs> laser <laughs> disc. <laughs> the Night Train to Katmandu. This is the girl that played on uh, Blue Lagoon as well. I believe that's Blue Lagoon. Natalie Cole, The Unforgettable Concert. Now this looks like a record. Oh, no, this is a laser disc also. That's a laser disc. Amazing Stories. This is a laser disc. Ooh. Mono Ural, Lush Love Hawaiian Style. This is kind of nice. Ralph Carmichael. Oh, this might have been some of the Amazon stuff. I'm just kind of throwing in the slide because this is sealed. Carol, laser discs, honey. Laser discs. Laser disc. Yep. Like you play them on the big, big laser disc players. They look like giant DVDs. Paris Smiles, Jerry Ants, and Pete King. This one is factory sealed. Hello, Donatella. She heard laser discs. You know that, right? Rodney Franklin. This one's got a cutout piece on the cover. Here's another laser disc with Macaulay Culkin and Ted Danson getting even with Dad. Now this one is factory sealed. Laser disc movie. A lot of movie. factory sealed in this. Yeah, here's another Laserdisc movie. This is Factory Sealed. Glenn Ford and Cindy Portier. Blackboard hey, Jungle. Here's a sealed record. And a fair to remember, the Angelic Mandolin Choir. Oh, this is awesome. The Dagger of Kamai. So this is Japanese anime. Look at this. On Laserdisc. Now I sell it all. No, no, not all, anymore. No, no. Dagger of Kamai laser disc. Oh, that's that's gonna that's gonna be awesome for our people. Socket to you, Uncle Bill. This is obviously WC Fields right there, and it looks like this one is factory sealed as well. What do you know to Anthony Bluegrass Picker? Les Amour de Trois Oranges. So the love of three oranges. Sealed. Oh, look, and then they tell me. Like, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here interpreting it. <laughs> Pioneer Classics. This is sealed. National Video Corporation. That is factory sealed. Pioneer. That's awesome. Ralph Carmichael. 102 strings. This is factory sealed. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save what I think is the best one for last. Yeah, we're gonna give them everything. It don't matter. We want it out of the warehouse. If they find out it's worth a gazillion dollars, they'll just come back and spend some more money. They'll just come back and smack me. Why did you put that in that box? Mass Marauders. <laughs> this is DuckTales. 
<laughs> 50 from Kyle, 55 Laser from video from disc, Scotty. double feature for DuckTales. Look at this. She wasn't sure if we should put these in because she thought these were really good. But here, the Buzzlot Warehouse, we just don't care. Christmas Seal Sale, 1956, from the Victor Borg Show. We have the Hank Snow Show from the Christmas Seal Sale, 1956. Yes, you do, You're in style, the National Guard Jingle. So that's kind of cool. And what's on the other side of this one? We have Scotty in at 55. So that's Patty Page, Tommy Dorsey. You're in style. The new sound America loves best, RCA Victor Records. Music of the United Nations, New York Post Record Library. Just a couple. Those are probably pretty hard to find. This one's Yugoslavia, Turkey, and Bulgaria, Mexico, Central America, and West Indies. Music of the United Nations. Um, Tomasian Khan, you need to be registered to bid, honey. You, you need to fill out a registration in order to bid. Yep. yep, just follow the yellow banner at the bottom. And then just let us know when you register, and I can check. So that's the last one of those. And then last but not least, guys, this has got to be the yes, banger. Tony, we showed one already, and here's the last one. This is another laser disc. Yeah, there's a bunch of laser disc in here. There's at least yeah, six or horror. seven. I think this is the second or third horror one. Yeah, there might be one other one. Yeah. So the Curse of the Demon laser disc. Right there. And that's what you get in this lot. So pretty fantastic lot. Honey Books and Things is in for 60. I think that DuckTales is really nice. That, that laser just DuckTales two and one. Hey, Virginia. Good afternoon. Kyle's in at 65. And if you guys do send the registration to the bottom, let me know. I have Christine Hanley Blue Light Resales. Spencer Christian. Yeah, we have him. Spencer. I have his registration anyway. Give him a registration. Guys, if you sent a registration, just make a comment and we will go ahead and rent you. Yep. I can Connie's check in for 70. Phone. Hey, Lost Treasures re returns. So this is a great lot. Uh, these are So this is your laser disc. These are the United Nations right here. National Guard, Christmas Seal, and the Harry Belafonte Show, Christmas Seal. Another laser disc, sealed. Sealed. This is probably a laser disc, too. I don't know that for sure. Oh, this is a laser disc. It is sealed. Uncle Bill uh, Records, sealed. This is awesome. The, can't get over this one. Japanese anime on Laserdisc. Marilyn Delgado at 75. How you doing today, Marilyn? Good Hi, to Marilyn. see you. Record sealed. Laserdisc. Blackboard Jungle. Sealed. Getting Even with Dad. Laserdisc. Sealed. Record. Sealed record. Sealed record. Another record. Here's Amazing Stories, book one. This is a laser disc. Natalie Cole, the Unforgettable Concert, another laser disc. Night in Kathmandu, laser disc. Darby O'Gill, laser disc. Special disco version of Running Away by Roy Ayers. Class of 66. Lace of the Dits to Haiti. Join me, let it be free. Mimraz, Soft and Sweet. 80 now from Kyle. Songs of Our Time. Thank you, Timo. Tony Martin. Um, check your Jeanette McDonald. Okay. So these are records. These are all laser discs. Okay. And I'll just count them real quick while we um, look at them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, yeah. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 records. Timajin, uh, please send me another email that also includes your city and state. Because knowing the street 
won't help us whenever we go to ship you stuff. So we have to have the city and state also. Sean Connery did Texas. Okay, 90 now from Connie. And then just let us know when you do One, that. Two, and we will get you all set up. Three, four, five, six. That way we also have your address to mail your packages to. Because um, sometimes PayPal doesn't completely show it when we Nine. send you Congratulations, one hundred dollars now, Marilyn Delgado. Benji. 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 B e n j i. B e n j i. I think the laser discs are awesome. There might be one or two in there that are worth really good money. All right, and Marilyn's in at a Benji. Connie is out. We're gonna go once to Marilyn. Lots of sealed stuff. Nice lot. Good Going reseller twice lot. Now. Is it frozen or is it my internet? Are we frozen? Donna, I would say it's your internet. Honey, it's not us, I don't think. Is it? No, because I'm still seeing comments scrolling up through. No. Nope. Okay. Frozen screen. Uh-oh. Sold to Marilyn for $100. Congrats, Marilyn. Okay. Oh. It was frozen before. It's working now. Okay. Okay. All right. Good to hear. All right. Somebody asked for VHS. Okay. So you asked. We supply. We find <laughs> stuff. So here's a group of VHS Sopranos, Volume 3 of 6. Oh, really? This okay. is a beta. It's an old beta tape. For a music video of Prince and the Revolution, Love, uh, Alice, Sweet Alice, this is Factory Sealed, starring Brooke Shields, this is VHS, Diamonds Are Forever, since we were talking about Sean Connery, here is a Eleanor Powell movie, it's like on a homemade tape. There's some people actually look for the homemade ones now. So Gappa, the Trifabian Monsters, special widescreen edition, English dialogue. This is factory sealed, VHS tape. She Demons, hosted by Elvira, Princess of the Night. I remember her on TV. This is a nice VHS. And then here looks like there's some other housemade stuff. Doby Gillis, Patty Duke. New York Little Margie and I Married Joan. Debbie Gillis. Was he a TV show or was he a singer? I don't know what this one is. There's nothing on it. This one is Outer Limits 3. So I guess this is a copy of like the Outer Limits TV show. Walt Disney Pictures, George of the Jungle, Sci-Fi Reel, and a VDI box. Oh, it's on a VDI tape. I wonder if he worked in the like broadcasting industry. Betty Davis, James Bond, Goldfinger, and Thunderball. Uh, hi, something, 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 something. I can't read this one. Cleveland, some Cleveland Rock. So the, apparently, there's a bunch of stuff on this one. I know I used to have a bunch that were from, like, concerts. This is Woody Allen interview, Beverly Seals, 50 special. Union City. I have no clue what that oh, is. Um, Voodoo. No clue what that is. The Girl Can't Help It. Make Room for Daddy. Monty Python, Wings of Fire. Um, I can't read this one either. Oh, this is Cleopatra. 
Dean Options Love. for you and Mr. Bizala takes no responsibility of the contents of these tapes. <laughs> uh, yep. <laughs> yep, not, not, not responsible. responsible. I don't know. OL country counterweight. I thought these might have been the concerty ones, but I don't see concert. This is Elvis 2. This is Millionaire. Burke's Law, crap, Superman, crap. That's what it says. Maybe they make those movies weren't good. Rawhide. Rawhide. Unsolved Mysteries, 50116, Thursday. So that looks like somebody's homemade tape. No, Kyle, that's yet to come. Don't Knock the Rock, Dead Man's Curve. Glasses, Coke. I no clue no, what that is. Yet to come. 7-7 seven, seven, Sunset Strip. Johnny something. I can't read that one. And we don't know what's on this one. Mystery. Snuff film. Mystery, mystery, mystery. <laughs> Home auditions. And Spencer's in at 25. And there's the beta tape of Prince and the Revolution. Hey, Mary Harris. Hey, Jill. I know there's, a, there's actually a market emerging of this type of stuff. Which I wish I would have known years and years ago. Oh yeah, me too. I can't tell you what I threw oh. out. When I was in school, I had bookshelves filled with movies that were like movies that I liked mm -hmm. that were made like this. You know, two three movies on a tape. Yeah. I had every episode of General Hospital. <laughs> I, had, no, I didn't have that. Stuff. I had actual movie movies like no, the I good had stuff movies too. My son had all the Dragon Ball Z I threw in garbage. I almost bought a tractor trailer out of those. Of the Dragon Ball Z VHS. Yep. Sealed. But it was a tractor trailer load. Yeah. That's <laughs> well, I do Comic Cons and I thought they would sell no, there. Janine. And they were super cheap. I know, right, Mary Harris. <laughs> Okay, so there's put away all the at home made stuff, and here's the, the stuff that yeah, is in it cases. Yeah, what can I say? I was one of those. It's okay. The girl I was dating when I was 16, I used to record all that for her. She's a waitress. Right. So every day I'd have to make sure to record General Hospital and Days of Our Lives, I think was the other one. Okay, I like them both. She Demons, Gappa, but this is sealed, so this is kind of cool. Sold. Okay. We're sold, sold, sold. No, Spencer, we, we, we invoice, honey, so wait for an invoice, yep, okay? Yep, I'll invoice you. Thank you. I never started the please pay me thing because I was getting hundreds of payments a day from other venues, so it really got confusing. So it's much easier for me to invoice you. Okay, so here's the last of the records that are up here. Thank goodness. <laughs> Serenade for Lovers, and then we're going to get into I have Pokemon cards, toys, coins, and other awesome stuff. So this is a big box set from Reader's Digest. Serenade for Lovers. Here is another Reader's Digest pleasure program, The Magic of Mint Mintabani. Hey, Harry. Here is another one, original recordings by the all-time popular singing stars. Hear them again. Collector's Edition, 89 Great Singers, 122 Great Songs, Reader's Digest. They're all in great shape, Reader's Digest, Pleasure Program, Great Pianos, Greatest Hits. I think, no, oh, I have one more that I can reach. I see another one. Okay, and then we have, ooh, this is kind of neat. This might be, this might be Laserdisc. It is Laserdisc. Okay, so should I wait on that and I'll put it with records? Yeah, open that with records. Okay, I don't want to put that with records. I was trying to find more records. I don't, I don't like little piles. Cool. But wait. Ugh. I'm going to hand them to the TNT. You can show them to you. Hopefully, I didn't lose sound by walking too far away from the phone. Oh. 
and there you go, another one. And then I guess it has something to do with it. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Large, large. Sets. Yeah. And they're all Reader Digest. Hey, Pammy. I probably should open one to show them. Do we have a registration from Kyle to Ryan? Check right now. No, no, okay, no. Timogen is okay. Okay. So his name's Kyle. Yeah, Kyle Turan. No. No. All right, Kyle, if you can just um, register, please, and then we'll give you a wrench. But Timogen is okay. These are all, this is all music. This is all music, guys. Pam, this next lot's going to be a little heavy, so you can send Cody out to yeah, move it. Cody move this one. Thank you, Kyle. All right. We're going to go once. Do you guys want us to do? I I see one more box of VHS. Do you want us to do the last box of VHS and get it out of the way? That one might be the concert stuff too. There's some loose ones that might be cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll add those to the other lot if if they want to see that lot. That All way, right. it, it just. Fair warning. Hey, Nancy. I'm gonna give you that. Yeah. We are sold to Kyle Elliott. Okay, this is the last lot of, of VHS-ish type stuff that I can see until we get to the adultish area. So we have X-Files, this is factory sealed VHS. These are actually, don't overlook these if you guys are ever out buying at yard sales or whatever. Video head cleaners, this is I believe for beta. This one might be. That seems a little small. But these are super expensive. So we have old school unrated. Short circuit. Johnny Five is alive. Los Lobos kicking her ass. Los Lobos kicking her face. Los Lobos kicking her balls into her face. Bubblegum Crisis, so Japanese anime. Shadow Raiders, this one looks to be sealed. Seal split at the bottom, but it is a white tape. This is an 8-track making contact. There's another video head cleaner. Um, head the Monkeys, so this might have been for a concert. going to be a $25 start. It is a long comic box full. Do not forsake me, oh darling, the prisoner. Collector's edition in the box. This is Rolling Stones. This says Blockbuster, but here it says Rolling Stones. Uh, this one says MTV on the bottom. This says Fifth. This, so this might have been a lot of the music ones. Superheroes Guide to New York, Travel Channel. Outer Limits, North by Northwest, Bruce Springsteen on MTV Concert, Bruce Springsteen, Charlotte, North Carolina, 1985, and these also CBS Born to Run video. Mountain Man Treasure comes in for 25. Kim number three, Picnic, so that's probably a... Spencer, we include shipping. Shipping is always free here. Adulty. 
Parker Lewis. Shipping is included. Yep. Mega Force. Beatles 2 with a heart. Make room for Daddy. Again. Can only imagine what that is. The Vikings. Go Johnny Go 1961. Jimmy Clinton, Chuck Berry, and Alan Freed. Rock and Roll High School. Jimmy the Gent, Satan Meta Lady, Betty Davis, Yoko Ono, then and now the band reunion, and Outer Limits, the Buddy Holly Story, Twilight Zone, Raiders, I think it says Raiders, Dead Radio City, Classic TV Ads, Brooklyn number one. Kenneth in at 27. Inside Desire, The Brain and Cold Darkin, Cold Bar Barham Pharma. I don't know. Don't know. I married Joan, my little Margie. <laughs> Some of my Thank you, read. Kyle. Holocaust, British film, Wild for the Kicks, Beat Girl, Without a Trace, Amityville, The Demon, Jewel, and the Roman something. Wendy's Gems, Tomorrow, Wonder Cross, Coskills, Clash, Nova Underwater Camera, Doors Are Open, and The Time Machine, Highway Patrol, Davy Crockett, One and Two, A Hatch Plot, Who are we looking for? Uh, we are looking for Kyle Turing. Production and de Decay, Form of Things Unknown. This one, we have no clue. Land Before Time, Marine, Who's Harry Crumb? Christ, in, Christ was in Rome, 1984, Jewel in the Crown, Part 1 and 2. Jimmy Plays Bursley, One Point Break, Servants of Twilight, Bloopers, Cindy, Clarence, and Dylan. Oh, yeah, we did freeze again. We is it freeze again. Kyle Elliott's in? Kyle Turan is in. Okay, but we did freeze again. Look. Look. Okay, hang on. I wonder if it's whenever I go. Maybe. It might happen whenever I'm. All right, uh, All right. we're good now. Sorry. Whenever about I'm that, checking guys. the email. Widescreen version. Karen. Karen. Professional. Karen. Professional. Karen. Jean Reno. Okay, Kyle. Thank you. <laughs> Matlock movie. But oh, wait, there's still more in this box behind the green door. Hey, David, you know about that? <laughs> yeah, this one's. I can't read that one either. Here's a blue tape. La Chic Video Consults. La Chic. Vivid Videos. Uh, attorney at Law. Ooh. Again, Woodline commentary. options for you and Mr. Bizalot are not responsible for the contents of these tapes. <laughs> yep. Watch at your own risk. <laughs> they could be dirty. They could be clean. They could be... Truman Complete Episode Upstairs Downstairs. I know what that one's about. Bridge School Acoustic Benefit, 1986. Uh, Expanding Human, Blood Honor. So that's probably a horror movie. I don't know that that one is. Quaid or something. Stevie S. I uh, don't know what that one is. Don't know what this one is, and don't know what... Well, this one's got a giant list of Elvis, I Can't Stand Up, Elvis High Fidelity promo, Graham Parker, 400 Alba, or ABBA TV special, um, Bo Diddley, 
the Dells, Joe Jackson, Tom Petty, Elton John, Elvis. So I don't know. So that's all of it, folks. That is a lot. So you get two, five, eight. I've got to play them off the table anyway, so I got them for you guys. Ten. Thank you, April. Twelve. Fifteen. We have Kenneth Roseberry at twenty-seven. Not Mantra. Nineteen. Out. Anyone else? Twenty twenty-one. There's a lot. Twenty-two. Hey, Wendy. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. 32, and there's still all the ones that are left on the table. So 35. Looks like there's at least 50. It's 35. 68, according to count. 38. Okay. Get in the box. Uh, I spit on it. Okay. So there's 49. Sorry. 50, 51. Oh, wait, there's more. I forgot. You told me about the other ones. Oh, yeah. 62. Yeah, like 64. Oh, that's a Kenneth Roseberry. Sorry. Yeah, 67 of them. Okay, Kenneth Roseberry. Sorry, Rosenberry. No. It was this sure. box. The, I tilted it down. Okay. Now, do we have any sports cards, people? Here's a box of sports cards. We'll get Cody out here to move that box in. Eh? Or I'll move whenever I go over there to grab some old glass insulators we'll put up next. Okay, so here's a box of sports cards. I bought a collection from a guy that only collected Notre Dame. So I believe this is from that collection, just based off of where T found this lot at this morning. Um, so I think at one point in time, all of the players in this collection came from Notre Dame. But as you can see, there's some really good stuff. Number 329 of 500. Um, this is 2003, but, you know, this is our Nez Battle wide receiver, and these are all our Nez Battle cards. This is number 575 to 600, so those, those two are numbered. These are 2002 rookies of our Nez Battle, class of 2003, our Nez Battle, and there's different colors of that, so there's probably, some of these are limited more Arnaz Battle. These are numbered 110 of 750, 356. So that is that is one little pack um, of cards that I just showed you. That In that little pack, there's at least four numbered, individually numbered cards. And then there's, you know, number one of 4,500 or 45,000. Superior rookies. So these are all Pete Bert Berchich and then Angelo Bert Bertelli, Bertelli, Robert Blyler, Reggie Brooks, draft star Reggie Brooks, one of twenty thousand made. Here's a numbered one, one of twenty thousand. Reggie Brooks. So these are Notre Dame. So Reggie Brooks played Notre Dame. Tony Brooks, Derek Brown. Derek Brown, Heisman Trophy winner, Tim Brown, one of 45,000, Jeff, Jeff Burris. So there's a bunch of Jeff Burris. Jeff Burris, David Burton. So these he are. had them in alphabetical order based yeah. on last name. So this guy had them in order. So Jeff Alm. Um, 
at least in this box. <laughs> Carlson, Tom Carter. Sandal Racing for 27. Dave Casper, that one's kind of hologramish. Will Clark. Willie Clark. Brian in for 30. So it's, it's nice that they've actually already did the work of putting them in order, and you know that they're all from Notre Dame. Rodney Culver, I heard of him. The most famous person I know from Notre Dame, Joe Montana. Brian's favorite. Sam Delaray is in for 32. And I believe Steve Young actually played there, too. Steve Young did. Bob Dahl. Audrey Denson. Denson. Vintage Memories see. wants us to jump down to the T's. <laughs> Tony Driver. Here's Tony Driver die cut card. Demetrius DeVoe. Who? What letter? The T. They're looking for Joe Theismann. Okay, these are. What letter is this? Those are S's. Yes. T. Isn't he old? Like. Isn't Joe Theismann like way older? Yeah, it's probably not in this group. Ron Taylor. So these are four sport gold. Bobby Taylor. Bobby Taylor, one of 19,000. Pat Terrell. Oh, okay. There's some Joe Theismann. There you go. There's a different Joe Theismann. There's an upper deck Joe Theismann. There's a different Joe Theismann, one of 10,000. All right, Sandal Array for 32, who's coming 34 now. Born and raised in Salt Lake City. So there are definitely, I see Ricky Waters. I know he's decent. Darius Walker. Darius Walker. Shane Walton. Here's a chrome monkey card. Shane Walton. Here's individually numbered of 425. Another one. Another one of 425. Look, this one's Courtney Watson gold, and it's number 16 of only 50 made for Upper Deck SP game used. Uh, Courtney Watson, this one's only 100 made, number 26. These can be like really good cards. 38 of 100. 256 to 350. This is a prestige card. Number 40 of 75 made. Here's a green prestige. Um, that one I don't see a number on. There's a red one. Oh, these are numbered for there. I found the numbers. They only made 50 of this green one. They made 100 of the red. This is number 16. They made 750 of the gold color. So those are awesome. The fact that they're all number 35 now. Rookies, Courtney Watson, Ricky Waters, rookies. Here's Ricky Waters, Bowman rookie. Looking for 37. Cards are hot. More Ricky Waters rookies and Bowman. Those are actually probably good. 40 from Ray. So anybody who played at Notre Dame, we probably have. Literally, whenever I bought the guy's collection, it filled my entire car. Snapper in for 42 uh, Notre now. Dame football. Designed Spencer for success. Says, oh, thank you. Anthony Fasano. So these are insert cards. One of 45,000. Jim Flanagan. Zygon Tiger in for 40. Uh, no, we got Sandal Array in 45. Zygon, you want to go 47? Steelers. Wide receiver, Chris Taylor. 47 from Zygon Tiger. Joey Genthral from the Steelers. Here is a number 40 of 99. Has like a little see through spot on it. 50 now from Sandal Array. There's number 1830 of 2750. And there's at least. 30 or 40 just numbered cards. 1794, 2179. Zygon Tiger is out. We have Ray in at 50. Gibson, here's George Gibb, Bob Golick, Mike Golick. So that's just through the G's. 
Snapper, let us know if you're in or out, please. We're looking for 55 now. $5 increments once we hit 50. Lots of numbered cards. There's Jabari Holloway. Holloway. And those are shiny. Those are rookies of some sort. Lou Holtz. Paul Horned. Hornug. Hornug. Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Notre Dame, Notre Dame. All Notre Dame. Let's look in the M's. Let's see. Todd Light. Where is Light in the M's? Or maybe I'm in the L's. I don't know I'm in the M's. Derek Mays. Looking for 55 snapper or an L. If you're still in. Let us know with a $55 bid or type out. 13,500, 39,000. Rookies. Ronnie Cheeks in for 55 now. There's another numbered one. 477 of 599. And look, these are all just empty cases right here. I like empty hard sleeves. Oh, here's a couple. These are in... in Little packages. So these are rookies, probably came out of cereal boxes or something. Some RPM. 60 now from Ray. Artifacts rookie RPM. Snapper is out. NCAA leaders in different colors. The uh, tops DPP. It looks like a refractor. That one's really thick. Refractor number 127. Rookie card, Rima McKnight. That's the regular, and that's the refractor. Ronnie G, these are all Notre Dame, honey. Yeah, Rick Mirror. More Rick Mirror. Here's Rick Mirror. Lots of Rick Mirror. These here look like more numbered cards. Brady Quinn. He was a quarterback. Lots of Brady Quinn. It's Donner no Sleets. No this one's number 85 of 200 made. Another Brady Quinn. It's a nice little lot, guys. Newt Rockney. Here's some Newt Rockney stamps. So that's what you're getting in this lot. All right, that's it. And that's the lot, guys. We have 60 in from Ray. If we hit 75, I'll add one more piece to it. All right. That's sealed. And I'm probably going to unseal it, which is probably Are a bad you? idea. No, don't. I got to show them what it is. No. They're not going to know what it is. How do you know? They might know. Okay, fine. Maybe you guys know. If we hit 75, I'm going to add something that has an autograph in it that is pretty awesome. It's mint sealed. You guys can tell me if you want me to open it or if you want me to leave it I sealed. It's worth more sealed. I'm sure it is, but. <laughs> okay, where are we at? All right, we have 60 from Sam Ray. I don't think anybody else is in. Yeah, don't open anything sealed, right, Michael Whalen? <laughs> Well, it's a it's a wooden box. It's hard for me to show you guys. It's 1993 classic football draft gold. It is set number 2749 of 5,000. I only know what it is because I've had it open one. It has Rick Mirror cards in it that are autographed and signed. And we're going to add it to the lot. Thank you, Ray. So it goes in the lot. This is the sleeve. I won't unseal it if you guys don't want me to unseal it. No, but, not, but you can see like it. the box is actually <laughs> cut, says so draft gold. It has a signed numbered Rick Mirror. Uh, it's signed in gold on his card inside. 
Uh, Tamuji, we go in five dollar increments once we're over fifty. So the next bid would be eighty now. Yep, looking for eighty. Hey, Aussie Steve. Hi, Steve. Good five. All right, eighty, and I'm going to rent you. We have your registration. Thank you for registering. Mama G, I, I have the registration. Thank you. You can't do it through Steam Yard or Stream Yard, can you? Oh, I never oh, could. Okay. I could never but do that's it. That's why Streamer. I popped my chat out. Oh, okay. I always that's yeah, why YouTube. we go to yeah. We always go to YouTube and do it. Yeah. All right, stand dollar ray in for eighty five now. So it's a nice lot. And how about some Pokemon next? We got one hundred and eleven people in here. We'll do some Pokemon. Yeah. The insulators. We'll do insulators, insulators next and then Pokemon. And then we got vintage clothing. Sorry about that snapper. Oh, goodness. You do have a hundred lots we want to get through today, so we're trying to move it along as quick as possible. We weren't going to show every card, to be honest. Where's Harry Homestone? Yes, Kathy, we're going to do some silver. Hey, Todd, silver hair stacker. Spencer, I don't know. I don't know what's in this box, to be honest. I just kind of made some lots yesterday out All of right, it. We're going to call it the Sand Dollar Ray at 85. There's no other interest. It's a nice lot. A lot of, sign or a lot of numbered cards with. You know, stuff numbered down to only 25 made in this box. And we'd love to see um, an out from Timanja so we can call this. Yep, if you're out, please say out. That way we can just keep moving. Snapper, what was Snapper wanting to see? All right, thank you. Okay, thank you, Tamanj. All the cards are in that box. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have three million cards to sell, and I haven't looked through 75% of them. I see them as you guys see them, and sometimes even I don't want to know. Like, I hope you get great deals. I'm showing a bunch. We'll probably show about 50% if I can. Some of the boxes that were open, the 5,000 count boxes, the cards are stuck in like bricks because they've been stored away for so long. All right, we're going twice now. And we are sold to Sand Dollar Ray. Okay. So next up, we'll do some insulators. And don't worry, like I said, I've got tons of Notre Dame cards. Um, this has a B on it. I don't know if that means anything. Uh, $25 start on this lot. They're heavy. I know people are putting lights in them and making them into like night lights now. Patented May 2nd, 1898. Uh, Hemming Gray it says it's got little bits on the bottom. There's a little damage on the bottom. I mean, these are 130 years old. 1893, patented May 2nd. That one also says Hemingway. That one's actually not too bad. It's got a couple of chips on the bottom. They're white and they're blue. Here's Whitehall Tatum, number one. This one's a little different. It's a smooth bottom. So you get 12 total pieces. Uh, some are green, some are blue. This is Brookfield. Doesn't say anything else. You can see they came just out of a barn. This one's a, uh, right, no, it's not what you think it is. Start on 12. Yep. So this one's blue. It has a threaded inside in the glass. It's got a funky shape to it. There's two of those. This one's got a C on top. This one looks like a three or a B on the top of it. But 
They've got an interesting shape. So you get 12 we just insulators. We parts HMGA. <laughs> yep, yep, we just did a lot. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's hard, Spencer. Like, we can pop them apart, but sometimes it leaves little white dots on them. So they're Brookfields. Oh, these are Brookfields is what Harry's saying, I think. And then these are Whitehall Tatum. $25 ship to start. And this is Hemingway or Hemingway. Hemingway. So. Hemingway 40. She's saying it's, there's usually a number. Yeah. Hemingway 40. Yep. That's, that's what Hemingway. that was. Oh, Hemingway. Oh, maybe that was autocorrect on her part. Yep, Harry Homestone collects these things. Oh, Ronnie, don't tell Harry that. Harry will be all about coming out. <laughs> Chris Law's in at 25. He's looking for the rare ones. I don't know which ones of the rare ones are. This lot was in a box. Came out of that one house that we bought out. Oh, good to know. Fun fact. The black stuff on them is diesel. It won't come off. What black stuff? In a special solution. That's, I guess, what he's talking is this stuff in here. It's just dirt. Special solutions called spit. Harry says, I'm already on my way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Any other interest? We're so going to call it to Chris Law at 25. What a steal of a deal. Yep. Steal of a deal. These are great in like the shabby chic country style homes now. They're doing a lot with these. Hi, Steve. I'm going to go twice now. Oh, it will come off, Harry says. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Harry. So 12 insulators. We got $25. And we're going to be sold to Sweet. Chris Law. Chris Law. Nice deal. Nice buy. Okay. Let's do something a little weird. Different but weird. And they I had these sitting on the other side, and she's like, she's like, bring those tomorrow, bring those tomorrow. And I'm like, uh, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, yeah bring those people tomorrow. People love to sell this stuff. So this is a bunch of like... Cables and wires. It, it, to me, it looks like somebody went into Radio Shack when it went out and bought a bunch of stuff. Four-way splitters in the package. Foreign electricity converters. Uncle Mike. Two way hybrid, hybrid, hybrid splitters. It's a Panasonic car cord. So you plug it into your cigarette outlet, but then it has a weird round end on it called Epson. Um, an antenna cable switch with a key. So for you to be able to do it, you got to turn the key. So kind of interesting. A four set coppler splitter box. So twenty dollar start selector. It's a cable auxiliary TV, TV VCR, and you push the button to select. So some really early electronical stuff. Just stuff. Here's a Can Am M six thousand dual mini enhancer. I don't know. All right, Christine is going to start us off at twenty five. Benco today, Good to see you. CPF2, 75 ohm, something another. More of the foreign electricity converters in the boxes. These AC adapters for compact recorders in the boxes. The cable. A universal AC adapter. 
and that shows that it can go for toys or games, radios, calculators in the box. High isolation switch kit. Good afternoon, Sandy Kirk. Sandy Kirk. Another car Panasonic cord. Uh, this reminds me of like an Atari based controller for one of the games. So, a lot of stuff. T said, bring it to the auction. So I said, okay. It's in the warehouse. It's for sale. And if it's not in the warehouse yet, I'll put it in the warehouse, and then it's still for sale. All right. We're going to go once this Christina, if there's no other interest. It's a huge lot. All mint in the package, mint on the cards. Like I said, this is probably the neatest thing to me. 27 now from Christopher Chatworth. And it's never been used. Like even the original stickers, things are still in the back. Now from Christina, 45 from Christopher, 47 now from Christina, 50 now from Christopher. I'm going to get some silver ready and some, right. <laughs> and some Pokemon cards out. All right, Christina, just a reminder, after 50, we go in $5 increments. We've had 55 would be the next bid. Sixty-five from Christopher Chatworth. What is it? Oh no! Just put it in the giant box. Doesn't make any difference. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Christina now at 70. Christopher Chatworth is out. We're going to call it. Going once. Yes, Kelly, we will have some vintage clothes, we clothing will. before the end. Oh, absolutely. We'll have it probably by 2 o'clock. Okay. Have faith in you. Hope I don't miss the plate, says Christopher Chatworth. Oh, we're going to have the plate. Hopefully we can get our uh, our guys in here. Cause Yesterday's plate at 280 was a steal, but that one had a chip, and they made 300 of those. This one they only made 25 of, and it's extremely rare. All right, $70 to Christina, sold. Congratulations, Christina. Okay. The, the guy that I got the coins from, there was a couple, like, jewelry pieces and stuff like that. This is really beautiful. I don't know if it's silver or not. I couldn't find any markings on it. Um, doesn't mean there aren't markings. Like, it almost looks like there might be markings, right? <laughs> right now. On the end. <laughs> but inside of this, there are these 
It's just like money of some sort. 25 cents, military payment certificate. All right, this is lot number 65, $25 ship to start on this, guys. So, like I said, if this is silver, this is awesome. Like this little cigarette case right here. I'm trying to see if there's any other markings that I can see. But it's, it's beautiful done, well engraved. Yeah, the work on it's awesome. But so these are military payment certificates. This is 25 cents. There are three of these. One is five cents, and the other one is 10 cents. So not too sure what those are for. You get those. Here's a 1971 Eisenhower uncirculated silver dollar. So right here, uncirculated silver dollar from Eisenhower. 40% silver. There's a Mickey Mouse Loris watch, shaped kind of like Mickey's head. And then there's some vintage, really early watches. You can see right here. I don't know who this is. Um, there's some numbers on the back of it. It says 23B349. He's giving me the loop. Give me the eye. Let's see if I can turn this. All right, Spence is going to start us off at 25. For some numbers. It is hard to do this, folks. Okay, the nice. Ben Russ. Oh, is it? Yeah, Ben Russ. There we go. Yeah, Ben Russ, that one says. But definitely very, very early. And here's another one that is pretty much very similar. It's not the exact same. And this one is... Can you read that one? And then there's a men's watch. This one is Whitenauer. Whitnauer has the small second hand down at the bottom or the date. Maybe that's a calendar. And this one is marked in the back. Steel back, 10K gold filled bezel. And then steel back. And it has like a little. This is Bulova. No, okay, so that one's Bulova. And this one has like a keystone with a letter in it at the top. And the Howley's band. in for 27 now. It says Howley something. But very cool looking vintage men's watch. Oh, yeah, that's Bulova. So this is Bulova. 1930s or 40s. These are old. This one is marked on the back. It says Bulova 10 karat gold filled. This one's a 10K gold filled. Full of it says it right on the back of it. 29 now from Spencer. And it has numbers. So 10 karat gold bull, uh, 10 karat gold filled. Bullet. Right, Woodbine Girl. <laughs> Woodbine Girl says you need the Donald loop. <laughs> yeah. And then you have the military money. So you get the cigarette case, the three watches, the military money. The oh, the four watches, yep. Yeah. That's what I meant. And the Eisenhower uncirculated dollar and the cigarette case that probably belonged to the military man that the little green bands and the military money belonged to because they were inside of this. And it's got a gold inliner, but it's beautiful, it's really early. All right, and we have Spencer in for 29. Let us know, guys. Connie? K. 
Kathy, we're going to do the coin, do some coins next. Some silver. Uh, Christopher Chatworth says, look at the side of the push button for a name on the cigarette case. Side of the push button. Oh, oh there it is. The back. Thank you, Christopher. Yeah. Where's my... Alpaca. Alpaca hookah. Alpaca hookah. Alpaca hookah. It's on the bottom of the the push button. Yeah, maybe that means Hong Kong. That probably means Hong Kong. H -O -K -O. Alpaca hoko. Might mean Hong Kong. Christi so, Christine thanks. comes in for 35. Spencer's now at 40. Thank you, Christopher Chetworth. So, Alpaca hoko. The green could be leader's marker for the uniform, says Sergeant Spork. Oh, okay. There's two of them. They came with the money. With these. Military payment certificates. All right, we have Spencer in for 40. Looking for 42 now. Christina, let us know. 42 or an out. No call. Okay. We're going to go once to Spencer. Christina's out. Hey, Uncle Mike, where's Pirate at? I'm going to go twice now. Then we're going to do some Pokemon cards in a second. And with a fair warning, we are going to sell it to Spencer for $40. Congratulations, Spencer. Hey, Joyce. Okay. <laughs> Spencer's like, don't let Pirate in here. He'll bid me up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so next up, we're going to do some silver coins. Sorry, I was trying to get a lot of Pokemon together out of that box. Hey, I don't want to put the whole JK. box up. <laughs> What'd she say? She said, Brian, those trays you use are beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, we uh special dairy bond edition. <laughs> we buy those. We buy them from Uline, and I use them for the auctions and stuff like that. Okay, so let's show you the coins. These are all silver. You get two half dollars. There's a Walking Liberty, 1944, half dollar. So we'll do a ten dollar start. I'm fine with that. $10 this is a 1964 coin. Kennedy half. Number it is pretty much uncirculated other than the fact I'm touching it right now. KK is going to start us off at 30. And then there are two in this lot. Two Morgan dollars. This is an 1899. 50 from Pod. Silver half second. So right here. There, this one does have a mint mark on it. It is a... And then... Can't make it out. It's like an O. It's an O. It's an O. New Orleans. Yes. So 1899. And there's another one. So here is another. This one is 1921. Silver Hashtag, and now it's 68. You can see $8 jump. Her hairlines. As long as we're in $5 increments. 90 now from KK. Beautiful eagle wings. This one's really nice. And this one is an S, I believe. I think it's an S. Yeah, the loop. I can look. The loop's easier for me than your phone. So oh, there's really? yeah. This is so easy. Right? So there's two Morgan. Yes, oh, well, maybe like that. Okay, so this one's an S. So there's an 1899 O and a 1921 S. Morgan dollars. And then there's two half dollars. A Walking Liberty from 42. 
and a pretty much uncirculated. Or 44. 44. Sorry. 1964 Kennedy. Yeah, something actually that's older than that. <laughs> All right, KK's in for 90. Stacker, let us know. Yep. And they're actually in beautiful condition. I mean, this one doesn't have, like, you can't see all the hairlines and stuff, so. But you can read Liberty really clean. Oh, yeah, we've done a few more since then. All right, Silverhead Stacker is out. Thank you. And we're going to go once to KK at 90. The eagle on the back of that one's really beautiful. And all are guaranteed original. We're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, Kathy's going to have some more coins. Okay, I'm going to start pulling them from the screen, guys. And we are going to be sold to Kathy for $90. So Congratulations, KK. 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 Okay, I wrap them up in tissue so that they're not and banging be against each other. Bag and they'll be good. Okay, so let's start with some cards. Okay. Yep, I can use that. Um, and years. This is a 99. So this has four dates on it, so that means that is a shadowless Abra. Cards, lot number 67. This only has three $20 dates. $20 ship to start on this. So these are 98. Somebody told me to look for four dates. Ending with 99 is how you can tell the shadow list from the other ones. 2001. Dark Rapidash. Cadabra. So this is 98. Goduck. Some trainer cards. Goduck. Hey, Andrew. Andrew's going to start us off at 20. But we're full of information here for you guys. There's some energies. Nobody cares about those. If there's four dates and it ends in 1999, that's where the shadowless comes into play. And I'll show you the difference between shadowless and regular. We're going to teach. So here on the right-hand side, you see on this border, there's no shadowing from the card. Flipping frozen Over here, now at 25. On this one, it has a shadow. It's darker. It's color distortion there. Hey, Thrift Hunter, 27 now from Thrift Hunter. So, and then there's four dates at the bottom. So, here you go. This is 98, 98. This is just a small part of the slot. 35 now from Andrew. Here's... More energies. I was just trying to take out the energies before. Okay, T's going to sort some of those for us. And I'm going to show you some of the others that are in the slot. So here is a reverse, now in at 40. reverse holograph man key. So somebody told us yesterday, reverse hollow. Sandy, reverse hollow, reverse hollow. Energy, nobody cares. Show them to you just as I'm going through them in case. These are all energies, it looks like. So nobody cares about those. I don't think. Okay, so here's a wheezing. It's an Eevee. 65 now from Andrew. Rhyhorn. <coughs> coughing. Oh, Mike's going to watch us and he's going to be like, I should have been there. 
because I saw something in this stack that Mike, I think it's the same thing that Mike had showed that was really, really good that you just handed me. Hey, Ketsy. Thank you. Like right here. So here's the Pikachu with the yellow cheeks. Pikachu with yellow cheeks. So, so far we've seen some shiny ones, a shadowless Pikachu with yellow cheeks. There's another reverse hologram one, Starmie, Machop. So it seems like they're all mixed years. Here's 2003, here's 98 again. So we know that there's that one and a bunch of foils. There's the shadowless Abra. Here, somebody asked for Charizard earlier. Here's, I don't know why this one looks funny. This one's 2002, Charizard. Kathy's in at 80. Here's another yellow cheek Pikachu. Thank you, Kathy. Let me get you wrenched up. Entai, legendary Pokemon. 85 now from... Nope, Andrew Storms comes in first. Spencer with the Benjamin Cat V 110. One twenty now. The Kathy, you were, uh, Kathy was first in at one ten. Kathy was first in at one ten. And here's the regular, so I can. So we have show Kathy in those. at one ten. We're gonna go Sand Dollar at one twenty. Now this one does have a crease in it, so I'm gonna show you the crease right there. But this is another Shadowless. Four dates at the bottom. Cat at one fifty. But here you can see one is regular, which is, this is the shadowless, and this is the regular shattered version. This is much better. These two energies are special. So here's some more energies. Hmm. I'm giving T another little stack we're going to put in the slot. Remember, it closes me out. Then. Yeah, I know. All right, guys, it's going to freeze gonna just freeze for a just minute. A second. So just bear with us for one minute while we, we're getting some more cards together. All right. Okay, so we're good. We have Cat D in at 175 now, Todd Miller at 185. And I have John Ping for cleaning and out your closet. John Ping. Cat D, it's double Benjamins now. Okay. Here's a reverse hollow, another reverse hollow. Todd Miller at 225. This one is a regular hologram. This one's another reverse hologram. So these all came out of underneath some little kid's bed in the house I cleaned out. I only know some of these cards because well, I play Pokemon Go. So I'm a big kid now. Clefairy. Sandshrew. Okay. okay, so these are more energies, which nobody cares. So we're going to not show you energies. All right, 235 now from Cat. Okay, these are already sorted. Crab Mobile. now from Todd. Kobaloing. Cat ten dollar increments when we're all, when we're in this num in these numbers, honey. Incineroar. Ten dollars. So we need two sixty. 
Todd's in at 250. Dragonite. Growlithe. 275 from Cat. Trailsy, here's another Pikachu. That one's newer. This is 2019. Jeez, I would have thought the kid would have been too old to be playing 2019 because a lot of his stuff, well, it might be. He had a brother too, so I don't know his older brother. So that's what you get All right, in this lot. 275 now from Cat. Yeah. Oh, here. And then there's a really, this is a hologram, but it's really, really rough. But these are Pikachus. They have the yellow cheeks from 1998. That's just like, if I felt that was five left, then I'm way too old to be playing with Pokemon cards. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to just bring these up to my friends. They own a, a card shop up the road. They do like Magic the Gathering stuff, but no, that's my son. Or was, but then I was like, eh, why bother? I'll just triple Benjamin's uh, now from Todd three hundred. Just sell it here on YouTube. I don't gotta know about it. I just gotta show you guys. That's cool. You guys do the research. Rift Hunter is out. So, so like I said, I saw two Shadowless. Is out. We're gonna call two, Todd. Two yellow cheek peaky chews. Yeah, you and me both, Uncle Mike. Charizard. My oldest son probably yep, still has Pokemon, but mom doesn't have access. <laughs> well, what's bad is like Cody and Aiden. I used to buy them like whenever I was out at the flea markets in the late 90s, early 2000s. I was just buying them boxes full. Right. They stopped playing it. So me being me, I was like... Here's like ten or twenty thousand cards. They're somewhere in the warehouses. Oh god. <laughs> I don't even know where they're at. Wow. <laughs> but it, it definitely fills at least two five thousand count boxes. And I guess because these are thinner, you actually get more than five thousand in a box. All right. We're gonna be sold to Todd at three hundred dollars. Thank you, Todd. Okay, so while we've got the Pokemon people here, we'll do the other lot that we've been pulling out of this box because this is the box they were in. All right. So you're going to get whatever's in the box. This is the end of the Pokemon cards from that house. Uh, we'll try to show them to you. We haven't organized them. Okay. So T's going to grab more and just make, making she's, it easier. Trying to make yep, it easier she's taking some of, the, uh, some of the energies out from that So twenty dollars start. I'm just separating out the energy because I know that nobody cares about those quite as much. I'm finding a lot of energy. This is gonna be a good one. There's a Pikachu. Yeah, I'm not finding a whole lot of energy either. It seems like they're in chunks though, like Right on, Meowth. Here's a Squirtle. And Rosalia. I see shiny stuff at the back of the stack that I'm holding. Slowpoke. There's a Clefairy. So there's these are 2000. Oh, wow, these are new. Like, new, new. Early this year, new 2020, 2019, 2016. Okay, there's a Charmander, Spira, Magikarp, Crocroc, Dragonair, Hero, Onyx, Dragonair. Then this is 1998, Nidorino. Here's a Pikachu from 2003. 
Here's another Pikachu. Now these, these are definitely played from here back, I can see just by looking at them. 2003 Eevee. Here's a Pikachu foil hologram. Here's a Gravel reverse foil. Eevee. Now this one's rough. Light Slibra. This one's rough as well. New Mole. Here's a, another foil trainer card. This one's rough. Here's a, a regular foil hip, hip Mudchun, 1998. Here's a Vaporeon, which is my favorite Pokemon to use, 1998. Whenever I play Pokemon Go. Here's Brock's Rhydon, 1998. It's another foil Magnetron, 1998. Hitmo Lee, foil, hologram, 1998. More energy. Psyduck. Omastar reverse foil. I think there's probably more in this lot than there were in the last lot. Yeah, I think so. Kingler, Misty's. Do I need to show you guys if I see Shadowless? Or you guys will probably know anyway. The people who are bidding know that stuff a million times better than I do. Hey, Westside Gary. Gary! Fist bump, my man. Geodude, dude, meow. I'm not even looking at the dates anymore because some of them are 98, some of them are 99, some of them are 2010, some 2019. Lapras, that's cool. Are these different? Those are pocket monster. It's like pre. It's what it was in Japan before it became Pokemon. Oh. Birth of Olpix. T's just handing me stacks, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying and to make I'm sure just gonna throw the energies in there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see, we're back in the '98 again. Yeah, it's still '98. That one's a '99. That's a shadowless. Shadowless Nita ran. There's a reverse foil. There's a hologram. It's reverse holo, reverse holo, reverse holo, reverse holo, reverse, 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 reverse holo. Ooh, dark eye. I got one of these the other day. That one's a hologram. Reverse holo, reverse holo. Wow, this is a huge stack of hollows. Reverse, 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 reverse. These are all reverse holograms. This one's a regular hollow. Reverse hollow, reverse, reverse. Sandal array now with the Benji. Reverse. Thank you, Sandal Reverse, reverse hollow, reverse hollow. These are all reverse hollows. This one's a hollow. Regular hollow. Now from Andrew. Reverse hollow. Reverse hollow. Reverse. 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 Regular hollow. Reverse hollow. Reverse. This one's kind of funky looking. It's reverse, but it's a different color. One thirty-five now from Sandal and So these are all reverse hollows. Like this entire stack is reverse and regular hollows. Darmatron. Dar. Darmanitan. 
That one's a hologram. So reverse, reverse. Andrew now Mr. at one forty five. Reverse. Hologram, reverse, 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 and reverse hologram. So this entire stack is all holograms, including like probably a third of this stack here. So it looks like. And I showed you guys the shadowless Nidoran. So this is all holograms and hollow reverse hollows. Andrew went for 160. 98 again. The trainers. Here's Japanese. Let's see, there's a pocket monster. In Japan, so it's a side duck and an Ekans. Some more diglets and stuff. T's just handing me stuff. But wait, there's more. And I'm sure I missed some stuff as I was going through. Because these are all. Andrew now at 170. And then we get into the stuff that he actually had sleeved. So I don't know if that means it's better or if it's not better, but these are in sleeves. This is a reverse hollow, reverse hollow, reverse, 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 reverse hologram. So it's the shiny ones. A regular hologram. Yep, those are two regulars of that one. Uh, reverse hollow, reverse hollow, regular hollow, Galarian stage two. So regular hollow and a reverse hollow, so both. Uh, this one's a reverse hollow, reverse hollow, reverse, reverse. Thanks, Spencer. Thanks for coming in, hon. Good to see you. Regular hollow, reverse, 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 and reverse. So... At least all of these, this entire stack here, so it's probably, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, five, Ninety one. So there's at least ninety one right here of of hologram and reverse hologram. And then there are more in here. And I saw at least one shadowless, but there might be more in there. So I didn't really look through everything completely. Uh, here's Pikachu. Pikachu. So we're at one seventy with Andrew. All right, guys, let us know. We're going to call it. Yep. I'm going to go once to Andrew at 170. And this is the last of the Pokemon cards that I have out of that house. But now you guys made me want to go, like, find all the ones from my kids. First Hunter is out. So roughly 100 holograms. And then at least one Shadowless, maybe more. And then some other stuff. I'm going to go twice now. And with a fair warning. We are going to sell it for $170. $70. Congratulations, whoever won that. Congratulations, Andrew. Congratulations. Okay, and then T's can hand me a box right next to her on the left. One of the sports card boxes right on the top. 
Okay. And I'll take that too. Yep. So we're going to do this laser disc set first, and then I'll do a sports card lot after it. So this is the Dirty Harry Clint Eastwood collection. This is laser disc. It is a boxed set. $10 start. So this is pretty awesome. So it has Dirty Harry in it. And these are laser discs. So these are like the giant DVDs, the size of records. Magnum Force. More Magnum Force. The Enforcer. Sudden Impact. And the Deadpool. So these are all Clint Eastwood movies, all on uh, LaserDisc, $10 start for the set. And it has the book as well. Okay. It's a very cool set. I'm sure, it's hard to find. And it is in like new condition. All right, Midwest Pick is going to start us off at 10. No, this one's fine. I don't think it matters. We're going to sell them all. I don't care. No? Just cards. I want something to come buy all three million of them. Make space in the warehouse. Bring a 26 foot truck. No, it's no such thing as making space at this point. At this point, it's emptying out. Okay, empty, <laughs> empty space out. So that I can buy more stuff. And no, fill it back up. No. no. Oh, okay. So I can't buy more stuff and fill it back up. So we have $10 with Dave. Any other interest, guys? Oh, Donna's going to do an auction tonight at 8 p.m. Nice. She ain't never, go on twice on Sundays. Three. She ain't never done an auction on me. I'm going to wear her out. <laughs> she ain't going to want to go on at <laughs> 8 o'clock. That's how you say it. No, we didn't tell her that we might be on till 8 o'clock. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Ronnie G's like, darn, I wish I would have kept my laser to this player. Darn it. Yeah. Yeah, the quality was awesome. Yeah. I know, Janine. Shh, shh. Janine, stop. We'll see, Janine. <laughs> Fine, so you we have, have to keep Alcoholics playing. Anonymous, <laughs> and there isn't Never one for Antiques well, yet. No. There's no Antiques Anonymous yet. Or Collectors Anonymous. Or Thrifters Anonymous. Somebody starts one of those up, I'll join. I won't. You're too busy with that giant load of stuff you just bought. Well, I'm not busy yet. Wait till next thousand, week. Thousand square foot of collectibles in T's near future. It's called Hoarders Anonymous. Thanks, Striker. No, no, no. <laughs> Hoarding is different. Hoarding is not wanting to sell yeah, it. Resell. It's Everything different. I own is for sale. There is nothing in this warehouse that's not for sale. There's nothing in either one of the two warehouses or the three storage units or the tractor trailer that I'll be that I have in North Carolina that is not for sale. All right, Midwest Picker is gonna go out. We're gonna sell this to Snapper 12. <laughs> Harold, you can't be a member and somebody who wants the stuff. <laughs> Right, Cyan Tiger? That's more like it. <laughs> All right, we're going to go twice now. That's right, guys. And we do thank everybody for being here. Yes, we know you could be doing of you now. other things like, you know, well, wait, no, you couldn't. You couldn't be going to the bar because uh, they're not open. At least here in Pennsylvania, they're not. 
can't go to the gym because no, it's not open either. Sold to Snapper at twelve dollars. Congratulations, Snapper. I'm waiting on it to hit where everybody gets excited and we all get locked down again for the month after everything's up and we're all stuck in our houses. We gotta buy stuff online. So all of our businesses will explode. Explode, I say. Okay, so this is all from the Notre Dame collection. These say 2013 Notre Dame sets. But and this is upper deck. So you're getting whatever's in this box. It is all from the Notre Dame collection, so all of the players would have something to do with Notre Dame, either they went to college there, there's Joe Theismann, or you know, alumni, etc. It's Joe Montana. I'm going to flip this stack over just to look at the number and to see if it's in numbers. Okay. Yep, so 53, 52, No, 51. Heidi, it's not all cards in media today. We're just getting nope. through what we can. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we still got that Disney play coming right. shortly. Right. Glass some coming. Clothes, some glassware. Okay, so there's at least two full sets here. I mean, here's Rocket Ishmael. I don't know why they put it in a plastic one. Sandal Array is going to start us off at 25. And it's, it's number zero, so it's 100 cards in each one of these sets. Now, this one, I don't see that card. And then back here, these look like, well, here's, so the numbering shows me that there are, so these are uh, inserts into the sets. These are NC, NC3 inserts. So I'm guessing this whole case is all inserts. Insert cards for those sets from Upper Deck. There's a whole bunch of, I guess, extra cards maybe what they look like yep so there's more extra cards there on this side let's see well this case is kind of open so we can open it okay so these are AT so all-time alumni so these are AT ATA there we go okay so this is an all-time alumni Cards. Here's Montana, obviously. So duplicates. Joe Theismann. So these are the insert cards from those upper deck packs. Right here. So a giant box of those inserts. And these are all in amazing condition. The guy only collected Notre Dame stuff. So those are inserts. This whole box here is inserts. These are inserts. Alan Page. Looks like these are probably inserts. NCAA All-Americans. Yep. So this is another whole box of insert cards. And then here are more cards to make the sets. So nice box. Hey, Lenny. We're making space, guys. Making space. So lots of Hall of Famers. Joe Theismann. Joe Montana, Todd Light. All right, Sandal Array in at 25, looking for 27 now. And they're all in amazing, like, they're pack fresh. This guy spent tens and tens of thousands of dollars buying card packs to just buy Notre Dame autographs. Like, I have, I don't know, 5,000 Notre Dame autograph cards. that were in other boxes. If he likes that, there's something better I'm going to do today. Yeah. I'm, okay. I'm going to do something crazy today. Okay. Brian says he's doing something crazy today. Well, we see like, Stryker come in at 27 and Sand Dollar right now at 29. Like it's for me to start something at 500 bucks and I'm losing money at that. Just what I paid to back it. All right, we have Sandal Array in at 35. HMGA, you'll have to build up a following, spend some time, build some content, some channels. 
and get a little decorum. Or go on to Facebook and join the one of 45,000 groups of card collectors. All right, Striker is out. Sand dollars in at 35. What? We're going to steal this up at 35. Awesome, bye. Huh. Well, bring me seventy five grand, you can buy mine. There's... All right, we're going to be sold. Sando Ray. Wow. Nice deal, Ray. It will at minimum fill a 16 to 18 foot truck. And I haven't been through it, so. All right. So there's that. Let's get, can I sell these? Yeah, let's do this. Okay. T is going to help sell these because. I was like, I don't know if we should put these We're on. Sell them. If we should put We're these on here. Them. Where's Farmer? Somebody call Farmer. Somebody call Farmer. Come West on. Side Gary, these are all you. <laughs> yeah, you de Come on. See, you definitely can't show that. Uh, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Some of these you can see and some you can't. So $10 start, guys. And, and as the lot goes up, if we actually have some active bidding on this, I'm going to put the entire load up if we've got some action. Uh, some of these are 80s, 90s, newer. Some of them are um, a little racy. I mean, obviously, you can get into the regular stuff like, you know, just like, hey, here's a Playboy. No great shakes. Here's a penthouse. No big deal. Penthouse letters. These aren't showing anything. I'm okay with that. The perils of Topin Gatus. That one doesn't show anything. This one doesn't show anything. So All right. Rift Hunter starts us off at 15. Looking for 17 now. And guys, whenever I say there's a big lot of something, we are talking like... Phew, like countless hours of COVID fun right here. Are you lonesome tonight? So I'd say a huge lot. About three, six, seven, eight. Forty-five now from the Lone Star Picker. Fifty now from Thrift Hunter. Thirty-nine, forty. I think there's we're probably in the forty-five piece range so far there. But wait, it's Mr. Buys a lot. There's more. Look, we get into the 1970s Playboy. Oh, can't show this one. I don't know if we should show that one. This one you definitely can't show. <laughs> can show it this way, though. There you go. This one, maybe. This one's got stars on them, so does that count? Hello, Ed. Hey, Ed. How are you, honey? <laughs> okay, so that's all of the magazines. Snapper now at 70. If we hit 100 bucks, I'm going to add a box of VHS that, uh, well, the VHS doesn't show anything, so, I mean. But it's it's definitely got some vintage, you know, 
Johnny Holmes type stuff in it. Can we get some years, please? Yes, we can. Absolutely. All right, we'll go okay. through them really quick. Okay, I know that this Playboy is 1973. I know that some of these other ones here. 98. Or 1989. This one's 1989. I'll get you a year. Hang on, I'll be right back. I go to the bathroom. No, I'm just kidding. Hey, okay, who am I to judge? Taking the magazine with me. Who am I to judge? Yeah, this one doesn't have 2001 a, on this one. Date. This one's probably 89 or 90. Oh, 1987. So this one's 1987. Obviously, some of them we can't show you guys. 91. Due to parental consent. 80 problems. now from thrift. But I will tell you guys, if we hit 100 bucks with this amazing collection. 96. Which is probably, what, 70 pieces? 77. Some of it is bondage related. Some of it is. Uh, 89. It's a little racy. 2003. I wasn't sure if I could sell them, so I, I waited on T. Yeah. Okay, so if we hit 100 bucks, I will show you guys. I'll give you guys a good idea. I'm going to move these couple things over. Oh, five. But look, this entire box 85. will be included. This giant box right here. And an Odyssey group. Uh, this doesn't tell me a year. 71. I can tell you. 04. Peter North, North Pole series. Seymour Butts Home Movies. High from Europe. 98. Hung Heroes Jet Set Productions. 94. Odyssey groups Pickup Lines number 34. Pickup Lines number 31. Coed. Um, yeah, we'll skip that one. Dr. Felatio. Shane's World. Deep Behind the Scenes with Seymour Butts. So if we hit 100 bucks, you get the whole box of VHS with it as well. There are probably some really early pieces in there of stuff that is really good. Nope, no snuff. But we're 85 with Snapper. Like I said, if we hit 100 bucks, you get the VHS with it. And there's probably, I don't know. Well, let's see. I'll give you a pretty good guess. Tushy, anyone? Mission to Uranus. See more butts. Okay. Cream de la face. Okay. Man, there's some yellow tapes down in there. All good video presents submissive LSs. Best of Buttman, 1991. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's at least 50. There's probably more like 55 to 60. There's 70 magazines. 7 zero on the magazine. And we have a snapper in at 85. So if we hit 100, you get the VHS with it. 70. 70 total. Anywhere from 1971 to about 2005. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I wasn't sure which ones to say and which ones not to say. I mean, hun Hung Heroes. <laughs> High from Europe. Dr. Christopher Fisher. Chatworth now with the Benji. Okay. Crack Smokers. It's not really Crack Smokers. It's a different C word, but it sounds similar. Tight Squeeze. And that one's a green tape. It's funny to me that they're not like all black. 110 now from Snapper. There's just something about Jack. 
The tapes are actually in really nice shape. California C CSers. I don't want to say the word. I don't want to get troubles. Yellow. All right. Christopher in it. I that said Janine Ketchum at 120. No, Christopher Chatworth in at 120. I mean, I'm sure I would eat something. I think I saw a donut in there. Ugh. Okay. So that's a giant lot. That's going to be... The entire box is full, guys. Entire box is full. All right. <laughs> Stand them up. <laughs> Turn them over. <laughs> Not the first time they've been turned over. Trust me. All right. We're going to sell them to Christopher at 120 That's less than a dollar a piece across the board shipped to your door. Yeah, absolutely. You've got 70 magazines alone. And at least 50 tapes. Yep. But they're out of my warehouse. <laughs> right. <laughs> Which is what matters, right? It's all that matters to me. Oh, you know what? I'm going to do something crazy. Let's see what happens. 130 out of vintage treasures. Hey, guys, <sighs> oh, good lord. Let's see how many people want to get silly. Hey, Pam, can you come out here for a second? Find out. Connie says, makes lockdown with COVID more to tolerable. Oh, Connie, who knew? <laughs> can On Phil's desk, there's a little bit more of that. On the back, like some original backgrounds and like a Conan cell and some other stuff. If you can bring that out, that way we can get it off that desk. All right, we're going to sell some vintage treasures for 130 And I will one. put it with this lot. Tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. Tomatoes, tomatoes. And then, Cody, you can come out and move this stuff. And do we want Cody touching this stuff? <laughs> well, Cody, don't go to the bathroom with it. Okay, guys, here. Let's do something interesting. Let's see if Westside Gary's in here. Okay, so this is a giant box. <laughs> These are animation cells. So as you can see, they're painted, and then behind them are the original sketch art. So... I bought a giant collection at one point in time. Pam's going to bring me out the rest of the stuff. But both of these go together. You can just set, up, set this on the floor and then put those on top. Oh, did we? That's what I was talking about. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not a box. It's just a couple. Are they all Conan? No. No. So, yeah, there's drawings and there's I see G.I. Joe in there. I thought there was a... a a Conan, like a really nice Conan with like a little frame and stuff there, but I don't know. So a lot of these are just like pieces and parts, laser guns and backgrounds. Um, here's little, this one's from Littlest Pet Shop, a monkey. So they're all from Sunbow Productions. Um, there's a lot of, you know, faces and eyeballs and laser rifle gunshots. Uh, so the, the different series that I had are Littlest Pet Shop, uh, Conan Adventurers, Conan Adventures, something like that. Like here's the monkey again. Um, what else was there? Conan. Do you remember what else we had? Yeah. It was Conan, Littlest Pet Shop, G.I. Joe Extreme, and... I think that that might be it. At one time, I had a case of like right, My Little Pony. Lot number seventy-two, guys, and we're going to start so, this lot off at fifty bucks because it's we're on this box page. is heavy for me 100%. to move. Um, 
but I'll show you guys like, you know, this one will go with it. This is a nice, beautiful, like full body double image cell. You can see here, this one Try has, this is like the info sheet from Sumbo Productions. Here is an original hand painted background, which these are extremely rare. So this is the original hand painted background. And then here is a, another piece, another painted background. 80 now to Cat D, 90 now to Scotty, Benjamin now from Stryker. This is actually something I thought Chris Chatworth would like. So these are now from Midwest scenes Picker. of of buildings. Um, one forty from Scotty. One fifty. Explosions. From so I have, I have these. So these ones are cells, and then the drawings are behind some of them. Double Benjamins now from Striker. Two hundred. Right here, here's more drawings or more uh, hey, more explosions. These are probably from GI Joe Extreme. Two ten now from Tetsy. We had a whole bunch of boxes and we kind of condensed them. So there's. 225 now from Stryker. But here's another one with the original background. You know, these are all hand painted. Yeah, we didn't even show you the box, really. Yeah, this entire box is full. There's at least a thousand pieces in this box. So this is a photocopy background which is what they generally did they would paint one and then they would photocopy it because you would have you know a hundred cells or a thousand cells in a scene but here's gi joe you can see this is the original envelope that they came in so this is gi joe oakum productions and here's all these are all hand drawn these are just the hand drawn imagery 235 now from cat but not for the cells so this is the drawing, and then they would paint the cell after it. From but these are all hand done. This was right before they went to digital. Almost everything went digital um, right after this time period. So I have access to an amazing collection of Marvel original artwork for uh, X Men Adventures, which was the, one of the first series that started using computer mm, animated. While I don't. Think we do we have specific dates on these? They are nineteen. I, I can tell you. Um, yeah, they're by Sunbow Productions. It's and Conan the Adventurer was only out for a couple of years, so it's pretty easy to. But like I said, these are mostly like you know heads, faces. There's some, you know, backgrounds, buildings, cars, vehicles, whatever, um, eyes, stuff like that. And then I have boxes of just drawings and stuff like that. So Conan. Adventure. Nineteen ninety two. 1992 Conan. Yeah, and so Littlest Pet Shop ran for five seasons, so that was 19, like, 92, 93, 94, 95. Yeah, early 90s yeah it's all early 90s. And G.I. Joe Extreme. No, Little Shop of Horrors, Scotty. Yeah. Littlest Pet Shop. Littlest Pet Shop. So this is, you know, you can see the layout lines and the drawings. Here's another list of the artist and what series they were working on. You know, to say to say the least, this box has at least a thousand sales and drawings in it. You know, some of these drawings are really nice. So, I mean, just this one folder here probably has, I don't know, 30 G.I. Joe Extreme drawings. There's the original envelope. It's another original envelope, G.I. Joe. And this is background art, drawings, 
the background layouts, which you saw the actual backgrounds up there. Yeah, that's all hand done. And then this one is a copy of that one that I just showed you. You can tell the difference in quality. But these are all from the production company. Wheels spinning, cane and wheels. You know, full on list of everything that was going on, the original production envelopes. So when you get it, it'll be a box like this and an extra box with the excess stuff from this lot, because I'm just adding to this to get the stuff off the desk in the office. You can see here, this is a G.I. Joe Extreme guy right there, hand on drawing. There he is with his ripcord. Oh, dropping you guys. Sorry about that. The camera is... 350 now from Cassidy, 360 now from Stryker. So there you go. So if you're into animation art and you know about animation cells. 375 now from Cassidy. And these boxes cost, I sold Matt Conlon one of these whenever I first got them. I don't see him in here. Um, I sold him a G.I. Joe box. It was just G.I. Joe. But I didn't even open it and send him it. Um, so he would have got just, you know, he would have got sales with drawings. 400 now from Catsby for Benjamin. And everything. And then the pile of them fell over and it broke open the boxes. So I, we just kind of got frustrated and... You know, so all these drawings you see, like this cell that matches this drawing may be in this box, or it may be in one of the other boxes I have, because I have a bunch of boxes like this. Um, I just wanted to see how they would do. I was getting 1500 for a box, I believe, of G.I. Joe, and like 1000 a box for the other boxes. But these are, like I said... Smaller just pieces and parts. But there was no backgrounds in any of those. Those are the only backgrounds I had up there. So, like, this is all hand-drawn. This is the J.I. Joe guy. So. so, pretty awesome. Like I said, anything that's in the warehouse is for sale, so... Except for Pam. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> no, it's because nobody has enough money to pay for your wine habit. <laughs> Stryker is out. Cassie high bid is 400 for Benjamin. So, so that's all excess. You'll get, it'll be two packages. But here, just to give you guys an idea. Like this is half the box. So there's, each one of these yellow papers has a cell between it. So there's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. You have to have Cody movies. These are about 65 to 70 pounds. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. All right, we're going to go once to Cat D at 400. I should bring this closer to the camera. Kyle Elliott's in for 410. 420 now from Cat. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. It just depends where you guys go. Oh. Um, yeah, just checking if you have some classes on for me. Yeah. All right. So I can do that while I'm. Kyle, cat, in. Kyle comes back at 4.30 now. So, like I said, this box probably has around 1,000 pieces in it. 
<laughs> Do you want some food? No. No. Thank you. No, that's fine. I'm good. I think we still have a drink in there, maybe. If not. I'll get more. Yeah. No, but keep putting these last up so people go broke and he can buy the plate. <laughs> <laughs> Four fifty now from Cat. I, I, I need to get into somebody's email because, see, it's still sending and it's not going anywhere. Okay. Yeah, I'll get it to you. I'll, I'll figure out how to do it. You just give me... Auctions I sent it to Donna you yesterday, at right? .com. Auctions by Donna at Yahoo.com. Okay. I'll send it to her as soon as we're done with the slot. Okay. So we're at 450 with Cat. Now, cat's like, what plate? <laughs> You're shaking us. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm moving the camera around because I've got to rehook it. It keeps falling. Got to get a better setup here. We're working on it. All right, Kyle, let us know. Kyle Elliott, let us know if you're uh, interested. Todd wants a brief, short, brief description of what this is. Oh, <laughs> there, no. Scotty, it is uh, all original animation cells and drawings. Not Scotty, Todd. Todd oh. Silver has stock is asking. Oh, it's, it's animation drawings and cells, mostly pieces and parts, buildings, explosions. Laser Blast, etc. G.I. Joe Extreme, uh, Conan the Adventurer, and Littlest Pet Shop, I believe, is what's inside. So, like the acetates with painting of the monkey on that one. This one's the face of some guy. Lots of pieces and parts, eyes, uh, lasers. These are original, like, hand-drawn backgrounds. Lots of sketch art. Original envelopes, that type of stuff. All right, and we're going to call it going once to Cat at 450. Kyle is out. Silver hair, they're actually the cells. They didn't sign them. The ones that are actually ever used are never signed by the artist who does them. That, you know, because they would be signing, you know, half a million cells for one cartoon. Whenever you see series cells, when you see series cells, those are the ones that come limited edition, signed with like the little stamp that go to the stores. But those are not original production art. All right, going twice now. And we are sold. Congratulations. Yeah, that was awesome. Ugh. Ugh. Todd. Did he make it? No. No, he didn't make it. Don't worry, Todd. I have more. So. Okay. This is one of the prizes of the auction. I'm going to leave it froze like this because T needs to send an email to Donna. Yeah, it's not going the one I sent for whatever reason. Still says it's going. And I have my phone. Well, I have my phone airplane mode, but right, that shouldn't matter. Can you, how about, can you go here? I don't have email on that. So create here. Type her name. I don't know what the what the 
Wait, we gotta we gotta get the link first before we send it to her. Can you send? Okay. I can do it from the office too. If it's easy to send it to me, I can forward it. Is that makes it easier. You want for me to send it to your inst uh, to your messenger? It. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that'll make it easier. I'll send it to your messenger. Okay, guys. Sorry, a little frozen. Okay, so this, if anybody was here yesterday, uh, we did the Mickey Mouse plate that was signed by Ward Kimball. There was 300 of those made. It had a chip in it. This is a Disney charger. So hope CC is here. I know he asked. A um, $100 start. It's less than I paid for this. Uh, the one yesterday was originally 750 I will tell you this one originally cost around three times that. Um, this is a deeper dish. It's 17 and a half inches. It stands three and a half inches high. This is done more pottery than the porcelain of yesterday's. It is beautiful. It is Jiminy Cricket. You can see right here. It is number 18 of only 25 made in 1993, signed by Brenda White. It says decoration only. Brenda did these mostly like for the Disney Anna conventions, but she was a Disney artist. Um, her stuff goes for insane money. And the Jiminy Cricket, as far as I know, there's only one other sold result out there um, from an auction house. The other plates that she does are, you know, all right, in, Scotty started us out at 100, and the, we are now up to 300 with Shriker. Or in the four-plus figure range. So we're going to take a second to sell this while I try to get um, Donna the link for... Okay. Cody, I need to move. Okay. She can't figure out how to get the the link sent. I know it's just okay. Let's see where we're at. Hope so. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Brian made that noise. Purposeful. <laughs> Look at Brian's face. <laughs> See, almost give me a heart attack, guys. Christopher Chatworth at 400. I wasn't going to tell you. I purposely had the bell underneath the cabinet to clean yeah. the chair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just gained one of her storage units, guys. 
I know you like it. <laughs> you like it. Yeah, this is an amazing piece. Um, it was a joke, guys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> For a poor Tim with Kyle. Yeah. Four ten from Kyle. But I will leave this piece up for just a, a little bit longer than normal. Um, because there's been no other ones of these available. And there won't be. 450 now like said, from Christopher Chatworth. There's only 25 of them. And the stuff that she does, that, have, that they make 50 of and 100 of, sell in the thousands. <laughs> she needs like, I would have really cried. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to make you cry. It's okay. I would have cried too. Just Brian, well, Brian had a heart attack. <laughs> what's the email from Kyle? How, how did you make out? Were you able to send it? I sent it to your messenger. Messenger. Okay. I hope. Okay. I hope I said yep. the right thing. Yep. Perfect. I'll do this showing. <laughs> Christopher Chatworth now with five hundred. Eighteen of twenty-five. Disney, nineteen ninety-three, signed by Brenda White. Like I said, she usually did these for the conventions. And this one was sold at a Philip Weiss's auction. It has it was Philip Weiss's um, Philip Weiss's sticker on the back of it. And I don't know when it was sold. I just know that the sticker's still on the back of it. So I left it there just to give you guys the provenance that it's real. You know, he's a well-respected auction house. And I didn't even look to see what it sold for there. So, but if this was at the price it's at now, I would have bought it for this. So it's a good buy. And somebody will do well with it. Or somebody will put it in their collection or give it to their wife and make somebody really, really happy. It looks much better in person than it does on camera as well. Right. That's the problem too, right? You want to keep it for yourself. Yeah, this is, it, it is one of the nicest pieces I've brought into the warehouse in a while. Oh yeah, for sure. Probably. Oh, absolutely. You will need to sign for this, this when it arrives. Double box. 100%. We have Chris in at 520. We have Kyle come in at 510. And this one is done in pottery where like yesterday's was porcelain and there's 300 of that Ward Kimball one. So you can, you can find those. No, Ronnie G. <laughs> Janine. Yeah, okay, Janine, get in line. <laughs> Trust me, I couldn't even pry this away from Brian. 5.30 now from KJ. What, 70 pounds, 80 pounds? Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it'll go by UPS or by FedEx. 540 now from Christopher. So, and that's shipped, guys. Shipped, insured, signature confirmation. Yeah, Pam, you didn't get to steal this one, did you? Did you? Oh, I just stole it. I wanted it. I sold it. <laughs> <laughs> She's over here looking. I have it on my computer. No, Stryker, don't worry about it. Other people have internet. And I'm sure they looked. 550 now from Kyle Turon. I didn't look. I looked up some on Worth Point, just other ones by her, but did not see Jiminy Cricket. 600 now from Christopher Chatworth. I saw like a Captain Hook, a Maleficent. So the Maleficent one was really cool. Yeah, that sounds cool. Are you still sweating? Are you still no, did I'm I okay. really get you? <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're still shaking. No. <laughs> but my wife does thank you guys for everything that you guys buy. All this money is helping us go to South Carolina, move to somewhere warmer, get, you know get her from wanting to kill me for all the stuff I buy. And as I move down south, it will be easier for a lot of you to come and visit the warehouses and purchase directly. 
and come to the auctions. Sorry, Jenny. So it'll be fun. Um, she <laughs> It's okay, Janine. Okay, guys. How about this? You guys are amazing to me. And T's super helpful to me. So whatever this sells for, you guys are going to pay T. No. And this is T's pay for helping me this oh weekend. Oh, my God. No way. So whatever it sells for, this is going to T. Brian. From me for her pay for the weekend and whatever it sells for, she's getting. Oh my god, that's too generous. You've done so much for me already. And wait, you still have more that you have to give to me. Don't forget, we have five storage units to go through. <laughs> oh, now I've got the ulterior motive. <laughs> <laughs> So T does a lot of hard work, guys, on the back end for everybody. So whatever this sells for, it goes to T. Okay. <laughs> Not yet, Frank. Maybe loading trucks. I got to go to Boston on next week if we don't get too much snow. Yep, yeah, Striker. They they uh they got part of their Christmas last week. I know, right, Froggy? I'm tempted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're still, um, I should bid it up, right, KJ? <laughs> no, no, no. Chris is a great customer, and we appreciate him very much. All right. Well, we're still selling this. I'm just going to bring Donna in on the screen. And T has definitely helped us get to the point of uh, selling on a regular basis. We're at Brian, 600. That's amazing, Brian. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Okay, awesome. T, awesome. You're muted, T. Yeah, you're muted, T. Oh, there you go. yeah. I think we, oh, know, oh, you had? Did you have that volume off? Oh, you are. No, I have mine still. It may be a problem. It's, it may be a problem. Oh my god. Okay, we did our going once stuff. Hey. We're at six hundred. Yep. Which is good. I hope Chris resells it and triples his money. At least. They can come back and shop. I like I like when they come back and, and shop. Say what? <laughs> I'm trying to adjust to my computer. <laughs> So the banner's not in my face. See if that stays. T, you don't have to peep me on the screen. Yeah, I don't put the plate back on. I think we're going to sell it. Yeah, I don't back on. I think we're going to sell it at we this point. I got to mute myself here too. I think. Are we getting? Let me know if that's getting a. Um, I can't because I can hear us on my headset, but. I can. So we're at. What are we at? Six fifty to Christopher Chatworth. Six fifty to Christopher Chatworth. Six fifty to Christopher Chatworth. Yeah, glad she's feeling better, Jim. Thank you guys. Yeah, They're just hearing you twice. Mm -hmm. 
my puppy. Yeah, I'm going to mute. That, 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 that never comes in now for 675. Wow. What, 700 with Chris? That's awesome. You guys are great. Thank you so much, Brian. Oh, absolutely. No worries. 800 now from Christopher. Snapper came in for 750. Thank you, guys. Just remember, nobody be jealous that I get to see all the stuff in the five storage units first. <laughs> well, you are coming to Bo you are going to Boston next weekend, so it's a quick yep. detour. <laughs> <clears throat> Brian, if you need some uh, labor help in Boston, let me know. I could reach out to some of my friends that have um, boys. Um, oh, okay, yeah, I'll let you know. I have some roadies. Okay. My friend runs uh, concerts and stuff up there, so good. He has he has four or five grown guys that have been wanting to come in. We're at a thousand with Chris Chatworth. Awesome, Christopher. Thank you. Yay! It's an awesome piece. I just want to say congratulations to Mary Harris, six months cancer free and counting. Awesome, Mary. Oh, congratulations, Mary. Congratulations That's amazing. Mary. <laughs> and just stay tuned, folks, because I'm going to be showing some hair bows and teddy bears in a minute. <laughs> 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 Don't you fret, people. <laughs> Donna will not be bringing a thousand dollar dish. <laughs> okay. Donna, could you have your people call Brian? Donna, I had no clue what it would bring. I, you know, I think I paid one fifty or two hundred for it. I think get yeah, this one and the Mickey Mouse when I went up to Boston. So, Ronnie, I could dig up some belts if I if you want me to. <laughs> Yeah, Ronnie's still thinking about those those bondage lots. <laughs> those thousand, I bought a thousand oh. belts. <laughs> you know how T buys a thousand of everything. I bought a thousand belts. <laughs> was selling belts until I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> right, eleven hundred with Snapper. Pam's out here like, wait, when are you going to start doing those for me for my paychecks? <laughs> <laughs> so crown royal there's only 25 of these made and it is hand signed by a disney artist brenda white on the back it is from an early convention 1993 and this is number 18 of 25 holy cow I also said it's great at holding salad. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Kyle. <laughs> yeah. So we have Snapper in at eleven hundred. It, it seems to be between Snapper and Chris. Chris is out. Oh, Chris is out. Yes, Mama G. How many nachos does it hold? Give us a minute. <laughs> it almost didn't hold any. <laughs> Guess I'll have to find something else to hang on the wall. I wouldn't hang this on the wall. Harold, you might have to. Yep, might have to come down, and I'll let you and Pam fight on camera. For the life size plush uh, no. Nightmare Before Christmas, Jack and Sally, because it looks like I might wind up getting those. Todd, it's not microwave safe, nor is it microwave fittable. <laughs> it's decoration only. All right, we're sold to Snapper for eleven hundred dollars. Thank you, Snapper. Awesome. Thank you, Brian. Oh my God. Congratulations, T. You gotta. <laughs> And she's going to write a label. Oh, I know, Harold. I know Pam could take you down. 
he ain't letting me take it out of here. <laughs> no, no, no. He, Harold said that Pam could totally take him down. Oh, well, I guess I'll that. <laughs> For the life size Jack and Sally. Okay, so let's. Guys, look who's here. <laughs> Donna's on mute. There she goes. Um, Boston was barking because my my son just pulled into the the driveway, so he was excited to see him. Brian, thank you so much for inviting me to come on this afternoon. Hey, it's great to have you, Donna. It's an honor and a privilege. Hey, for us too. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You guys, if you're not subscribed to Donna Telebotolino, make sure you guys go check her channel out and tea at auctions for you. They both have amazing auctions on a regular basis. And if not for them and some other people in the community, I would not be doing live auctions and I would still just be doing my typical eBay, Amazon and trying to get up to 200,000 listings. But now this is much more fun for me and I can sell a lot more merchandise. It's awesome. You're killing it, Brian. You're doing such a great job. So thank you. I'm still, I'm still in shock over here, guys. I'm sorry. Rarely does anybody get me speechless, but I'm speechless. And uh, Brian, Brian's not a touchy feely, huggy guy, but guess what? He's gonna get a big one. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Unbelievable. That was so generous. So that was awesome. Thank you. Okay, my husband can breathe a little bit easier on the five star channel. <laughs> Someone. I, no, he's I, trying to he's trying to figure out how much alcohol he can buy with eleven hundred dollars. <laughs> I see T like on delay. I don't know. I hear you fine. Yeah, I'm gonna get me off the screen. It's just the way this computer, for whatever reason, my computer blow blew up this morning. So we're using one that Brian had in the warehouse. So it's a yeah. little it's got a little glitch in it. Yeah. So I'm gonna not stay on the screen. We're gonna put Donna up first. Okay. Yep. Donna okay. can go. And, All right. And then we'll go to Brian. How many lots do you want me to do, Brian? One, two, three. What do you think? You can, you can do a few. It's fine. Okay. All right. Here's the first thing that I'm bringing. Um, it's a Disney to keep oh, with the that's beautiful to keep with the Disney theme. Um, what's nice about it? It does work. I'm not going to play it because I don't want you to get demonetized. Um, the the water in the globe is really clear, which is nice. Um, it has an item number on it, Mickey Mouse, words and music, Jimmy Do, 1955 Walt Disney Music Company, copyright. Okay, I'll show it to you. I looked it over really, really good. I don't see any chips or broken spots anywhere on it. It's very, very heavy. I'd like to start this off at 40 All right, forty dollars shipped on the snow globe seventy fifth Mickey anniversary, and we did not prep Donna prior to this, so she had no idea she was going to follow up with the chimney cricket. <laughs> so I think that's pretty awesome. She was kind of in line with us, and we have one hundred and thirty one of you. Harold's going to start us off at forty. Yep. And a daughter and I usually go twice on Sunday, usually three o'clock. This time slot is on my channel, auctions for you. And then at eight, nine, or 10 o'clock on Sunday nights, depending on how tired we are and if we need a nap, we come back on Sunday night on Donatella Bonalinos. And then we do a combined uh, Tuesday, Friday, and a few other days in between, whether it's a pop up, we have a one off Wednesday, $10 Tuesday. $5 Tuesday. So. $10 Tuesday. All right. All right. Bait and switch. Bait and switch. Guys. Um, you've got Carla Zana in there. She's not wrenched. No, she registered yesterday. It's the first time I see her over here. She's registered with us, and now okay. she'll be okay. registered with Brian because I'm going to share some of those. With anybody coming in today, if we have the registration, we'll share it with Brian. And we're going to moderate all those people. Guys, remember here you have a wrench because it means you're eligible to bid, not for any moderating duties. We have Janine Ketchum and Mama G in the chat. They are helping uh, to moderate this. Kyle Elliott now in at 60. 
And guys, it is a little bit dusty. You know how, what T always says, dust and dirt is free at the auction. So I did not. Um... Oh, I have that plush. Oh, isn't that funny? I didn't know what that plush was. 65 now to Loot Raider. And yes, dust and dirt is always free at the auction. Uh, Don has been buying storage units for almost 20 years. T just got in the game about a year and a half ago. Um, I mostly just did eBay, garage sales, and estate sales. But now I've gotten into the storage unit game as well. I think everybody's on this boat. Pinocchio. Yeah. Snow White, the dwarfs, Pinocchio. Thank you, Junebug. All right, the loot rate is going to go out. Kyle's going to go out. We've got Jill at 70. Uh, uh, Morphe cosmetic stuff. I don't know. She's going to pitch in with that. Thank you, Mama G. Mama G said she'll help out with that. And Donna's going to come back on after we go off tonight, 8 p.m. Mama G is going to help her host. I'm not going to come back on tonight, guys, um, with the traveling and everything. So I'm going to take the night off. KJ well now at 75. Well-deserved night off. All right, if there's no more interest, we can sell it. Okay. We got KJ at 75. Kyle is out. Let us know, Jill. We're looking for 80 now. And don't forget, Brian does do auctions three days a week in the daytime. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, 1 p.m. to 4 p.m. He is going to take this Thursday off um, in preparation for the holiday. And most of us next week, to be honest, will be kind of hit or miss for the last two weeks of the year just because of family and celebrations and things like that and people leading up to the holiday. No, Jill, I do not have the box, honey. Mm -mm. It's a big piece. I'll show you the official measurements of the auction. It's big and it's very heavy. And Jill is out. Okay, Jill. Thank you so much. Let's count it down. <clears throat> T, are you there? I'm here. Jill is oh, okay. out. We're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to sell it to KJ for $75. Congratulations. And Donna, I do have her registration. So okay. we'll, we'll, we'll get that over to you. Guys, um, if you can send Donna an email, we'll drop her information. It just helps us and makes uh, invoicing a lot smoother. So KJ, um, Mama G or Jane will drop Donna's uh, email address and then just shoot Donna an email. Uh, this is Donna's lot number one. Thank you, KJ. Thank you so much and congratulations. Okay, this is how I found this. It's not going to ship on. This is a um, a lampshade. Okay. It's a lampshade. <laughs> um, it's not going to ship on the lampshade. I'm going to take each and every one. I was going to take them off before I brought them today, but um, I didn't have time. So here it is, still on the lampshade, just as they came out of the unit. Um, it is a collection of a lot of pins. I'll show you how many are on here. I'll just, so here, I'll start at the seam so you can see, because I didn't count them. So here's the seam. And so I'll spin it around and you can see how many are on here. And I'm going to start this at 25. Look at how many are on here. There's a lot. 
and I'll give you a close-up as soon as I get to the seam. I'll give you a close-up of what's on here. It's a big lampshade. <laughs> oh, there it is. There's the seam. There's the seam. Sorry, I went past it. So this is where it is. Here, let's do it this way. So that's where it is, and this is how many are on here. It's kind of hard showing it this way, but I didn't have time. And that's where it ends. Okay, so $25 here. I'll hold it like this so that you can see some of the pins. No, Todd. No, Todd. Is there any interest? No bids? We have Christina, Christina in at 25. Thank you, Christina. All right, Schreiker now in at 27. Boston Bruins. None of the Boston Bruins. Of course, I noticed the Boston Bruins ones, right? That um, fire department one is really cool, 9-11. Twenty-nine from Christine now. Yes, you got nine eleven. You got um, a lot of Florida ones. The Florida orange, Irish, Georgia peach, Georgia peach. Illinois orange. It's a Georgia peach. <laughs> There's another There's fire department. <laughs> I don't know what that is. 35 to Christina. Yankees World Series. Mets in the New York Apple. There's another Yankee. Glass of wine. <laughs> USA Olympics, AT&T, Sheriff's Badge, Hockey, Fire Dog, Fire, what do they call them? the one, the, the, I guess a hammer? No. What's that, know. United Way? Okay, let's call it. Oh, they're still bidding. Sorry. <laughs> yes to wine, please. Lost treasure return in at 45. Crazy way to show it. I usually have them on a board. Donna, I don't know. Brian just asked me what was the highest record of anything that we can remember on auction that ever sold. Did Brian just break the, for break me, the mold there at 1100? Um, for me, it was probably like probably close to 500. Yeah, so I think I think he broke the record. Yeah, definitely. Right, let me join to Snapper now. We set the bar here. Between us, anyways, because I think Pirate had something sell for 2000 if not more, dollars. Yeah, I'm sure Pirate did something. 
Yeah, I'm sure Wade too. 1960 snapper. I'm sorry I didn't count them. Um, I, I think it would take me. I think it would be really hard for me to count. Let's see, three, six, nine. Let's see. I I I, I wouldn't be able to count these. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to count them, but I would have to guess there's probably um 70 maybe more 75 maybe maybe more yeah he sold the ring for almost three grand says mary so good to see you mary harris i feel like i haven't seen you forever who are you talking to mary harris oh mary's harris yeah yeah he sold a ring for almost three thousand i thought i thought so I think Pirate probably holds the record. All right. We're going to count it down to Snapper. We're going to be sold to Snapper. 49. Congratulations, 49. Snappers. Okay. And I'll do one more. Um, then we'll pass it over to Mr. Buys a lot, keeping in the, the theme of the pins. I have these pins. They're called um, Zonta. And... Um, I did look them up because I didn't know what I had. Didn't do it because I wanted to see the value, but they are valuable. Um, let's see, Zonta here. Zont, this is the pins. Um, Zonta, I'll read it to you. Stands for um, believe in making the world a better place by empowering women. We find joy in doing this in a supportive community of like-minded professionals from diverse countries. Zonda stands for women's rights. We advocate for equality, education, and an end of child marriage and gender-based violence. And so what you get on this is you get... Um, there's 20 silver ones. Now, just keep in mind, the silver ones, for some reason, don't have the bottoms. They're like stick pins, but they don't have the bottoms. These gold ones, and I'll give you a close-up look. All these gold ones are also stick pins, and they do have the bottoms. I have all the bottoms to those. And then these are regular pins, and these all have the backs, and I have them in a bag um, ready to go and I'm going to start this off at 25 and <clears throat> this is whoops I put the computer on on a thing so that the sign and now it's like ooh, shaky okay I'll try to fix it oh uh, okay um that's what they look like Zonta there's silver ones silver tone not silver and gold gold toned I can't put the lens up to the computer because it's uh, wobbly. I don't want it to tip over. But anyways, you get an idea. So there's 20, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. There's 20 of the silver. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's 20 of the silver. And then there's a 20, so 40 pins total, guys. 40 pins total on the Zonta. And this is a great reseller lot because you basically are photographing one and then just putting them in little baggies and as they sell. And there is a market for them for sure. Because I did look them up. This would be a nice. Hi, Jabby's Treasures. Welcome in. Zonta pens. Yeah, right, Mary? Multiples are great because they're easy to list. Shriker now in at 40. <clears throat> this is a great reseller lot. Hey, Jabby's Treasures. How are you? <laughs> 42 now from Christina. 44 from Schreiker. Um, T, the pins, do you remember what did they sell for? The um, 49. On the, on the lampshade pins? Yeah, how much? Yeah, 
49 to Snapper, 1960. Okay. Thank you, Snapper. We have 48 now to Striker. No, we got you, Jabby. This is Brian's channel, Mr. Buys a lot. I'm not sure if you were registered with, with Brian um, or not, but I know you registered with us. So we're going to go ahead and rent you. But if you can send Brian an email with your information, that's always greatly appreciated. This way he has your information as well. And Christine now at 40, uh, sorry, at 50. $5 increments once we're at 50, guys. 55 is our next bid. Fifty-five now from Schreiker. Forty total. You will not be disappointed. Nice reseller lot. No, she's not drinking wine. <laughs> What's that? Sixty from Christina. Right, it's like, is she drinking wine already? She's Italian. Come on. Well, it's Italian, it's Sunday, it's pasta time, but no. 65, Donna's a lightweight. Donna's not like tea. Yeah. <laughs> we oh, give Donna a little bit of um, Grand Marnier or Fireball, and that's it. She's and Donna. Fireball only recently. Yeah. <laughs> I've been drinking Grand Marnier for years, but Fireball only recently. That was Bomber's fault. Yeah. Friday night's, you know, late, well, for a cocktail. All right, and Christina, it's on it's Sunday night. Shutters out. Sometimes on Sunday nights. Seventy dollars going once. Ed said, "Yeah, pirate had a diamond bracelet for over three thousand. Oh yeah. Yes, Zanta Barb. Yep." Yep, and I went to the mini storage, you guys, so I have lots of great things I'm going to be bringing. I'm going on an hour early tonight, so over at my channel. Stuff that I literally forgot I had. All right, we're going to call it. We're going to be sold to Christina at $70. Congratulations, Christina. Thank you, Christina. If you would like, I can double this lot and send you double for another $70. I'll send you exactly what you see here if you're interested. Let me know. So we have a second lot available, Christina. Just put yes in the chat and you'll get two for 140 No thanks. Okay, is um, Striker want want it for seventy? Yes, he put Stryker, seventy. He wants one. Thank you, Striker. All right, we're gonna come back to Mr. Bizelot. We'll see Donna when we're finished. Thank you, Christina. Okay, can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So, guys, I'm gonna do the most valuable lot of the day, at least in my opinion. Um, this is 19, late 20s, early 30s. Uh, it was a sample. I had this professionally linen back at Poster Mountain in California. And I will show it to you guys. My son is over there holding it up. It is a 19, how tall is it? 19, how many 80, inches? It's 41 inches 80 by 41, yeah. 80 inches tall. He's almost six foot, and he's holding this. Now, Cody walked towards me. So this is an original for, like, vaudeville or minstrel shows. This would have hung outside of a movie theater. At the top, there's a white area that you would have put the name of the theater, the information of when the show was, and that information. Cody can roll it up just a little bit in your hands. So it is blackface, black Americana. 
it is military because they've all got military patches on. Uh, there's a guy parachuting out of the sky. There's a guy in the monoplane in the background. He's got a puppy inside of a bird cage. Um, and they have military medals. So it's they're like paratroopers. Okay, you can roll it up a little bit more, Cody. And this is extremely rare, but due to me getting switched over to manage payment and stuff like that, you can't have, I can't sell this any longer um, on that venue. Like I could bring it to a major auction house, but I wanted to see if you guys have an interest. I guarantee it is authentic. It is vintage. Like I said, it cost me around five to $600 to get it linen back. It's the size of a three sheet. It is a couple of different posters that come together. You can roll it up a little bit, Cody, and then Dave, you can bring me the, the bottom of it. That way I can right, show right, them. I can't see. Yeah. Um, right here. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to pull this off of the camera. $500 start. It's actually less than I paid just to let it back in. Um, what's the age on this? Do we know? It. This is 19... No reserve, $500 start. It's, it's in the 30s. It's very, very early. This one is a sample. That's why it was never used. Um, I bought this and two other ones. This was my favorite. If you can see here, it is a three-sheet airplane and aviator. And then over here, it is Litho and USA. But if you have a store or can get a frame big enough for this, this is amazing. Um, it is highly sought after. Yeah, it's. If not for the pandemic, I know people in New York that have stores that this would do amazing. No, Dave, I don't. Um, the three posters I got were all different. One was just a yellow with a round circle and a black face. There was a menstrual um, wrapper around it, just like, you know, for menstrual so use. And that's all it said. And that one I sold about a year and a half ago um, for a little bit more than the plate just brought. Kyle Tehran is going to start us off at five. But you will never see another one of these. And it has a little wear, um, but it was a sample, so it was never used. And it is professionally linen-backed. But just from age and, you know, originally the posters were folded. Yeah, this is it's around 90 years old. Yeah, almost a century. But the colors are amazing because so, it was never used. So it was never put out in the sun or in the weather. And the colors look exactly like you're seeing them. Uh, there's no restoration work done. You have the airplane in the background. And at the top, it has a white area up by where their hand is, and that's where the name of the show would have went. The dates. But, like I said, my son's six foot tall, and it's bigger than he is. Yep, yeah, just under seven feet. All right, we have Kyle in at 500, looking okay. for 510, really looking for 550. We should be going in $50 increments at 500. This to me is the best piece of the auction. Yeah. Like, I don't That's think gorgeous. that I can bring a single piece that would be better than this one. I mean, just the detail when you look on. Uh, it's, it is very well done. Uh -oh. Unbelievable. Hit something. Yeah, Kyle says love everything about it, right? It's black Americana. It's aviation, military, dogs. Yep. You've got it all here. What is the guy in he the has open a, parachute? His luggage. That's his luggage, yeah. That was his luggage. He's fallen out of the sky. And then there's another guy in the airplane behind yeah there's so much detail and he was probably the pilot because he's got a hat on and you can see that it was a monoplane since we were talking about a mini air heart but it is 
too. One of my favorite really pieces. Nice. Like if I had room for this, this would be in my house. Just as I like some vintage posters. I just want to say that although I don't buy a lot at the auctions, I love watching auctions for this reason. It's like it's like the uh, the right. road show with all of the different things that people buy and find, whether it's from estate sales or from storage units. I mean, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Like I'll, I'll never like probably see another one like this ever in my life. I mean, it's so beautiful. It's so rare. Yeah, we get lucky once in a while and find little, pretty crazy stuff. Now I've is that a little dog in is. a cage? And yeah, there's a banjo, obviously. A dog, a dog in a bird cage. Yep, and there's <laughs> obviously the same kind of luggage that the guy's falling out of the sky. You can see on them he has a metal that's like a four leaf clover. He has a horseshoe hanging from his neck, and then the other guy's like, oh, no big deal. He's got his military badges. Looks like a flying cross and something else on, and he's wearing his aviator uniform. So they've got the goggles, everything. And fishnet tights. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, guys, we're going to start calling it down. If it sells for 500, it sells for 500. Wow, well, guys, we're going to give this away. I came with the Kyle. Kyle's like, oh, let's go through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, it is amazing. It'll take me a couple days to find a tube big enough to fit it because it's 41 inches wide by 80 inches tall. So looking for any advance on 500. 550 with Chris Chatworth. If you have a good store somewhere, this would be amazing. Where's Chris the goose at? Right. This would look awesome in his he airplane hanger. You know what? He loves Black Americana. He bought a bunch of Aunt Jemima stuff. Oh, should... I said, in my opinion, this is the best piece of the day. Don't get me wrong. I, I love the Disney plate. But there's 25 of those in the world somewhere. There's only one of these. Five seventy now to Christopher. Oh, Donna, did you see what Christopher just got back from? <laughs> 600 now from Kyle. 650 now from Chris. And after this sells, because I'm not allowed to give you guys comps, I will tell you the price that I would have put on this item. But I can't do it while it's being sold. I'll yell at him. <laughs> is what he's insinuating. <laughs> She'll beat me. Chris is at 650. Yeah, I, I know what you keep getting on this for sure. Easily. And anybody that knows me knows I do a lot of ephemera and a lot of paper goods. I mean, I even have the video where we spent $30,000 buying those posters and magazines and comics in Indianapolis recently. So we buy a lot. Jim, do you think it's that early? 7.50 now from Christopher Chatworth. And those you, of those oh, you who don't know, Jim Episali is owns Unshredded Nostalgia in Barnegat, New Jersey. It is a store dedicated to posters and ephemera. And he does other amazing stuff down at his store. He has uh, Unshredded Nostalgia. You can find him on like Facebook and stuff like that. I bought his casino collection, but he's a very well respected paper dealer. 900 now from Kyle. Christopher is out. Wow. 
Bob says there were no airplanes in 1880, so 1906. Yeah. Yeah, it's like 19... Like I said, I think it's 20s. That's my guess. I was like, I don't like you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has a price. Yep. It is a beautiful piece. Yeah, Chris. Not if you're on managed payment. Yeah. If you're not on managed payment yet, it's you can't. You've got to go to a, you know, a private sale. This has got to be, you got to have, you know, like yeah. Brian said. A live auction happens, or if you have auction. a store, especially if you have a store like in Texas or you have a friend that's got a store with room, put this, put this on the wall. The attention, the straws, and the colors are amazing. Of course, that doesn't mean I wouldn't attempt to list it first and get my hand slapped later. Yeah, I can't do that with 160,000 listings. I know. Because they're just looking for a reason to get rid of me. Which is absurd to me because yeah. you make them so much money. Yeah. So we're at 900 with Kyle. I know, right? Midwest ticket of condition is crazy. So crazy on that. Yeah, and I'll show you guys. It is right here. So right here, you can see the outline of lettering right there. It was originally, I believe that was where the sample stamp was. That's how you know it wasn't used. Yep, except they pulled down all of my adult material, anything I had Black Americana listed in the title. They pulled down over 4,000 listings of mine when they moved me over to managed payment. Yeah, so if you're not on managed payment or you don't mind taking a chance. Yeah, I think this piece is much better in person just because when you walk and you see how clean it is, and how good the colors are, it's yeah. And because they're getting so sensitive about all those things, it's just going to drive the prices up. It's like you know, liquor during the prohibition. Yeah, that's what it is, Scotty. That's exactly what it is. So, go ahead and start counting it down. Let's All right, we're gonna go once the pile. Get it sold. We'll get more stuff out of the warehouse. This doesn't take up a whole lot of room once it's rolled. Yep, I hear you. I have a bunch of original negatives and slides from nudist colonies, like probably. 4,000 pieces, 2,000 pieces, 3,000 pieces, a bunch. And it's almost eight foot, or almost seven foot, sorry. <coughs> yep, we're going to erase history until nobody knows about it, and then they're going to repeat it. All right, and we are sold to Kyle for 900 Sold, sold, sold. You guys can roll it up. Okay. Thank you, guys. And I hope it goes in an amazing spot Sergeant in your Mark house. Sergeant interested in those slides. Tell me to send me a message. Okay. okay. Barb said uh, the cow remembered her birthdays next week. Or next month. <laughs> yeah, that was an awesome piece. I, I truly, truly loved owning that piece. There's not a lot of stuff I can say that about. I like to buy stuff, but go ahead and go over to Donner. All right. Donna, you ready? Probably thought you were doing three. That's usually what we do, three and three. So oh, let's do okay. something real quick. Let's do something else. Yeah. Okay, guys. How about how about we go to vintage? Ooh, that one. 
I'm gonna do two two vintage pieces. Yeah, I'll get layer it. Somehow? Okay. So these are if you knew me before YouTube, you'd know that I bought a giant collection of original movie posters and movie memorabilia. So these are what's called a program. This is original 1977 Star Wars program. They were sold in the movie theater during the premiere at the snack stand in the higher end movie theaters. So this particular program came in three different variations. It came glossy, matte finished, and then what's called pebble. This is the glossy version. And they're pretty hard to find. Um, when we bought that collection, I think I got 200 of them or 300 of them. And I did New York Comic Con with them. I had one person buy 150 of them. And he got his signed by a bunch of the different people. And uh, Spielberg, because he was in the movie industry. So he was able to do so. What and do you want to start this off at? 20 bucks. $20, $20 shipped. To start on this and guy. you will get this. This has a little damage up in the top corner. But this is Star Wars 2 World of Fire. It is a original Marvel illustrated book. I just figured... For like, you know, I guys have a Star Wars person. This is the first edition, 1982. And this is from 1977. From the original Brian movie. Maroney's in a 20. Two pieces in this slot. So there's two pieces in this slot. 25 from KJ. original program so when I bought this collection I think we got about 300 of them I sold one person 150 and I could have packed up that day from that one sale mm -hmm. and left and my space was three thousand dollars at the show all right Brian is out we're gonna sell up to KJ 25 so once have that and you have the Star Wars World of Fire 1982 Lucas Films book it's in pretty great shape. It's not mint, but it is pretty close. There's a little ding right there and right there. Otherwise than that, it is near mint. 30 now from Vintage Treasures. Yes, Brian, it's just one program, yes. Yep. If I just figured somebody would like Vintage Star Wars. All right, Brian, thank you. Vintage Treasures in for 30. Yep, it's 40 plus years old. It okay, is. Me, unfortunately, it's 43. older than you or I. <laughs> oh, it's just Brian's age. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> this movie came out a couple months after I was born. Where's Chris Perillo? For 35 with KJ. 35 now from KJ. <laughs> the birds are attacking. Mm -hmm. All right, 35 to KJ. Let us know, Vintage Treasures. Looking for 37. 37 to Vintage Treasures. We have 37 of inches vintage treasures. KJ, we're looking for 39 now. Let us know. Star Wars. I think I own maybe 20 left out of the original 300 we found oh, 10 wow. years ago. Wow. 39 now to KJ. Perlini, I'm coming to your house because it sounds like you got some awesome stuff there. <laughs> auction from Pearl Nini's <laughs> traveling auction. Go all the way out to Cali for that. Oh, love California. Yeah, I love San Diego. I haven't been to any of it really. Forty-one now to Vintage Treasures. I used to want to move to Oceanside. It's, it's 
just north of uh, San Diego, between San Diego and LA. Spencer's like, if you come out to Cali, I have a whole storage unit for you to buy. <laughs> Him and Mike both. People love your car. I bet they do. I bought eight pallets of 1970s superhero glasses out of California, out of San Diego. All right. 41 now to Vintage Treasures. KJ, let us know. 43 would be the next bid. That might be worth a buy, Spencer. Did you start doing some research on it? Mike does get some great stuff. My rock and roll collection came out of the San Francisco area. The rock and roll poster collection. Oh, wow. So that was 50,000 posters. I'm still trying to pay that off. Forty-five now from Vintage Treasures. Well, I For know sure. I do, Mary. I don't know about anybody else. <laughs> For sure. The universe definitely loves Mike. Look, we hope that Mike finds his 52 Mickey Mantle that he wants to find. I don't know what grade I want him to find it in, but I want him to find one. Just because he wants to find one. He's a good guy. Oh, yeah. We love him. So. Whoops. We lost your phone. We lost my phone? We lost your phone for some reason. Oh, see, it's just showing. Oh, there it is. Uh oh. All right, a little technical difficulties, guys. Just bear with us a minute. Okay, Jason at forty-seven. Can you guys see me, or is it just yeah, cheese? Okay. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it wasn't no, sure it wasn't that just was. me because once it does that, it knocks you off the stream yard. Vintage treasures now at fifty. So let's let's hold it up at 50. Okay, let's hold it up at 50. So I have two sets. As I told you, I have, I have about 20 of these. These are both pretty much the same condition. And there's this. And if they're not the same condition, what I'll do is I, I'll look through the 20. I'll make sure that they're very comparable. 50 bucks a set. Anybody that wants one, let me know. All right, so Vintage Treasures, one is yours for 50. KJ, let us know. You can have one for 50. Just type 50 in the chat for me if you want it. Yep. So we KJ would like one for 50. We're going to keep this all at the same lot. Are we going to keep this all the same Yeah, we can number? do an A and a B if you want. Do you want or... to do that? Okay. I don't care. You can make them both separate numbers. Whatever's easier it's just for you two, and for Robbie. Right? You yeah. don't have any more? No. Okay. All right. So we're sold to Vintage Treasures for 50 and we're sold to KJ for 50. And then we're going to just consider this lot 75A and 75B. A going to Vintage Treasures and B going to KJ. $50. All right. Oh, Kyle. Okay. Okay, Kyle, you can always send it. My my email is at the bottom. When you're registered with me, I send out invoices for you guys for anything that I sell. Yeah, he sent it. He sent okay. the email. Thank you, Kyle. Okay. Don, are you back? Back. 
Donna? Yes, she is. Okay, let's let Donna go. I am. Thank you. Hi, guys. Okay, I was just trying to organize. I have. This is how I found this stuff, and I don't know. I don't know what I have. Um, but I've got a box of baseball cards. But in addition to that, kind of like a mystery box. In addition to the box of um, baseball cards, I also have, this is going to be all one lot. Let's just start it at $25. I don't know what I have here. I Show have all again, Donna. <laughs> okay, I will. But let me start with this. I have all of these as well. Those are 88 um, Donruss, I think. What's that? Those are 88 or 89 Donruss. Okay. I think. So that's, that's one. Whoops. These are really big pages. I've never seen them this big. There's two. Um, okay. Let me show you how many of those black pages I have. And I don't even know if they're all full because I didn't even, I didn't even check them all, but I have all these black pages. There's one. Let me just make sure there's one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So there's 13, there's 13 of these big pages with cards in them, right? There's the big box and then there's this book. You know if this is okay the way I'm showing it. Hey, lady, Sarah and Jackie, treasure, tre treasure hustlers come in for 30 now. Hi, ladies. They bought all my 35 pieces. Later. Forty now from Treasure Hustlers. It's a big book. I'm sure you baseball people must have an idea of what these are. now from Treasure Hustlers. now from Loot Raider. Okay, so that's the book. And I'll show you the box again. This is the mystery box. Don't know what's in here. You get the whole box. You get the album. I'll pull out a handful. I don't know, you know, if there's a mix of what's in here. I'll just show you some. Donna, turn that one around just for me for a second. That last one, just turn it around just so we could just get an idea of the year on it. Um, no, I just need to see the um, the actual stats on it. It'll tell me which year it is. All right, so that that's a 70s. That's 82, actually. All right, 82 tops. All right. Eighty-two tops as well. New Raider in for sixty-five. Just to give you an idea of what's in the box. 
and then we'll go back to those large sheets in a minute because I don't know if they're all full or not full, but there's a lot. <laughs> there's a lot in these bo in that box. So you get that whole box. Okay, I'm going to go back to the sheets and open up the sheets a little bit, and we'll see if they're full because I don't know. From Treasure Hustlers. That's full. Are they single in there, or are there any doubles in there? Um, I don't know. That seems single, single. It's like okay. most, mostly single on that, on that one. Yeah, so it looks like most of them, I guess, are full, right? Yeah, yeah, they're all full. 12 pages of those um, cards, guys. Plus the book she showed, plus the box. 75 now from Loot Raider. Twelve of these sheets, guys. Twelve of these sheets. These are Don Russ. Tino's are cards. Well, I got to get to know them better. Well, I could just pick up so many. I've never seen pages this big. I know. Have you? No. Have you? No? No. All right. Yes. We're going to go. Seems like they're What's all to the <laughs> Jackie. Thought you were buying them for Papa or somebody. Like I said, there's a lot. One more tea. All right. We're going to go twice now. Yep. All full. Oh, Sandal oh. Ray's going to sneak in at 80. All full. One, two, three. Four, five. I thought there was more than 12. Five, six, seven, eight, when I counted them the first time, but maybe not. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, there is. There's 13. 13, oh, 13. 13 sheets, my bad. 13 sheets plus the book. <laughs> plus the book. <laughs> Thank you, Janine. Janine knows me so well. <laughs> Plus all of that. Oh, oh, load of cards. Loot rated out. Uh, I did say out, Janine. I did see loot rated go out. <laughs> Mommy she knows better, too. Oh, loot rate is going to come back in at 85. All right. Well, look, your favorite. T. Paul, why would Paul Quintrell be my favorite? Red Sox. Well, because he's a Red Sox. Oh, yeah, okay. He wasn't even that great a player. He had no reason oh, to even... I didn't know. Look what I just found. Oh, there's some basketball. There's a bunch of basketball ones in here, too. And we have a Benjamin from Sandal Ray. Woo, woo. I love you, too, Mommy G. So, yeah. Sorry, you guys, that I'm not more organized with knowing what I have. But, yeah, so it looks like baseball. And and I will very carefully put these nicely stacked <laughs> in. Um, oh, here's a whole bunch more. Here's a whole bunch more basketball. whole bunch more basketball. And here's a whole bunch more basketball. So you don't know what you're going to get. Right. Boston Celtics. In this lot as well. 
Basketball and baseball. Basketball and a baseball. Whole bunch more scissoring. Gee. Why is everybody all of a sudden find it amazing to cat type in caps? Why? Because Jackie's here? That's more <laughs> basketball. Boot Raider is out. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. We're gonna go once to Sandal Array at a hundred. Thank you, Sandal Array. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. I uh, I I know. I'm just. It just like all of a sudden there was this whole big like <laughs> sheet of caps, and I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> something's wrong. All right, that was my number five. And we're gonna be sold. Congratulations. For a Benjamin. One Benjamin to Sandala Ray. Sandala. Sandala. Dala, Sandala Ray. Okay. As promised, I brought plush. As promised. So you guys, some of my plush is shelf pulls and some is pre-owned. Um the first one we have is, um, you guys tell me, I don't remember where he's from, but he's a Build-A-Bear. He's a Build-A-Bear. He's in excellent condition. He's got Build-A-Bear clothes on. Um, this is Donna's lot number six. We're going to start this off at $25 shipped. Got it. Here's another cute Build-A-Bear. This one is a Gans. Kyle. <laughs> Little ducky poo. Here's another pink build a bear with the pink heart. I've sold lots of these. It's really cute. It's like brand new. Oops, my build a bear on my keyboard and it's making a bunch of W's. Hold on. What are they taking? Are you talking about getting rid of, Brian? What are they getting rid of? Oh, oh that's. No. Um, Patrol pups, Brian says. Oh, okay. They're oh, they're getting rid of they're getting rid of Paw Patrols. Is that what they're talking about? I don't know. Okay, hold on a second. Let me. Uh, all right, here's another Build a Bear with um, a little vest on. It's a Build a Bear vest. So that's one. Brian two, says no, just the police dog. Are you kidding me, Brian? Four. Um, they getting rid of what? The police dog. Oh gosh. That's five. This is awesome. I've never seen some build a bears are rare. People do collect them, but this is a parrot. A build a bear parrot. It's it's awesome. And that's probably the first one you'll sell if you're a reseller because people love parrots. This one actually says Boston on it. And it's a build a bear with a Boston hat. Um, there's that one. And then I have a monkey Build-A-Bear whose, whose pants are falling down. And he's in an awesome uh, karate thing. And I did want to address something that somebody said earlier. I don't know why they were asking Donna if she was in um, upstate New York. Donna lives in um, Palm Beach, Florida. And uh, she's originally from Boston, for those of you that don't know. Uh, Susie yep. DeCamps, how are you? Susie's going to start us off at 25. And, Here's, um, um, so somebody's looking for this. Absolutely. Somebody's looking for this. <laughs> Someone got one of these edible arrangements uh, with the chocolate strawberry, and they, by accident, threw the bear away after they got done eating it all, and they um, are so upset because it was a special gift from someone that they don't really talk to anymore. And they're, they're, they're scouring for this. They're looking for this. So that's, that's that one. And then this one here is called RCMP GRC. I don't know. You'll have to look it up. He's just a cute little bear. And this one is a, um, it's called a ho, ho hound. Ho, ho hound is this one. So that's one, two, three, Four and five, six, seven, 
The ducky fell. Eight. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hi, Denali. Eleven pieces. Eleven pieces of plush. All right. And we have Susie in at 25. Let us know if we have any other interest. Looking for 27 now. What number six? Plush. Susie's at 25. Anyone else? 27 from KJ. Thank you, KJ. Twenty-nine from Susie. Thank you, Susie. Hi, Sandy. I'm trying to be on my best behavior because I'm a guest on someone's show. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! But when you're on my show, it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's fine. <laughs> and Jeffrey now at thirty-two. Thank you, Ed. <laughs> KK's in at 40. KK. <laughs> KK. Plush. Thank you, KK. Susie's at 42. 42 now for Susie. Hey, Boatman, Boatman. Chesie prepared, I think, eight lots of plush for tonight's show, you guys. So I'll have a lot of plush coming tonight. I'm going to bang them out. 50 to KK. Thank you, KK. Sandy's like, okay, I won't say anything to make you laugh. <laughs> it's okay. You can say something to make me laugh. <laughs> I'm just going to be on my best behavior. I don't want, you know, Mr. Buys a lot. I mean, this is probably Mr. Buys a lot is worse than all of us put together, says the hustlers. <laughs> KJ is out. Yes, I'm going to bang them out. <laughs> oh, God. Here I go. Tommy Bernard with the 999 Super Chat. What's this button do? Thank you, Tommy. Tommy You're Bernard. The now, there's a name I haven't seen around in a long time. Hello, Mr. Tommy Bernard. I see Tommy. You yeah, see he Tommy? like the ladies. He only has the men. Tommy comes and hangs out with me. He just woke up. He's got that sophisticated clientele. Thank you, Tommy. Going twice for the plush line. Oh, Mary, it gets better. Trust me. It's it's only in its infancy stages. As it gets warmer, it gets better. That's what they all say. <laughs> Look at this. Tommy Bernard and KK both woke up. Hmm. Oh. That's how rumors get started, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what you write in the chat. Tommy is up every night until like 3 or 4 a.m. doing a show on his channel. So if you guys aren't familiar, Tommy has a channel. He does like a late night show. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Got to go there and unwind, talk about anything. He's a good guy. He helps me with some of my technical issues. Thank you, Spencer. Spencer Thanks. with the five dollars super chat. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And there's and Tommy. Tommy. <laughs> Both Tommies came in at the same Both time. The same there's time. another. Hey, there's How another. Another face I haven't seen in a long time. Hello, Tommy. Yeah, I'm bring some, bring some heat to the auction. Tell Destiny I All said right, hello. Okay, for fifty dollars, Donna. KK, thank you so much. And I believe that was Donna's lot number six, right, Donna? That was, yeah, six. Okay. All right. We're going to come back to Brian. Hey, guys. Ooh, that's I nice. Know, collectible stuff. This was sitting in the office. I got a few pieces from a high-end collector that I dealt with. You guys like it. T said I should sell it. So guess what? We're selling it. This is, and I guarantee it to be authentic and real. This is a large Dunian Burke colored satchel.
has the original tag on it right here. This is an older one. It has the original hang tag, everything like that. In Thank you, Mama shape. Jane. Uh, we had stuff inside of it, so you know, obviously, probably wipe out the inside. But beautiful leather handles, end pouches with full straps, leather, leather tassel kind of. The Duty and Burke. Twenty dollars start. All right, KK is going to open it up at twenty-five. Treasure Hustlers in for forty. Do we have a tape measure. We do. And just to show you guys how big it is, it is fourteen inches at the base across, not counting the outside pockets. It is over thirteen inches tall, not counting the handles. It has a clip on the inside, so that you can clip it closed when you put your stuff. Here is the other Dune and Burke label. KK comes in for 80. Treasure Hustle is now at 85. But gorgeous. I love the colors. I'm not real big on, like, plain, so I like the, the rainbow effect. Yes. Pretty. Very pretty. 90 now from KK. It has the Dune and Burke logo here. Snapper is out. Thank you. And back when this was available, I believe this one's retired. This was still has the price tag on it, so it's not one that you fold this. Beautiful. It's awesome. All right. Great Treasure condition. Hustlers is out. Okay. Kathy at 90. Going to be a steal. This is a large bag. <laughs> Tommy. That's like Tommy saying he's 5 foot 11. Yeah. All right, so we have an out from Treasure Hustas. Oh, Thelma. Hi, honey. Thelma wants to see the handles up close, please. Absolutely. Absolutely. They are leather. NS shopper with drawstring pockets. Drawstring pockets. Nice, heavy, thick handles. We did just start chasing the birds. <laughs> we have one of the puppy dogs with us today. It's one of Pam's puppies. All right, is there any other interest? We're going to go once to cake. Okay, he's got some good taste. Huh? 90 bucks. And we're going to go twice now. Hey, you guys are lucky. Pam was trying to create an account so she can bid on this. <laughs> Told her she can bid. She just got to pay for it, but she can bid. And with a fair warning. It's much better when she steals the stuff from me. It's fine. No, look at this. Our husband just came back yelling, get in here. Because he doesn't want me to have to give her a wrench. <laughs> <laughs> and with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to KK for $90. Congratulations, Kathy. He said to do some jewelry stuff for you guys. I don't really know jewelry, so. This is a beautiful piece of turquoise. There's the, the catch. Go like this. Okay. There you go. So the turquoise. 
background. I'm going to get a piece of white cardboard to give you guys a background on this. kind of reminds me of like Native American style jewelry, but I don't think it's that super old. I don't know. Nice pieces of turquoise. Great natural form. Silver in between. I don't know if it's real silver or if it's not real silver. I don't know. It's a lottery know, ticket. But it's definitely real turquoise. And let's see, the big piece in the middle is, and just to give you an idea of size, that center piece of turquoise is bigger than two inches tall and one and a half inches wide. And Snapper is going to start us out at 50. 75 now to Kathy Bauer. And I'll even tell you guys one step further. I bought this from another YouTube auction. Let's see if T knows who I bought it from. Late at night, whenever they were almost done, and they were down to like 30 people left, and they were trying to do one last item. And I got lucky and, and bought it from them. Yeah. Oh, he's a bird. He's a fellow bird man. Oh. Oh, Joe? Chris the Goose. Oh, Goose. Goose, Goose, Goose. Snapper's in at 85 now. I show support for the other channel. Sometimes I just go in and buy random stuff. $100. <laughs> Kathy Bauer with the Benjamin. Pretty bad, right? Okay. I just go into other channels. I'm like, oh, I'll buy something just to show support. Fine. Yeah. It's so funny. But it was a gorgeous piece. It is a gorgeous piece. And I knew there wasn't enough people there, and I felt like I think I got extra seventy bucks. But it was much better than I expected it to be when I got it. It is. It's a gorgeous. Oh, it's piece. gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous piece. I love the the little silver beads in between. Let's go look at that. All right, Snapper says he's out. We're going to go once to Kathy. Sometimes at late night, you guys can get deals. Or if you go to an auction after here, where everybody else spent all their money, then you can get deals. I know. <laughs> That is either Bisbee or Kingsman Turquoise. Unless KK is there, Mama G. Did I miss the clothes again? No, Kelly, you did not. <laughs> nope, but welcome back. So now I know we can put them up. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, well. I need space. I okay. Care. All right. We might have to double them up. Sold. Sold to Kathy Bauer. $100. Congratulations, Kathy. Kathy, did you get your other piece? I think Kathy bought our uh, bought the the necklace from you, right? What's up? What's up? Okay. What's up? This piece is something I bought from the state. Uh, this came from the same place that Jimmy Burke came from. I also got some Jimmy Choo's from there. Super amazing high-end piece. Um, so hopefully our jewelry people are in the house for this. This is jade and gemstones. So familiar gemstones. You can see right here. I will tell you the designer in just a second. Now, I think this is like a white moon jade. You can see these are cut. Here, 
show you guys the designer name in the party right here. And I'll let you guys have a couple seconds to do some research. So it is Stephen DeWitt. This is a very, very, very high end piece. All right, KK starts us off. Treasure Hustlers are in at 50. And it is definitely drilled gemstones. It is a five strand. Some stuff by him brings car money. Mm. There's the other side. We have a catch. Beautifully done. Work on the boots are real nice. And these almost look like an oriental design, like almost like a dragon. Right here. But it is Stephen DeWick. So this is a bolo for anybody out there who doesn't know. So anybody out there who doesn't know who this is, look for this jewelry. This is a very, very, very high end. I would put his stuff in the same range as Tiffany's. Jill in at a hundred now. As Tiffany's and stuff like that. One twenty-five now from Tammy. You guys can show chat chatworth i know he buys jewelry sometimes 150 now from spencer i'm sorry from uh silver hair stacker by spencer hmm. <laughs> i saw your name saying good night again stephen dewick do your research just so you know what you're bidding on 165 now from tammy 200 now from vintage treasures i told t what this Less is than worth a third of a value of this I told I told T what this was worth before the auction. Two twenty five now from Jill. But we risk it, yeah. You know, it's what makes the auction fun for you guys. I like to bring good stuff. I want you guys to see that everything is gonna come to here. That keeps you coming back. And we keep selling stuff to you. What kind of stones are those? Do you know Brian? It's it's Jake. Jade and I'm not sure what the the black yeah. ones with the striations are right here. I just like using that word. So I'm not sure what those are, but these are all precious stones there. Now and I, beautiful. I would guess that this is a white jade, but these have an oriental motif. Almost looks like they're pierced carved, like you can see there. But again, it is Stephen DeWick. Right there is the way you spell it, the way you check it. And it is a five strand, which is important. Vintage Treasures now at 360. I just want to bring good stuff to you guys. Wholesale lots. Let you guys make money by just coming here and buying. <laughs> hey, Kay's going to be out. Okay, thank you for your bids. This will be a great deal for somebody. Jill is out. And it's pretty large. I'm talking the shortest strand is 17 inches, not counting the clasp. 
So or the shortest strand is 16 inches, not counting the clasp. The one with the oriental carved ivory, or not ivory, oriental carved jade. All right, we're going to go once then. Yep. I wish I had like a big pennant in the middle of it. Right. Like, he has stuff that has like these giant pennants in the middle. They're not obviously five and six strands, but those seem to bring crazy money on the back on the secondary market. All right, going once to going twice now. Yeah, these dads for sure. Yeah, it's just a good bolo. So if you guys are out at yard sales or whatever and you see that name, I didn't know that name either. Um, I got this with an Hermes scarf and some other pieces, that Dooney and Burke bag, some Christian Louboutin shoes, stuff like that. All right. We're going to be <clears> sold to Vintage Treasures for 360 Stephen DeWick. Tammy asked what the name is again. I'll show it to you, Tammy, so just so you can look. So this is a good name for you guys if you're ever out. D-W-E-C-K. There you go. Treasure Hustlers is asking if you still have the Christian Louis Vuittons. <laughs> I do. Yep, we got some Jimmy Choo's. We got some Christian Louis Vuitton. We got Gucci. Oops, sorry, my mic was on. I'm, I'm going to take that. It's, it's Donna's turn. That was three. Okay. Did you hear did you hear me yelling at my husband to go prepare dinner? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't realize my mic was on. T? You're muted. Okay. All right. I'm sorry about that, Donna. That's okay. Okay. Um, okay. I have a, a lot that I'm gonna have to start at 50 because the shipping on it's gonna be 50. So we'll see where it goes. Um I have a huge lot of, and according to my son, these are trending right now, but they're all Nerf. They're all Nerf guns. Too bad I didn't bring these out for Christmas earlier, but there's one, all Nerf, two, three, Four. I mean, some of them, the cartridges are missing, but I know you can buy that stuff separately. That one, I think, is five. This one is six. This mask was in the lot, so that will be included. This one is seven. This one's like a mega one. And then there's two cartridges also. Let's see if I can reach them. And then there's two cartridges. Okay, so um, Janine, I think this is seven for me. All right, I'll show you one more time. You guys let me know if there's any interest. Again, there's one. Two. Three. These all came out of one storage unit. Talk, talk about a spoiled brat. Four. Five, six. I thought there was seven. When he comes to work. Any the interest guns. folks? In the Nerf guns? Speak now or forever hold your peace. No. 
the starting the Janine, the starting bid on this has to be fifty because $50, it's gonna cost me, it's gonna cost me that to ship it. Because they're huge, they're really big and pretty heavy. So if there's no interest, Christopher wants them. <clears throat> I mean, like, this one is, like, super, super, super heavy. The Rival. $50 from Christopher. Christy. Christy. <laughs> hey, Christy. <laughs> Christopher, it's at 50 <laughs> This one, Barricade RV10. 55 from Kimmy. Oh, Kimmy. How many guns in total, Donna? Um, let me recount them. There's one. 16 now from Christopher. There's one. Two, three, four, five, six. There's six of them. 70 now from Christopher Chatworth. I mean, they're all in very good condition. I just don't know. Um, there's car, you know, like I said, the cartridges you can buy separately. It, and this looks like it might have something that may may be connected to the top here, unless that's just for decorative. I have no idea. All right, we've got Christopher at seventy. Yep, Christopher's at seventy. Kim Kimberly's out. Thank you. Out. Thank you, Mary. All right, let's sell it. Let's sell it. All right, let's go once to Christopher at 70. For the Nerf guns. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to sell the guns to Christopher Chatworth for $70. Thank you, Christopher. Okay, here is my next collection. Oh, wait, wait. We have a sniper in the house. Speaking Ooh, of guns, Edgy Edgy Frida. Frida to 75 <laughs> Thank you, Ed. Sniper. I love snipers. <laughs> 80 to Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. <laughs> Me too. I didn't have Barbies. I had BB guns. Did you? Yeah. I had dolls. Oh, I didn't like all that frilly stuff. It was only was later a, in life I liked frilly I was a girly stuff. girl. No. I still don't like frilly stuff. Don't like Mama it. G's like, oh my God, that I was so funny. I still don't believe in hoochie coochie and poochie. <laughs> <laughs> We won't talk about Brian and his skirts. <laughs> All right, 80 from Christopher Chatworth. Oh, Ed says, no, nah, go out to Christopher. He All right, Ed, thank you so much, Ed. Thank you for bidding. Thank you, Christopher. $80 to Christopher. He rocks me through my stuff. I'm from down south, too. <laughs> thank you. I made mud pies and ate them. <laughs> I didn't eat them. But. Oh, I did. I wanted to taste them. I was a smart kid. <laughs> okay, I have a collection of Masonic coins and pins, and I know these can be very collectible. Um, I put them on a piece of tape. I don't know how well you'll be able to see them, but I'll get my lens and hold them up. I'll just, this one's a key. Stop this out, out, Donna. Um, I'd like to start it off at 20. One, two, three, four, five, six six pieces one two three four five six pieces total 
And um, let me show you what I have here. Um, so that's upside down. Um, I sold a Masonic coin once that was, I guess, a rare coin. I sold it for a lot of money. I didn't look any of these up. This one's 1982. Whoopsie, sorry. Here's another Masonic coin. I mean to take them out of the plastic. Would it be better? So they they can see them better. Is the small pin gold? I don't believe so. I don't believe so, Scotty. But I'll show it to you. I mean, I it I don't see it, it being said anywhere, but it's not tested. It says New Jersey on it. Is that even Masonic? I don't even yes. know if that's Masonic. It's a Masonic. It is? Yep. Okay. Okay, is there any interest in the coins? Vintage memory comes in at 20. You guys will have to do your research on it. All I know is that these were found all together. You could bring those to Oak Island. Usually on the back. Let me take it out of the piece of tape that I stuck it in. I, I don't see anything plainly, but let me take the little... Oh, it's a screw back. I don't see anything, Scotty. Not with the plain eye, anyways. That worth in at 25? No. I don't see anything. 28 with vintage memories? <clears throat> 30 with Chris. Thank you, Christopher. Thank you, vintage memories. 40 with Chris. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Came in at 32. Let Vintage me know if you want me to take out. them out. Let me know if you want me to take them out of the plastic to see better. I thought in the plastic you could see them. I can see them really good, but I think there's just too much glare. How much? 1100. 1100, yeah. Yeah, Tony. 1100. And Mr. Buys a lot don't uh gifted the money to T for helping him all weekend. Okay, we've got $1100 for the Masonic coins from Mama from Mama G. Sell it. Sold. Sold. <laughs> sold, sold, sold. All right. We've got Christopher at 40 for the Masonic. Christopher, Christopher. Thank you, Christopher. It's going in with your Nerf, Nerf stuff. Okay. Here is a, um, here's a small lot. Actually, yes. it's not a small. Huh? Tony asked if we have more posters today. Well, I just answered. Oh, okay. Um, sell it, sell it, sell it. Yeah, we didn't have any other biddings. So nobody else bidding. Everybody else was out. So, okay. So this is a box of um, scrapbooking stuff. Um, and I'll show you what's in here. It's not just scrapbooking stuff. There's there's a whole bunch of those. And a lot of them look like they have their tags on them. So you could definitely list these as reseller lots. Um, a lot of people doing this kind of craft now, especially with the pandemic. So you get that. And then this is also not really scrapbooking, but you get some vintage binding in this lot. And then here is um, for your embroidery, the backing for the embroidery. There's, there's embroidery hoops in here with the floss. And there's like two um, embroidery hoops in there. So you get, that's a whole project right there that you got. And then this is just a bunch of vintage um, 
Yes, Tony. Posters. I don't know what those are, but new, uh, new old stock on those. So that's a great reseller. And then you get some some zippers, new old stock on the zippers as well. So you get Sorry the zippers. The noises that he's making. Huh? What's that? <laughs> Nothing. Said Donna. The Pay no mind, Donna. <laughs> What's he saying? Did you hear the airplane just now? No. Oh, okay. No, I didn't hear an airplane. Okay, so then you get um, some blocks of paper, different, like, so this is scrapbooking paper. So you get three, four blocks of paper, different papers, and everything in here is new. So you can totally scan it in with your barcode and list it. So this can be a, a lot for um, a crafter or for a reseller. That's a cake thing. I don't know how that got in there, but it did. All right, $30 ship to start on this, guys. Big crafting lot. These are expensive crafts. I think I counted when I put them in. There was like 40-something, 40 40-something 40 pieces on the crafting lot. 40 something pieces and they all have barcodes. So really easy to scan and list, otherwise gift them, use them, whatever the case may be. There's a whole bunch of tape too. The crafting tape, crafting tape, crafting tape more crafting tape more crafting tape and again and here's um a little block and i'll just show you the whole box and if there's no interest and you guys want to pass it's fine but there's the whole box all crafting stuff from all right if there's no interest we'll pass on it guys let us know from embroidery floss to zippers to scrapbooking. If nobody wants it, can we do 25 to Chris La? Chris La? Yeah. Go ahead, Chris. Start it off at 25. Put you it can in start the it chat. at 25. Put Absolutely. It in the chat. Let's start it at 25. I think I started it at 25. I don't know. I don't know why it went to 30, but that's oh, okay. okay. Janine had it, or Mama G had it in there. All right, That's all right. Don't worry. Chris Law's in at 25. Anyone want to go 27? <clears throat> I don't hear <laughs> Mama G. Join the club, honey. Me and you both, sweetheart. I say, huh? More times than I don't. Okay, let's give it to Chris Law for 25. Okay. We're going to go once awesome, to Chris, Chris Law. Law. I have something going out to you so I can do combined shipping. So that will be awesome. Welcome back, Janine. Who's Go Bunch? No idea. Go Bunch is hilarious. RC Mindset. Don't you know, Donna? <laughs> Sweet Jesus, I need to get these treat bags away from me. Oh, did you get them? Yeah, you awesome. got them. Janine, yours is going out tomorrow. I ran out of turtles. I need to go get more turtles. That was quick, Christopher. Holy cow. Okay, is, is Mr. Buys a lot on next yeah. or? Yeah. You ready? He's, yep. he's ready. Okay. Right, Mary. Okay, guys, can you hear me? Obviously, you can. Yes. I'm going to go to the outside of the table. We have a giant box of posters. Of posters, the movie posters. A bunch of people asking for them. I've sold them at a few auctions. We tried to clean out that front section of the warehouse. 
So I didn't feel like unrolling them, so I just kind of made sure that they are all in the box nice. And it, it is a giant lot. It's probably 200 plus posters. Easy. Some are inside others. There yeah, are there's, duplicates in here. There's, so resellers, you might have extra. Right. And these are mostly all 80s, 90s, 2000s <laughs> uh, movies. Connie. A lot of stuff you've heard of. Uh, you know, there's there's roles that are like this is probably five or six of the same poster for this, this specific role. And then, you know, there's four different posts by the colors. So there's probably 200 plus posters in this lot, maybe 300. It is a huge box. Brian, what's that going to cost yeah, you to ship out? Scotty's going to start us off at 77. Strikers in for a Benjamin. Yeah. This is the biggest box of these I've offered. Um, you guys saw I sold a small box not too long ago that had about 80 in it. So this is 16 inches by 16 inches in size. Yeah, I mean, there's a, there's, yeah, yeah, there, I put some like, you know, there's some movie ones in there. There's some rental company ones. The box is 32 inches tall, so they're about 28, 27. So, but there's a couple that are that are, might be like this might be a subway poster, and a little bit bigger. It's just taller. It stands above everything else, but it still fit in the box. So, we put it there. Janine, can you hear Brian? Yeah, we can. Can you guys hear, hear you. me? Yep, they can hear me. That's because we have her mic muted and mine's on. Yeah, he has yeah, we the, can't, uh, yeah, we can't really, he, right we can barely yep. hear T, but we can hear you just fine. Okay. They can barely hear you because you're that far away. Okay, that's awesome. But this is a giant mystery box lot. These are all original movie posters. They came from the movie theaters. Um, the ones that you find inside that are shorter were for like video releases for like video stores. But the other taller ones, the ones that you can actually see up here, are all movie posters. There are... Scotty would like to know you can sure. pull out a couple of them. Uh, let's see. Oh, that one's got tape. They're not tape. It's got a rubber band around it. Let me see if I can find one that doesn't have a rubber band around it. Just to make it easier. Now, let me pull out the one that's taller. That's bigger than everything else. Uh, this is a subway poster. Bright young things. And there's several there's a couple. Yep. It looks like there's about three or four there. Um, what did I see? Did any kind of specific movies? I the workers are in the in the office was making to pull out a couple of rental posters, maybe. Uh, the rental poster down the bottom. Um yeah, they're all like the, the half sizey type stuff. Here's a, a rental poster. Frost and Nixon. Like, I would consider this a rental store poster. Just because they're small. Yeah. Most of the other stuff is about 27 by 41 on average. Some of it's see-through, double-sided, um, which is newer. Um, there's some other random posters in here. I'm obviously not in the office to, to see what they're putting in. This is a 1975. This is an original poster from Famous Monsters. I don't know if you guys can see it. From Famous Monsters of Filmland. So this is from like the uh, from the convention in 1975. That's a cool poster. It does have a rip on the top. I'll show you guys right there. Most of them are in excellent and near excellent condition. There's a few that because of the vintage or the age, like this one is 75. You know, it's got a little bit of wear. Yeah, if you guys saw in the uh, in the thumbnail, that whole corner was just full of movie posters and random posters, and there's. I have a box that's a bunch of booby posters, like girls. Uh, there's another one that has a bunch of rock and roll groups and pot leaves and stuff like that. We made a 
a box that looks like that. Yeah, this is from 2007, Dragon Wars. That one's cool. Yeah, I have a group over there. Oh, as she said, there's some Dungeons and Dragons they saw. So, but if you guys were at any of the other auctions I had, you saw that I had a box that was about half this size. They've been doing pretty well, so I just decided instead of carrying what they put in them, just told them to box them all up into boxes so we could ship them and uh, and make nice lots for you guys. So for reselling, you can't get much better. Chris Black has been at 110 now, 125 from Stringer. And my poster guys aren't here today. Some of them. So you guys are going to get a good deal. I think the ones that I sold this past week brought well, like 300 for a box, a half if not smaller than this one. So had about 30 now from Scott. No, 135 from Chris Law. 140. This box probably weighs 50 pounds, 40, 40 to 50 pounds. Yeah, shipping on this is going to be tough too, guys. So it's going to go UPS. I'm going to. It'll come in this box just like this. I'll put some air bubbles on top, some paper. 160 now from Chris Law. But, Two Benjamins now from Stryker. But it's a great lot. I'm just trying to clear up the front of the warehouse. 220 so. now from Todd. 250 now from Stryker. That's probably about a dollar a poster right now. Somewhere in that neighborhood. That's my guess. I haven't really dug into these. I got that whole load in the front end. Tony, it's uh, 80s, 90s, and 2000s. 2000s, yeah. So here's a Popeye poster from Robin Williams and Popeye. This is 1980. Said I did not take the time to really go through it. I'm obviously auctioning to you guys while they're making the boxes in the office from the front because I just felt like it'd be easier if I sold them as mystery boxes. That way, if because they don't know, they make a mistake and you guys get something that's worth two thousand dollars, I'm happy for you. Just that simple. I got the whole load for a really good price, and it's been in the front of the warehouse for six months or so, for longer. And uh, we haven't done anything with it, so I need that space for this coming week. I have a pallet of stuff coming. So I promised Pam we, we could sell the stuff in the front. Oh, well, the monster one said 1975. Thank Correct. You, All right, so yeah, this is yep. the 70s. Yeah, the monster one was from 75. It's from a convention from Famous Monsters of Filmland Magazine. I said that's early 80s. The majority of them are 90s and 2000s for sure. All right. So the has stackers out. Strikers at 250. Any other interest? We're going to call it. And that's about how many posters are in here. Probably about 250 ish. There's a lot. We're going to go once. Besides this, 275 from Matthew. Two eighty-five from Stryker. This one kind of reminds me of Star Wars, but it's just dots. It just looks like space or some like sort. Quite a few now, yeah, like three or four. Three hundred now from Matthew Bailey. I don't know. I don't want to look at him because yeah, he doesn't want to yeah. have a uh, seller's remorse, as we said. No, nope, I don't care. Whatever. Otherwise, he'll be out Monday morning going to scout movie posters. More stuff. <laughs> there's a whole there's a whole room up at the other warehouse. Before I leave posters. tomorrow morning, I'm coming. To warehouse to chain him to his desk for the week <laughs> until he has to go to Boston. Yeah, because we're buying a probably a 24 foot truck up there, 18 to 24 foot truck. I don't know yet. If it, we get this much snow, especially up in Boston, I may not be going. Yeah, that's true. 
I'm not going to risk my life for merchandise. No. Are they still pulling up eight to ten inches? Set? Was that Wednesday? That's plus now. That's what I tell the ladies. Yeah. They're all lying. We're all lying. Okay. All right, KJ, let us know, honey. We have Matt in at 300. With striker is out. We're going to go once to Matt. KJ, just let us know. We need 310 or an ounce, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. 310 from KJ. Three twenty five from Matthew Bailey. Yeah, I've bought probably three giant collections of movie posters. <laughs> I have some really, really early stuff, like 40s and 50s. And then we have a bunch of 70s and 80s folded. And then all this stuff was up front, so I'm just trying to make the space in the front. So 335 now from KJ. Offering this out first. Matthew's going to be out. Okay. Is everybody in and out? Twist and shout. Matthew's out. We're going to go once to KJ. How many did they say? Okay, guys, how about this? Let's let's do it this way. Let's roll the price back. Three hundred dollars a box. Anybody who wants one, put three hundred in the. Wow, I would okay. hold it back to three twenty-five. Brian's getting there and got the three hundred. Oh, three hundred. This is All that, right. that one. So we know we got one for KK. Okay. Here's the other box. This box wasn't as tall as That's this one. Right. Okay. Bailey, Here is the other one. Now I can just tell from the top of these that some of these are definitely older. All right. Box C. Who wants one? So we have three boxes total. Three hundred dollars a box. Snappers in. Here we're gonna get rid of them. Gotta make space. All right, that's it. Those are the three boxes. Okay, right, so that's A, B, and C. A, B, and C. 300 a box. Yep. Okay, let's do some video games or some whatever this stuff is. Congratulations, that is awesome. My goal is just to make space, guys. We are all about selling, selling deals to you. I want you guys to get them, sell a bunch at $25, $35, $50, $60 dollars a piece, come back into one of my videos and say, Holy cow, I made so much money off of that deal that I need to buy more. And I'll have to make more. Nothing on my phone, Evil Lenny. Nada. Okay. So you're going to get whatever's on this tray. This will be my, my next lot up. So Princess Diana, this is sealed VHS. Battling for Baby VHS. Dancing Grannies. Mature Fitness for Beginners. VHS, Titanic, cassette one and two, VHS, Denise Austin, cardio dance workout, Tales of Tomorrow with James Dean, this one is factory sealed, see it was originally 1995, George Foreman, uh, I'm not sure what this is, eh. 
I don't know what's on this tape. Not responsible for what's on this tape. It may be blank. I'm going to assume it's blank. Mary Hart, fit and firm. Denise Austin, low impact. There's also going to be video games in the slot, guys. Great body, low impact, and hunt for red October. That's your VHS tapes. It's a nice little mixed electronical media lot. So here's some CDs. We got Grateful Dead right here. Blues for Allah. I know you people are going to ask me. Take it out and show us the back. Sure can. Some of these are really good. So you get Grateful Dead. Got Pink Floyd, Obscured by Clouds. Um, we got Pink Floyd, Wish You Were Here Now. See? See, I only bring the best of the best CDs to market. Actually, this is just sitting over in a box somewhere. Original master recording, Grateful Dead from the Mars Hotel. Bluegrass Pick is going to start us out at 25. Okay. These are nice. These are really clean. So original master recordings for Grateful Dead. Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. Pink Floyd Animals. Oh, I know where I got these. I bought these at a yard sale. Oh, awesome. They were a dollar a piece. I bought them. I knew that these would be really good if I wanted to go to online them, but they're on one of the tables here, so we're moving them. We have an iPhone 3G. This is just an empty box, folks. Just an empty box. So it's just the box for an iPhone 3G, just in case somebody has one for resale. Okay. We have a Nintendo DS. I think it's a Nintendo DS. Yeah, Nintendo DS. Silver. Um, there's, there's a game. A whole <laughs> bunch of different games in it. Okay. So that's empty there. Okay. And then we go into some of the the games from that state cleanout that we did where they were going to have a yard sale, but we got to them before that. Mortal Kombat, Deadly Allegiance, PlayStation 2. God of War, PlayStation 2. Ray Ramen, Raymond Arena, PlayStation 2. Xbox, Marvel Nemesis. Lot numbers on the post. There's no Janine. Lot num numbers on the post. Seventy nine A B and C. Seventy nine yep. A B and C. Splinter Cell Conviction. This is lot number eighty. Game Shark Two for PlayStation Two. Brian Mahoney in his fifty now. Jimmy Neutron Jet Fusion. Aerosmith for Guitar Hero. You can see this kid was going to price him at two bucks a piece, so I just bought everything. Some stuff is good, some stuff wasn't, but. I'm not going to take the chance. This one's really rough, really scratched up. I don't have a disc resurfacer on that one. Anything else I've looked at? It's pretty nice. I think that was the one I looked at that I knew was rough. Like this one's not bad. ATV Off Road Puri. Ultimate Alliance. All Star Baseball 2003. This is some kind of an animated storybook. This is still factory sealed. Turbo, the book for Turbo for Wii. Here is Hacking the Future Stories of Flesh Eating 90s. This is a factory sealed CD. Right there. Hacking the Future. That's another music CD. Frankenstein Through the Eyes of a Monster. This was a game for a computer. Microsoft Windows compatible. This is a game for a computer. This one's factory sealed. Education, the Oregon Trail for Windows 3.1, Windows 95, and Macintosh, back when AOL was hot. Wii, Rio, uh, thing for a Wii soundbar. I know if you guys have these, that it makes sense to give you the, the books. So Wii, Harry Potter, Wii, Mario Party 8, the booklet. Oh, and look, and there's a Disney Infinity card in there. And then last thing in the slot is a PC Mac CD-ROM. 
for more for the game Morpheus for Windows 95. It is still factory sealed as well. So there's some very cool stuff in this lot. Some video games, some computer games, some great CDs, some books and manuals. Uh, a DS, a box for a 3G. Here's the CDs again. Pink Floyd Animals, Dark Side of the Moon, Pink Floyd, Pink Floyd Wish You Were Here, Grateful Dead, The Mars Hotel, Pink Floyd Obscured by Clouds, Grateful Dead Blues for Allah. That's a game. This is a movie or a, a sealed CD for music. The Lion King is sealed for the storybook thing. And then you get some VHS. It's a nice little mixed media lot. Oh, you're kidding, Scotty. Huh. I guess we didn't have a lot of deadheads in here. What? He was trying to say that shirt we couldn't figure out yesterday was a dead shirt. Oh, it could have been. I guess it could have been the way it yeah. was now that, now that I think about it. All right. For sure, it definitely could have been. Yeah, I don't even remember who won that shirt. Or if we sold it. Maybe did we sell it? Did we Actually, I am positive it is Grateful Dead. For, yeah. Because this is the back image. Remember? Because oh, of this right here. Oh, you're kidding. Yes, that is. So yesterday, somebody got a Grateful the Dead Weaver shirt. Weaver, Weaver, right? <laughs> for $10. $10. An original... Original Yo. Grateful Dead concert T-shirt for what ten dollars at the auction because we couldn't figure out who it was for. Let me see, Brian. Let me see the cover because I had stepped away. Connie, let us know if you're in or out. We're gonna call it. We're gonna go once to Brian at fifty. Wow. Brian, let me see the cover of it again from the shirt. That's funny. Yes, Scott. Scotty got it. Scott yep. Eifler. Wow. Connie's out. All right, going twice now. So this is a great lot. I think those CDs are really good. This is and lot number 80. And this is what our second lot. We got one more. Is that right, Donna? <laughs> Can you hear me? Is this our second lot or our, our third lot? Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Oh, because I was asking you to hold up the cover to that. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to your lots. I had stepped away. Is that, oh, my God. Yeah, it is. It is from yep, the T-shirt. Yep. Oh, All my right, gosh. Brian Maroney for $50. Congratulations. Okay. That was our second lot. Ready for our third one? I can't believe nobody knew that that was great. I'm not. I wasn't. A, I'm not a Grateful Dead person, so I wouldn't have recognized it. But yeah, me neither. Somebody I'm, said Weeby Reaver, and I was like, um, I don't even know what that is. So, so we call it Weeby Reaver. <laughs> okay, so these are all video games. This is from that giant lot of video games that I had bought. I bought 400 games. This, I believe, is 66 games. Wow. In this box, somewhere in that neighborhood. Lots of PlayStation 2. Yeah, if I had a PlayStation 2, I would have stole a video out of here. But yep. I don't. <laughs> yep, she would have taken Tony Hawk's Underground. You take taking Tony Hawk. Okay. So I guess I should probably put them in stacks so that I can put them back in the box. Okay, I'll show you guys what it is. I'll open a few of them up for you so that you can see condition. You'll see the price stickers on them from where the kid was going to have the yard sale, but he never made it to it because I got there first. Because you got there first. Because that's what we do. Mm -hmm. I just walked in and said, well, look, you're going to price it at 2 and $3 a piece. Why don't you sell them all to me? So that's what he did. So you got Brother in Arms, PlayStation 2. I will show you guys that they are in there. I paid I paid exactly two dollars a game across the board, but I also got, you know, some gift set games and stuff like that that we've been selling. So just to show you the condition of some of the games here. Rebel Raiders Operation Nighthawk. Need for Speed Underground. If there's a specific one you guys want to see, the back of or whatever, just tell me because I don't really know which games are extremely rare. I bought them 
and just brought actually I brought the entire collection here. I just sell them, been selling them in big lots. PlayStation 2, ESPN 2K5, Suzuki TT Superbikes, Call of Duty 2, the big red one. This is a Blockbuster rental at one point in time. Jack 3, GT Gran Turismo 3. Um, I th think it looks like the majority of them are PlayStation 2. Splash down. Yeah, most of them are. Yeah. Summer athletics. And then I'll clean it up as after we got it. Okay. Transformers the game. Seek and destroy. Another Transformers the game. Peter Jackson's King Kong. Official game of the movie. Golden Eye. 007 Agent Under Fire. Starsky and Hutch. <laughs> Huggy Bear. Golden Compass. Kill Switch. DDR Max 2. Treasure Planet, hey, The Incredibles. Tiffany, cool in the house. What's up, Tiff? Hi, Tiff. Okay, there we go. Here's Madden 2002. I got it. Spider Man. Working and lurking. Thrillville off the rails. NHL 2K6. American Idol. Karaoke Revolution. Ultimate codes for use with Grand Theft Auto Vice City. That's kind of neat. Fisherman Bass Club. Jam Pack Demo Disc. American Idol, Ice Age 2. So if you ever want to be Simon Cow, again, you could have. Wheel of Fortune, didn't he just pass away? Yeah. Alex Trebek. Or was he Pat Sajak? No. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Pat Sajak was Alvin and the Chipmunks. Alex Trebek was Jeopardy. Happy Feet, PlayStation 2. Sly Cooper. DDR, Dance Dance Revolution, Star Wars 2, the original trilogy, another Spider-Man 2. It's the games that keep on giving here. Yeah, but wait, there's always more. Wait, there's more. Well, Wallace and Gromit. I've done pretty good with these. The 400 of my bought, I've just been bringing them here. People have been buying them and making money. It's fine. FIFA Soccer 2003. I don't mind taking chances once in a while. And that kid was really happy. He was using the money to, to go buy the new, a new PlayStation, I think. Oh. NFL 2K3. What's the newest? Isn't there a new five. The five, right? Is it even NBA Live? Can anybody yeah. even get it? No, they're really, really hard to get. Know, so like $1,200 on eBay. Oh, my God. Supercar Street Challenge. Gee, and I could have gotten one for 600 I could have doubled my money. Anti Grav, Spy Hunter. This one is empty. So we won't count that one, obviously. If you want the empty case, though, we will include it. Just let us know. Yep. Trigger Man, Grand Theft Auto 3, Snow Cross. DT Racer. I'm just making sure they're all there for you guys. Tony Hawk's Underground. No. Motocross Mania 3. <laughs> ATV Off-Road Fury, the first one. MotoGP. 
NASCAR Thunder, 2004. Downhill Domination, like that one. Apparently, he was going to price higher. Cost me two bucks. Honda S3K. This one is still factory sealed. Bode Miller Alpine Skiing. Jeremy McGrath Motocross World. And Mountain Bike Adrenaline. So that's what you're getting. You're getting 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So there's 12. 13, 14, 15. So I'll try to make stacks of 15 to give you guys a, a good estimate. So that's roughly 60 there, 65. That's what I thought. And then this one's empty. So 65 games in one case. 125 now to Scott McFarland. How you doing, Scott? Hi, Scott. Scott won most of the other ones. This will be the best deal yet. 65. 65 games. Yep. All right, Todd is out. One thirty now to Mo Isaac. Hi, Mo. How are you, honey? Hi, Mo. Thanks for coming in. Oh. So there they are. This is the Mama Jamma game lot. Mama Jamma. This is the only empty one. All the rest have the their games. One forty-five from Snapper. Scott, we like to do ten dollar increments at this level. If you can go one fifty five, we'd appreciate it. Snap is going to be in at one sixty five. There we go. We got one sixty five a snapper. Sixty five games, even at three bucks a piece, is getting a good deal. I make a dollar each. Well, not after I ship them, but no, still. that's true. So, <laughs> <laughs> one sixty-five a snapper, and heck, this case was for a promo, so not for resale. One seventy-five to Scott McFarland. Mo is out. So 175 a Scott. Snapper, let us know. Mo is out. Snapper is out. Thank you. And we're going to call it to Scott. Yep, going once, going twice. Going once. And with a fair warning, 175, 65 of them out the door. Nice buy. Thank you, guys. We're going to do some silver in a little bit when we come back. So, guys, you're going to have Donatella coming up now. Hi, guys. I just put a cough drop in my mouth. Okay, I'm going to do some records. Alton John. Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. It does have the owner's name on it. I don't know why people did that. Maybe they lent him out. Um, Bruce Springsteen. The album cover is a little bit um, wet. Or, well, not wet, but it looks like it got wet at one point or another. Cat Steven, $25 to start. Eric Clapton, Alice Cooper. Um, the Edgar Winter Group, 
Frampton Comes Alive, Grand Funk, um, Iron Butterfly, Farner, Aerosmith, Boston, The Best of the Doobies, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, Saturday Night Fever, Emerson Lake Palmer, Seals and Croft, oh, Steppenwolf nice. Live, Three Dog Night, and Sergeant Pepper. Hey, Talbert's mom. This is an awesome lot, guys. 30 now to Junebug, 35 to Matt, 40 to Bluegrass Picker. Forty-two to Junebug, fifty now to Vintage Treasures. Some awesome music in here. Fifty-five now to Anthony. Did you get my Sixteen out of vintage treasures. Junebug is out. Thank you, Junebug. Looking for sixty-five now, guys. This is an awesome, awesome deal. <laughs> Do you silver hair stacker? That's cool. Sixty-five now to bluegrass picker. 70 now to Vintage Treasures. You guys, I work with this um, great vintage shop that um, I get a lot of my albums with. So I do always have a nice collection of albums. I try to sprinkle them in. Um, right, Talbert's mom? All right, we have Vintage Treasures in at 70. Bluegrass Picker and Matthew, let me know if you want to go 75. Same with me, Silver Hair Stacker. I awesome loved lot these. I loved, I had a lot. I had this album. I had a lot of these albums. We, A lot of us did. Oh, yeah. Seventy-five now from Bluegrass Picker. Eighty now from Vintage Treasures. Bluegrass Picker is out. Matthew, let me know. We're looking for eighty-five now. What's that? Matthew is it out. We're going to call it. We're going to go once to Vintage Juice Treasures. Would say. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Going twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Vintage Treasures at $80. Congratulations. Nice albums, Donna. Really Thank nice. you. Thank you. Vintage Treasures for the albums. Okay, folks, this is going to be a $50 start, and you'll see why. I have two pairs of brand new Nike sneakers 
in the boxes. They're both size eight. Brand new, size eight. These are Air Max 24. Hey, Lo, because we're on Brian's channel, sweetheart. That's why. But we'll get you wrenched up. I have your registration. If Brian needs it, you're giving me permission to share that information with him. This is the first pair. $50 start on these. Brand new. Lot number 11, Nike sneaker size 8, starting bid $50, two pairs, brand new, in the box. You've got, that's number one. Are they men's or women's, Donna? Are they what? Men's or women's? Um... Where does it say it? They're men's. They're men's. They're men's? Yep. I don't see where it says it. Women's, women's is marked WMS. Maybe under the tongue? No, they're men's. Oh, yeah. Be Does it say men somewhere? Am I missing it? And this is the next one. These are All awesome. Right, starts us off at 50. Yeah. These are leather. Yeah, they bought me. Okay. These are leather. Yeah, they make still, sure you subscribe to the channel. That they might still, be might they still have the cardboard in them. 55 from Joy. These are okay. Nike Air Max. So you get one and two in the box. Never been worn. All right, June bug is out. We have Joy at 55. Who wants to come 60 now? They're size eight. Both of them are size eight. Vintage Memories is in for 60. <clears throat> 65 now to Joy. Men's, Todd. This is an easy ship for me, so I will get these out tomorrow if you need them for Christmas. Hopefully, you'll get them. Seventy now from Vintage Memories. T. Home. These are all leather. What, does, what do you mean, Mama G? Joy Monkins in at 75. Mama, I don't know what you mean, honey. You're right. Vintage Memories is going to get oh, them. Oh, okay. Oh, she wants the coat on the shoes. Okay. Sorry. She wants what? The coat on the shoes. The coat on the shoes. Uh, the design, the, the um, stock number, the uh, style number. You want to scan it? If you want to grab that barcode, somebody wants to scan it. Garden wants the numbers on the tongue. On the toe? The tongue. No, one money, Scott. Both pairs. Both pairs. That's where we're at for both pairs. 75 to Joy Munkin. Yep. Both pairs. This number underneath the barcode? Is that what they're asking for? Yes. Yes. So the number on the tongue she wants. Under the barcode or there's two numbers, guys. Let me let me know um, 
you want that number, the 97252-006 or the 10194-1578. All right, Scott McFarland's in at $100. There's a Benji. Okay, so that's that's the green one. That one hasn't even been unwrapped out of its paper. Looks like they tried one on and bought them. I never used them. Who does that? Me. And put them in a storage unit. Okay, well, and this I'm one. Sure. Go back in my closet. <laughs> this one is six. I gotta use this. It's um. Um, six three one seven six seven dash six hundred. That's correct, Talbert's mom. Same with youth. A size eight in youth is a women's nine and a half. Brian's a sneaker expert now. He's a sneakerhead. <laughs> you did buy a thousand pairs of Nikes. These are beautiful. These here, these leather ones, they're gorgeous. All right, we've got Scott McFarland in at 100. Guys, let us know. Joy, if you're in or out. Vintage Memories. $10 increments now. Looking for 110. 110, Todd. Joy Munkin's in for 110. 120 now. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. One twenty. So Todd Miller, Vintage Memories is out. How many pairs are there? I don't know how many pairs are there. That's probably the cost of one pair. I don't know. I don't buy Nikes new. But I know that they're expensive. All right, Joy is out. Vintage Memories is out. We got Todd at 120. Todd is at 120. We're going to go once to Todd. Scott, just give us a, a in or out. Yes, they both have boxes, Todd. Yes, 130 yeah. from Scott. Yes, they both have boxes. Both boxes are in excellent condition. Ten dollar increments, honey. <laughs> the, the black box, right? Yeah. Donna, show the black box. Show the in label. In the black box. Uh oh, is Mr. Buys a lot comping them out? <laughs> one fifty to Scott. <laughs> Breaking the rules. I'm trying to figure out if I should be bidding on these or not. <laughs> to go with my other thousand pairs. Right? Well, if you're they're your size, why not? Those are eights. These are eights. Yeah, they're nice. You have six pairs sitting there on your desk. You haven't even tried on yet. Go in there and get through those so I can sell the ones you don't want. No, 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 no. June Buck's like, I wish they would fit me. Go in there and find the pair you don't like the most. 170 now to Todd. My son did say that they cost a lot of money when I showed them to him. I don't know anything about them. All right, Scott's going to go out. We're going to sell them to Todd at 170 going once. I need a women's size eight and a half. Okay. So a seven youth will fit you, Mama G, just so you know. A seven youth is a women's one, eight and a half. Going twice. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> All right. Good morning. 
We're gonna sell these sneakers. Okay. All right, sold to Todd for 170. Congratulations, Todd. Todd, thank you so much. Guys, make sure you sell, send Donna an email with your information. Greatly appreciated. We'll drop her information in the chat. I don't know if you've ever bought from Donna, Todd. No, he hasn't. Todd, what's Todd's last Miller. name? Miller. What is it? Miller. No, no, Todd, we invoice, honey. Please wait for an invoice. Donna will invoice you Monday or Tuesday. Um, Todd, if you need them to go out tomorrow, I'll invoice you tomorrow and get them right out because this is an easy ship for me. No wrapping, no nothing. Put them in a box and off they go. So watch for your invoice tomorrow morning and I'll get them right out. Okay. Here's my next one. You guys, I'm famous for my um, my jewelry lots. I, I, have to, I have to say, I just got... I don't know where my phone is. I just got a message from from one of my regular buyers that found a hundred and seventy dollar piece in my jewelry box. So not a hundred and seventy, two hundred and twenty dollar piece in my jewelry. In my jewelry, I'm not saying that all of my jewelry uh, lots have that in there. Um, I they're uncurated, but um, I'm going to start the soft tea at. Um, Let's start it. Let's start it off at thirty-five, okay. and I, I am gonna put this piece of silver. It's marked. It's a what did we call this? An Aztec calendar. Aztec, yes. Yeah, it's got a silver chain, and the medallion is silver as well. It's really jewelry. It's really dirty. So in case you don't find anything valuable in here, which I doubt that you won't, you will at least have that beautiful piece of silver in there. Um, and here you go. All right, Michelle's going to start us off at 35. Hey, Michelle. I'm going to start this off at least at 50. Because of the silver? Well, just because of the size, too. You got a lot of. And it's all wearable, guys. It's all wearable. No, Jen's holding on to it to open it, what, on Christmas Day? Was yeah, that she put it under the Christmas tree. Oh. She bought it for herself for Christmas. And she stuck it under the tree. Yep, if you've got a lovely lady, this is the perfect Christmas gift. For sure. For sure, for sure. All right, let's go 37 on this, guys. This is an awesome jewelry lot. You're getting silver in here and everything. And it's a big lot, and it's very heavy. This is how big it is. I mean, hey, there's... Ken. A Ken's going to go 37. Matt's going to go 43. Thank you, Hi, guys. Ken. There she is, Andrea Baker. Ba Andrea, I was just talking about you. Hey, Andrea. Andrea, you need 42, honey. Andrea, we've got some vintage clothing coming up, too. Okay. And Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Michelle. We're on my channel. Kelly, how many pieces did you find in your jewelry jar? She found like, I don't know, 200 like wearable pieces or something or sellable pieces or 
she's she sent me a message too hi woodbine girl yeah it's well this is my standard jar this is usually the jar that i sell this is usually the one that i fill michelle's in at 60 now I paid twelve dollars from the brooch from you, Donna. Yeah, twelve dollars for the brooch, and and tell them how much it was. <laughs> Sixty-five now to Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. Two hundred and thirty sellable pieces, including gold and silver. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, thank you. So it is. It's uncurated. Kelly did um, test the pieces. Kelly, I hope you're feeling good, honey. All right, we're going to bring the vintage clothing lot for you guys up there for this. Or lots. Maybe a doggy. Maybe a doggy, too. We're going to introduce you to Kai. Kai, 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 Something Andrea won from Donna. Nice. For $12. That's good. <laughs> you want that to happen. I know. That's that's good. You can't ask for better advertising than that. Yeah. Oh, no. She texted me. She's like, I hope this doesn't bother you, but I have to tell you. I'm like, no, it doesn't bother me. It makes nope. me happy. Make tons of money. Um, What kind of brooch was it? Uh, she already told me, and I already forgot. Um. That's right, silver hair stack or COVID free. <laughs> <COVID -free. laughs> I think she said Trafari. I think it was a Trafari piece. Remember that night I was doing a bunch of single brooches? Oh, yes, yes. Starting them at like $5 and letting them people, you know, bid them. Yeah, yeah. Silver hair stacker, thank you so much for bidding. All right, Todd's in for 70 now. Who wants to go 75? I'm going to be doing some more of that tonight, you guys. I'm going to be doing some more $5 starts. I know it's a lot of work for me, but I think that you guys enjoy it. And I have some really nice clothes and some, like, single pieces that I'll be doing $5 starts on. Um, and unfortunately, doing... like every other Sunday that I usually join Donna, I will not be joining this evening. But no. G will be with Donna. Yeah, Mama G will be with me, and um, you know we'll just um, we'll just go slow. All right, it Tammy's in for seventy five now. It'll be a nice relaxing night, just more of a hangout than anything else. What time is Donna going on? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, guys. Donna. Found eight o'clock. Yeah, I'm gonna go on at eight o'clock. I'm gonna get off here now. Let you finish up your auction. We might go up until late. We may just have a two strong hours behind us yet. We'll see. We'll see how. Oh, we go. really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. If you stay, gonna... We're gonna try to get the front cleared out. Yeah. If, if I don't mind staying, as long as every all of you guys in the chat don't mind staying, and then we'll send you right over to Donna's. Thank you, Mama G, for dropping it in the chat. Yeah, I'm gonna so go for seventy-five, and Todd is out. I'm gonna go and have myself a little dinner. And um, who won it? We're going to go once to Tammy at 75. Oh, I see Tiffany. Hi, Tiffany. I don't know if you heard me say hi to you earlier, sweetheart. Um, I thought I saw um, Tiffany write congratulations, Tammy. So I thought it sold. Kelly's going to be out. Thank you, Kelly. Oh, it's heavy. And we're going to go twice now. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Tammy for $75. Tammy, I haven't checked my email since yesterday morning when I did a whole bunch of shipping. Yeah. I did a bunch of shipping yesterday morning. And then last night, I just took the night off. Um, I took the night off. And then this morning, I, I've been running. I didn't do any shipping today. All Tomorrow. Right. Sold to Tammy for $75. I'll look at it tomorrow. Tammy, thank you, sweetheart. Thank you for being such a phenomenal, great customer and support. I really appreciate it. Mr. Buys a lot. Thank you. You're Team. welcome, dear. Thank, thank you, for, you coming so in. Much for having me on, you guys. I really appreciate it. It was it was fun. 
<laughs> and um, you guys have fun the rest of the afternoon or early evening. Did you eat tea? I, I'm, I've been snacking on a bar every three hours like I'm supposed to do. Like you're supposed to do. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Look at that. Pooch. <laughs> That's Ryder. Ryder came to visit us today. Hi, Ryder. They're gonna start. They're gonna start bidding on him. I know, right? So now, is this Pam in the yeah, camera? Pam, Pam Wade. Hi. 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 Hi, Pam. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. She's my nurse wife. She's the one that yells at me all the time. <laughs> and this is Pam's one of her four babies. Yeah. Oh. That's awesome. So Ryder came for right. a visit today. I right, Donna, to thank you. Guys. Everybody Bye, Donna. subscribe and follow Donna over tonight. Bye, and Donna. uh we'll see you later. Okay, thanks, you guys. Mwah. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye. Tony, not off the top of my head, know anywhere to buy a puppy up this way. Oh. Pet, pet store or adopt. There's a bunch of different shelters and stuff. Pam works with a bunch of those, so <laughs> Kyle puts a bid in two twenty-five. <laughs> Pammy will not give this pup up. Trust no, me. No, for sure. Okay. You know how they say there's a price for everything. Well, unfortunately, it's not going to work for Ryder. She would sell her at-home husband before she'd sell the dog <laughs> for much cheaper. Uh, Anthony's asking, is it a boxer pit mix? No, nope. Boston Terrier. Boston Terrier. Yep. He's just a big boy. Okay, so we're going to do vintage clothing. No, not not this Brian. Her <laughs> other husband, her real husband. Her home husband. Her home says. husband. <laughs> she can't deal with me full time. This is a beautiful dress. It has the belt. It has this awesome front with the buttons. Nice vintage. What a twenty dollars start on this vintage clothing lot. I don't see any tags or labels. Okay. Hey Wes. Yes, Wes, it's an option. I'll be into it. All right, lot number eighty-two, vintage clothes, twenty dollars ship to start on this guy. There's a nice sheer material over top of a purple. Inline slip. Uh, this one is a size 18. It's kind of pretty. 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 Oh, mommy wore that. I swear to God, I that my mother had that dress. I swear to God. <laughs> wow. This is a light, puffy. I don't know what to call this stuff because I don't know the fabric. I just know this is all out of that vintage clothing store that I bought out. Some of it they had tags on, which is really helpful when they find that. But the rest of it, forget it. Like this reminds me of an old lampshade. No, that's an underneath of a hoop skirt. Oh, okay, so it's an underneath of a hoop skirt. It's the hoop. These are used panties. It's the, that's no. not used panties. Okay, not used panties. Tammy's gonna start us off at twenty. <laughs> it's it's very like stiff. I don't know. Yes, because you know you remember those dresses that used to go out. No, I didn't wear those. <laughs> Come on. My pimp you did not let them. me wear that stuff. Your mom used to put those on you all the time with the nope. corset. Yeah. No, nope. she put mini skirts on me and told me my legs would give me extra money. Oh my God, I swear that's my mom's dress. Where did you find it? <laughs> <laughs> it probably would have been her size too. Size 18. Hmm? Look, it even has like a, like a drapery 22 for Kelly now. On the back of it. Wow. It's beautiful. It's really nice. It is pretty. Yes, right, Connie? COVID distance is the hoop, right? <laughs> right. Look, I just started doing clothing right whenever Vicky and and uh, Katie are doing their live show. So you guys don't have no competition from them right now. They like that. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Kelly in at 22. 
Looking for 24 now. It's a nice lot. They get some action. I'll make the lots bigger just to move them on. So you get one, two. Okay, there you go. So you got five pieces here. We're at 22 with Kelly. As the bids go up, the size of the lot goes up. Let us know, Tammy. Looking for 24 now, hon. Yep. You guys know me well enough to know I like making bigger lots. 25 now from Tammy. I uh, probably didn't do me no good to walk away from the microphone because it's like carrying it with me. <laughs> you have no sound? Can you hear me? Can you, you guys hear us? Hear? Mark finds in the 27 now. Well, obviously yep. they can't. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. Bigger lot. All right. So we're going to add. Since we have some interest, I'll make a lot. That way you guys can. We can go through lots faster this way. So this is a nice green and white thing. It says uh, 1940s green plaid cotton dress with drape. It's a small. So it's very pretty. <laughs> this is a giant wow. silk and satin finished kind of dress um this might have been look oh, oh that was absolutely yep so look at the buttons silky satiny it's it's a cream off white yeah what she said but it's it's huge. It is wedding dress. Very large. It's beautiful though. I mean, like, it has like a lace at the bottom. Yes. The inside. Nine hundred. Yep. This is the front of it. Very nice. That's included. Oh, this is this is probably one of my favorites. I really like the way this looks. It didn't fit me or I'd have kept it, but when they say let it out, they don't mean Just muted me. Oh, there you go. You guys can hear me now. Thirty-four now from Kelly. I don't know why it muted me again. Oh, he hit his mic. Maybe you know what? You probably have like an on-off switch on the actual. Oh, up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah maybe. Can you hear us now? All right, forty now from Tammy. Okay, so you get all of this. For one money. We well, hit fifty bucks. I'll make it a lot bigger. All right, it's good now. Thank you, Mama G. This one's really pretty. And the wedding dress is gorgeous. It's like a yeah. silk satin. I'd use other fun words like taffeta, but I don't know what that means. now from Garden. Yeah, taffeta is another material. You got that right. Probably the wedding dress probably is taffeta. 
You told me, right? So, what we got? Like six or seven pieces up there? 50 now from Tammy. Okay, make it bigger. So, here is a Lin Chow Mei, extra large. Famous Japanese designer, Lin Chow Mei. I'm just kidding. I have no clue what that says. <laughs> You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> so this is pretty. It's got a really nice blue inside. It is a gorgeous piece, though. And yep. It feels so nice. Oh, it's super soft. It's silk. You guys all thought I knew what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> That's what it says, written in Oriental. This is beautiful. Nice little jacket there. We have this is wool, Nan Elliott, size 12 sweater. We're going to include that. Kelly's in at 55 now. A green, like, pencil looking skirt that has these little designs on it. That's wool. 75 now from Tammy. Here's the stuff I was used to wearing right here. My little nighty. <laughs> it's a little bed dress. Yes, sir. When I wore this, they called me Chocolate Thunder. Oh, God, help us. <laughs> Told them. $250 melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Mm. Yep, yep. Bad jokes galore. Maybe you put that big foofy thing underneath this. Yes, no? Well, maybe. I don't know. This is more you take this to the hotel. Take this to the hotel? <laughs> Little House on the Prairie style? 80 now from Kelly. And here's a... Oh, this one got a tag. I'm excited when they got tags. 1960s men's blue Orlon cardigan. We've got a Benji from Tammy. Right there. So I made you a big lot. Because we are clearing the front of the warehouse, guys. We are bringing it to you. Petticoat would go under that. System. That's what I thought. Anyway. 110 now from the garden. See? Tell me. I know my skirts. It was, it was your chocolate undies that sold it. <laughs> <laughs> This jacket is awesome. That jacket is awesome. By Luchi Mao. Yep. <laughs> actually, really like this. It's really yeah, soft. It's, it's really, really comfortable. Nice. It's like it's almost like air inside of it. It just feels really nice. One twenty-five now from Tammy. Look, it's even got like they call him Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Dave Jackson. <laughs> Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. <laughs> to live. To live. Some nice designs. I think the back has a design all over it, too. All right, Kelly's going to be out. We're going to call it to Tammy at 125. So very neat. That's <laughs> velvet. I'm going once to Tammy. Going twice now. It's like a chiffon. <laughs> Look at all that. And with a fair one warning. giant lot. <laughs> That's how we do here, at Mr. Bazalot. You got it, Mama G. Thanks for your help, sweetheart. We appreciate it. <laughs> Can I model the wedding dress? My thighs don't look like they used to when I was working. I hear you, Mama G. Go ahead, honey. Thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, Janine. Thank you, guys. All right. We're going to be sold, sold, sold to Tammy. Congratulations. 125. Vintage clothing lot number 82. Thank you, guys. I'm sure there's some money to be made in there. How about you get that out of just that wedding dress? Okay. But this, we'll see how it does. Add some shoes to it. It's doing okay. We've got some interest. We'll 
we'll make the lots bigger. That's just what we do. This is a uh, punch bowl. It is not. <laughs> so, no, it's not. It's Lucia Mendez is what it says. A Lucia Mendez exclusive from New York. It is a ruched black satin hat, 1950s. But the name on it is Lucia Mendez from New York. Lot number 83. We're going to stop this bucks. off at $25 shift. Sure. 1940s black velveteen clutch with gold and silver. A little velvet with like gold lame trim. So really pretty. This is like metal wiring, like gold lame. Here's a little clutch. Oh, yep. See? 1960s navy leather clutch with clasp. Let's see. Hey, Jake Moon. I don't see any labels inside of it. But the clasp on the side. We have a pair of gold room combination last shoes it says 1960s black woven pumps they said new with box but i did not get no box with them they lied to me but you can see the patterns like a woven Pretty pattern good. these are really nice these are yeah, unused good. and then this is my favorite piece out of this lot yeah look at all the beads on this guys this is gorgeous and they didn't give me no label kelly's gonna come in at 25 Okay, but look at all the beadwork and sequins and everything. Oh, glass beads and sequins. There's a ton of work put into this. This just wouldn't fit, fit, yeah, wouldn't fit my bosom. Don't fit my bosom either. But it is pretty. And it's a nice, like, woven type pattern or, like, material. So you can see it there. 35 from Tammy. Okay. Got green glass beads for the stems. I want to almost say this is handmade. Okay. Yeah. I think so. It's a lot of work putting into that. It's a lot that. of work. I can almost think it's one of a kind handmade. There was a lot the of couture was, stuff in this. Just a lot of the way it was put together, for sure. Sure, for sure. I'm going to add another pair of shoes. These are marked Town and Country Shoes. And what do they say about these? 1960s black fail, fail. I don't know what fail is. Fail shoes with metal decor. Size 11 AAA. 11s. Wow. That look like an 11? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, because I wear a 10. Some big feet for a woman. That's all right. They're gorgeous. And us tall women, we have big feet. My wife ain't tall, and she got Ronald McDonald. You better feet, be says. careful what you say about your wife. Yet. She ain't here. She ain't can't hurt me. <laughs> so then we got a 1950s faux leopard fur hat with slouch crown. I said that right, right? Mm -hmm. This one is also La Celia Mendez exclusive, New York, with a union label on the inside. You people out there that know, gotta admit these guys were really good. They were in the know. Okay, another pair of shoes here. These are Polizzi. Polizzi. 1960s black patent leather pumps with cutouts, size 10 double A's. 10 double A's. Is double A like the width? Yeah, that's too narrow for me. Okay. Beauty pageant creations. These ones got little see-through windows on them, so your toes don't get lonely. Okay. Little see-through window cutout thingies. This is what this one says: 1960s salmon leather with vinyl insert, seven double A. Those are heels. And we have these are actually kind of neat. I like the clear sides. And then the, the leather strapling that goes up the middle. Mr. J. Andre, made in the USA. 
These are an 8M. See, now today that would have been 8 in men's. 1970s blue with clear plastic sandals. It says new with box. We do not have the box. And guys, we are leaving these labels with the items so that you guys can know exactly what they are. Yep, because I don't know. And we have Tammy in at 40, looking for 42 now, guys. This is a tremendous lot. One piece alone is getting you that. That's, that's pretty. Yeah, this is awesome, this one. It really is. You, you see all the detail in the beads. You guys wouldn't want me to be able to fit in this. I'd be naked on YouTube all the time. Yeah. <laughs> My figure would fit in that. And it's funny, too, because, you know what? I don't even think Brian knew when he originally set up the the lot he had put this with this with this and i think with that although that needs to be black but this, he's like oh great outfit <laughs> he almost got it all right <laughs> but yeah look you get one hey, i just want to point out i didn't make these lots oh okay i've got employees for that especially the ones that yell at me all the time for having too much stuff in here I mean, you got five pairs of shoes two purses Two hats and the dress. Yeah, bunch of stuff. Matthew Glisa. I'm sorry if I'm I'm mispronouncing it. Matthew, Matthew. Paglisia. Paglisia, sorry, man. Um, at 42, it is so marvelous. No, I get that, Kelly. I get it. Kelly's out. She's got no more room in her house. That's why they make storage <laughs> units and warehouses tractor trailer containers and well more warehouses and more storage units i understood that tammy's in for 45 it's a nice lot one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pieces so less than five bucks a piece shipped to your door it's pretty good i really like this thing too yeah especially the... that's made in india this is made in india guys is it yeah if you open it up, you can see. Oh, it is. Fifty dollars from Matthew now. Can I, I see the Paluzzi? Paluzio? Paluzio shoes, these ones? Yep. Paluzio. Fifty five from Tammy. P A L I Z Z I O. Paluzio. Here's the open. See, let me see my finger through it. There we go. That's what they said. So there. So that's 10 double A. They're called cutouts. Yes, they are cutouts. cutouts. Exactly. Super long and narrow feet. Yeah, <laughs> definitely narrow feet. Because if I was to put 10s on, they have to be wide for me. Well, at least these minimally. All right, we've got Tammy in at 55. Matthew, let us know if you're in or out. 60 would be the next bid. And this is shipped. Shipping is included. And if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so that you keep your wrench. Because if you're wrenched, that means you can participate in our auctions that I have weekly. Brian's doing auctions Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, 1 p.m. Eastern to 4 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew's in at 60. Unless we get a bunch of snow this week, and then I might cut out a little early. Yeah, he's not doing Thursday this week for sure, we yep. said, right? Yeah, no Thursday because I'm going to go to Boston and buy out that circus house. So it's going to take a... A toll on me. Friday and Saturday, I'm going to be gone. I have to swing by Long Island. Yeah. <laughs> no, you're flying, right? You said. I didn't want to fly up and rent a truck there and drive it back. 75 now from Tammy. 120 bucks for a ticket. One way up there for me and for Cody's 240 For me to save seven hours of wear and tear on myself mm -hmm. driving. It's worth the ticket. All right. Matt says out. Nice lot. We're going to sell it to Tammy. Going once for 75 
And with a fair warning, we are going to be sold to Tammy. I can imagine how beautiful this guy's shop was. I know. It's just, it wasn't in a good area. So, you know, obviously the business didn't stay. They apparently knew their stuff. Yeah, he should have had this, if he had this in like, you know, somewhere in the city. Oh, yeah, yeah. for sure. Thanks, that was sold. Okay. It's not mystery shoes from the same place. Mystery shoes. This is how. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, so you're going to get all the shoes in front of you. Mystery shoes. Vintage mystery shoes? No. Vintage mystery shoes? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're good. You want me to get to that that cart, right? That's what our our next goal is. That cart and that box right over there. Yes, please. Okay, you got it. That's what we're gonna do. See you guys. Okay. See you guys. Thank you very much for your help. Okay. It's going to be shoes. Shoes. Shoe, shoe. Vintage shoes. So this is marked 60s overstock shoes. If these were red, they'd look like Dorothy slippers from, from Oz. Combination last narrow heel. Lady love men adore her. These are some shiny mamma jammas. Just to move it along, guys, we're going to start this lot at 40. But there's a lot. There are a lot of pairs of shoes. So here's the next one. Go steady with Fiances, size Hi, 9. What's up, Chris? So these are clear lucite, 1950s clear lucite vinyl sandals with rhinestones. So if you notice, the heels on the shoes are lucite. And they have rhinestones in the back. So those are pretty. Nice jeweled fronts. Okay, these are Selby Arch Preservers. Intrigue Last. There's nothing on those as far as the label or anything. But this is what they look like. All right, Connie's going to start us off at 20. These are Saks Fifth Avenue, Fenton Last. Tammy's in for 50. Has like a mesh cut out in the front. Irid Beige Pumps with lace inserts, size 7.5, 1960s. Kelly's in for 60. Uh, 55, sorry. Custom Made Originals is what these say, so that means these were made specifically custom for somebody. 19... 50s men's black Oxford's new unused by custom made. These are really, really nice. 65 from Sammy. So that's what five pair. One, two, three, four, five. Holy moly. Shoes that's galore. So this one says Stom Stombry Philip Philipson. Stombry Philipson. Stanley Phillips, and maybe maybe that's what it is. Look on the bottom of that one here. Oh no, this one. No, no, no label on this. These, but Stanley Phillips, and these are cute. Someone's looking for those guys. Yeah, those are really cute. Someone wore them. Style Pride's Sweet Step. These are a seven double A. Nineteen sixties. Heels, that's what it says on the bottom. These are Nanette Originals. These have a nice look to them. They got like that little bit in the front here. 1960s, more overstock shoes. So that's what? Two, four, five, six pairs, seven, eight. We have real lights made in USA. These are pretty. They hey, have the, James. The cool fronts hey, with the rhinestones. 1960s. 
Lorax shoes with glitter and stone, size seven and a half. You have Ronelli Creation. Oh, Ronelli. Ronelli. 1950s Lucite sandals have Lucite hills on them with rhinestones going up them, carved. Those are nice. Uh, cobbles, a red something. Cobbles. 1950s navy leather wedges with plastic. So the plastic is in the front and the inset in the front. Uh, the toes on the sides. Garden in it, 70 now. And these are town and country. These are cute. 1940s overstock shoes. These are town and country shoes. So you got what? One, two, three, four, five. There's six over here, right? Yeah. Six, six seven, six, twelve. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve pairs. It's going to be an awesome deal. Shipped to your door. Here, give me all those bags. I'll go put them in the trash while they're bidding. Sorry about all the crinkling, guys. Shoe, shoe, shoes. 12 pairs of vintage shoes. Kaboos. Yes, Mary Harris. Kaboos. All right. Kelly's in at 70. Let us know. 12 pairs. For 12 pair. Some really cute shoes. I like the Lucite stuff. Yeah, you can't go wrong with a pair of Saks Fifth Avenue shoes. They had that price on just one pair. Mm -hmm. So we're at 80 with Kelly. 90 now with Kelly. 90 Kelly. Yeah. That's just one or two pairs of these shoes. What were these again? Talbert's mom. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that. The Dooney and Burke purse and that came from one of the set designers for the Marvelous Miss Maisel. And I did get some clothes from them, too, that were probably oh, used yeah. in that show. Yeah, yeah. That is the name of the show, yes. Mm -hmm. But I didn't think about trying to sell them stuff. I was too busy buying stuff <laughs> from them. How many Lucite? There's, there's two pair with Lucite heels. That pair and this pair here. Two pairs have lucite heels. So I have 90 with Kelly right now. Ship to your door. There's 12 pair. Even if you only get 20 bucks a pair, it's a great deal. Oh, and you will have that. Oh, for sure. The cheapest pair here you have. Maybe 25. Tamara's in at 100. Benjamin from Tammy. 110 now from the garden. Yeah, I wish I had the movie clients. That's what I would love to have. We could set up prop houses all day long. That's why t-shirts are going crazy. Every t-shirt that some band member wears goes crazy. I'm seeing T-shirts that I wouldn't pay ten dollars for selling for five hundred, a thousand. One twenty now from Tammy. And these Oxfords, I don't think they were ever worn. No, they look brand new. And they're really nice. New old stuff, as they say. Leather uppers. Custom made originals. One thirty now from the garden. My fun's buying. Oh, yeah, he did. <laughs> I still have. I mean, we've only sold a little bit at the concert t-shirts we had. What was the size on had. the Oxfords? The Oxfords. 
says a seven. So we have Kelly in at 130. All right, we're going to go once to Kelly. Tammy, let us know. Yep, they were a size seven, Tammy, just uh, in case you she didn't, didn't hear, hear me. Us, honey. I don't know if you heard us or not. Size seven. Out of all these, my mom would probably like this pair and that pair the most. Oh, my mom like, would like those pairs. Like the sure. little. Yep. She little wedges. Those little wedge, wedge things. All right, Tammy's going to be out. We're going to go twice now to Kelly at one thirty. And with a fair warning. Giant lot of shoes. We're going to sell this big box of shoes to Kelly the Garden. Okay. You guys stuck it out with us waiting for vintage clothes, so we're going to give you vintage clothes. So you can start showing you that. I'll go out and move the other pair off the table. We'll give them two tray lots. Two tray lots here, guys. Two tray lots. Two tray lots. Must be crazy. And this is a 1930s tiered yellow gown with bolero and belt. We'll double check and make sure. Yes, we do have the belt. There's the belt. Look at the detail on that belt, too. $40 start on this, guys. Well, that's that piece. The next piece is awesome. This piece is velveteen. A velvet? It's velvet. Velvet, velvet. Black Beautiful velvet. black velvet. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, wow. Is this a robe? It's almost like a robe. <laughs> I'd wear it as a robe. <laughs> I would. Santa Claus would too if he was gone. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can even see that because of the black. Oh, the big bow. The big bow, out. yeah. Chest. Can you guys see the big bow on this one? Is that for the hobbles? That's that. This is another. Uh, that reminds me of like a senorita, like going out cha cha dancing. Cha cha. See, like cha cha dance. So we can see this one a little bit better. Got a great sheer lace. Yeah, the lace on here. It is. It's almost got like a little of a Spanish cha-cha girl theme. Yep. And there's a jacket for it. It's got the asymmetrical cut there. It's like a shawl jacket. It does have sleeves, though. And I, I just heard on, I something. Fit. It's a weight. It's got a weight in it. Yep. Just to keep it hanging down. This is nice. So you've got a shawl with it. Sleeves. I'll probably show you the intricacy of that by doing this for you guys. There you go. Okay. All right. What's that dress? 
So that's three pieces, four pieces so far. Count the top and the dress separate. Okay. This one's really pretty. This is really pretty too, yes. It's like a ball this gown. This one is a black crepe dress with lace beading as is large. 1940s. Oh, it's got a beautiful collar. I'm sure the as is probably has a little bit to do with this. There is some marking, so we'll let you need to be clean. There you got your little fold overs, glass beads, like mercury glass beads, lace trim, super cute, nice thin waist. It's long and it's got a, um, oh, what do they call this? Like, um, not a ruffled, but a pleat. It's not even pleated, but it's very um, wide. I'm thinking what they call that type of style that you guys would know. We have Kelly in at 40 Kelly so far. Kelly comes in at 40. And that was all from one tray, and there's another whole tray yet, guys. But wait, there's more. That's how we do here. <laughs> nice twill. I think it's called twill. Yep. Tweed, twill. Twill, tweed, yep. Tweedle, dill, twill, whatever. Little pencil type skirt and a matching top with the jacket. Nice suit, nice vintage suit. Okay. And there may be tags or labels inside of these. I didn't really look too too much. The bottom has a slip in the inside. It's lined, yep. Lined bottom for sure. So pretty, cute. really pretty. Got a zip back, zipper works. Got a snap back, snap intact. Just, uh, you guys will have to do measurements. There's really no. We don't see any tags on this one, but really pretty. Nice vintage. That's nice that there's a set. Fills in for 45 now. That's another twill or tweed. This is a red, green, beige tweed skirt with pockets, small to medium. It says 1940s. I knew that had to be the bottom because you said small. I said that's not a small. <laughs> We're small, gonna... small to medium. So the back, again, there's a button back with, oh no, this is actually oh, the front. Got, that one's got a tag. Yep, this one does have a tag. Summit. Summit. Yep. Of Boston. Yep. Summit of Boston. It's a small to medium. Has pockets. Yeah, here it is. Yep. Summit, so again, of Summit of Boston. And then the pockets are in the back. Or maybe this is the front. This, yeah, this has got to be the front. This is the front. It's funny. Usually tags are in the back, but this particular one, the tags in the front. That's why I thought it was, oh, well, that's odd, right? Different. Definitely different. It does unbutton to the pocket. Cute. Really cute. It's got a little slit at the bottom. If I knew more about clothing, it would be, you know, great, but I don't. And I'm paying two bucks an item to send them into Cell Hound to hope that they get it right. And 95% of the time, I have to change the price anyway. Men's black formal jacket, 1950s. Nice. Cute little suit jacket. Nice line. It's got side slits, got inside pockets. Does need a little cleaning. A little roller brush on it, too. Oh, good. Just from it, just from sitting. Oh, this this reminds me of like seventies, right? Oh, I see my mom wearing this too. <laughs> Got the open shoulders. Yeah, I could see that being like early 70s, late 60s. Yeah. 
Size 11 is on this one. Well, I don't know. When did they start RN numbers? This one actually has an RN number. So I'm not sure when they started RN numbers. Not an RN, sorry. 50 50 on this. 50 cotton, poly, 50 cotton. Yeah. Nice buttons. These buttons actually are wooden. So that's what you get in this lot. Well, that's it. You got one. We got 50 with garden finds. Kelly? Men's jacket is two. The wool tweed is three. Four. Yeah, you're telling me, James, five. we buy a thousand listings at a time from them. And I reprice almost 50% of everything they send me back. Six. I had a jacket come back the other day at $112. I priced it at $289. It sold in 12 minutes because comps on it went up to 1000 bucks. Our end numbers came out in 1952 to be exact. And this one, too, this three piece. Yeah. Got the belt, With the belt, the dress, and the, and the jacket. And the really pretty. Really pretty. All right, that's what you get 12 pieces. And we have Jill in at 55. Yeah, vintage. They don't know how to price vintage for sure. Yeah, I try to only send in stuff that has labels. They that's, can only do stuff like bread and butter newer. and newer stuff. And it depends on which cell hounds rep you get to price your stuff to because Robbie sent stuff in where it's the same exact thing purposely just to see, right? See different do. size, small, medium, and large. Yeah. And they can come back at three different sizes. So they're still learning. They're still growing. Yep, and if if it has one stain on it, don't send it into them. Okay. If it has, if it has any spots, Floor. any flaws, we showed we showed a piece that was missing a button, and they priced it at thirty dollars. And the cheapest one sold was one with a rip in it for one hundred and thirty-five. So if Kelly at sixty, Jill is out. I didn't see Tamara in on this lot. All right, we're going to go twice to Kelly now. Okay, well, let's do a. I'm going to mix in something a little different in next, guys. I have more vintage clothing, though. We can definitely do more vintage. We've got a few more things we want to try to get off the cart over here. Here's that we got to. Okay. So our next lot up. Oh, no, I put it. I put it somewhere. Yep. Sure's up there. I've got it. Okay. So this lot's going to be some glasses. This is a early Ronald McDonald saves the falling stars, Ronald Adventure series. There, the shoes, right? Yeah, that's her lot. That's her area. This is a Welch's Muppets in Space jelly jar. Yes. It's the garden. Muppets in Space. Yeah, I knew where this was right. Gonzo jelly jar. Another Gonzo Muppets in Space jelly jar. Muppets in Space. This one's Animal. My favorite of all the Muppets. And you get Looney Tunes. These are a jelly jar as well for Welch's 1994. Looney Tunes, Tweety and Sylvester. There's two of those. Number five is Taz. Number two is Pepe Le Pew. Oh, mon chéri. My little love puffin. Taz. Yeah. This is lot number 86 we're on, guys. This is right. lot number 86. Yep, that was lot number 85, Janine. The clothing. And then you got Bugs Bunny. 
Kelly, you were 84 and 85. Right. And then here's a little just box of tin from Superheroes. Nice little lot, $15 start. Yep, so we're, we're should be on 86. Yep, we are. This is 86. Yep, we're on 86. Last lot was 85. Yep, there we go. All right, Brian's going to come in for 20. So there you go. You get three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve glasses, and then the ten. Thirty now to Brian. No problem. That's all right, Janine. No worries. 30 now from Brian. So we're at 60 on that last slide. Yeah, you want it for 60. It was not 75. It was 60. Yeah. I am not sure. Maybe 84 the lot before that. Did the shoes go for 75? Um, no, the shoes went for 90, I think. Yeah, shoes went for 90. Actually, shoes went for 120 or so. Yeah, so okay, yes. So lot 84, that was right. Lot 84 yep. was 75. Lot 85 was 60. Yes. Okay. Oh, well, then that's not, that was the shoe lot, 84. Okay, but eight, the next one was correct. all the shoes. Yes, correct. okay, 130 on lot 84. Sorry, guys. Yep, so 130 on lot 84. Lot 85 was 75, or 60. $60. $60. Yep, that's correct, Kelly. Yep. That's correct. Yes, yeah. It was the lot before that that had the shoes the oh, first. Oh, okay. Janine, Janine just missed the shoes. That's, that's fine. I lost it. I didn't do the shoes. Okay, perfect. No problem. We're all, all right, caught we up. Got it. Sorry about that, guys. So we have thirty dollars on these with Brian Mahoney. Brian Maroney, sorry. I saw something Police Academy earlier. I'm thinking <laughs> Mahoney. Mahoney, right. I think I wrote on his one of his tags. <laughs> oh, did you? Maybe that's what I saw. Probably. All good police academy. Yes, for sure. No worries. It's all good. I'm sure you do, Brian. <laughs> all right. We're going to go once to Brian. I'm going to go twice now. And again, thank you, everybody who's staying. We are going to offer some silver soon and some other cool items. Some bonuses for the people that are hanging tough. Yep. Hanging really tough. Good. Really good deals. Okay, so this is another miscellaneous type glass lot. A lot of mugs in here. I know everybody's been going crazy for mugs lately. Here's a pair of nutcrackers. You put your nuts in their mouth and, and they squeeze them. Little Navy sailor guy and a savage guy. This is lot number 87. You We're get the little bamboo the $20 shift. Hawaii plates. A awesome Neiman Marcus calendar from 2006. It sits on your like a paperweight and you can just turn it for each month. We have a couple little like made in Japan little miniature dishes, little cups. We have a Snoopy World's Greatest Skier plaque from Aviva. They're in 1970. 
You have a Batman or a Bat Power <laughs> koozie, Bat Magic. You have a the Humane Society of United States member. Oh, look, it was Stacy Lee's. There's a doggy and a kitty inside of a Santa hat. So I guess you had to be a member of the Humane Society to get that. I'm an accountant, not a magician. Cup, mug. So, 2015. This one's kind of neat. This one says, Sailing, fine art of getting wet and becoming ill while slowly going nowhere at great expense. Now, this one has some cracks in it. I can see them on the inside. From Beard and McKee's Well-Defined Dictionary is 1983, but this one does have some cracks. I'll do the big one last. New Daddy. So a New Daddy by Ross, Wallace and Berry Company. How about this one? This one's cool. Hey, baby, it's cold outside. Okay. Then you have an Adirondacks. This one says Made in China. We have Cornell University. Some kind of architectural one in New York Junior League, founded in 1901. You have a suction cup makeup mirror with light on off switch thing on my bob there. I don't know. I don't know. It says new brilliance on it. And last but not least, my favorite piece out of the lot is this cute little Aww. painted penguins. And it is marked, um, there's the back, right here, Otachari, Japan. It's a G. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, Otagari, Japan. Puffins. Puffins, there you go. If I had one of those, I'd name it Mary, and I could have Mary Puffins. That's what Mary Poppins is when she's smoking. Mm -hmm. Connie's books and things is in for 20. <laughs> hey, Mary, Mary Poppins here. What's going on? Come for, the, come for the stuff and get the entertainment for free. Because it's not worth paying for. Poppins with stuff in this. Okay, so that's the slot. We've got 20 with Connie. Looking for any advance? Looking for 22 now. Welcome, Mary. Again, thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us. I know we're going a little longer than we said we're going to, but we're probably going to run right up to the 8 o'clock hour, and then Donna's going to do her show on her channel. That allows us to clean out a nice section of the front. And remember, you can check us out on Tuesday and Wednesday this week here on my channel from 1 until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll be running unless it snows tremendously and I can't drive. We love making space and selling you guys stuff, but we can't risk. All right. Fair warning. We're going to be sold to Connie. Steal, steal, steal that one up, Connie. She's driving in some of, the, some of the conditions. Okay, we're going to do one more lot, and then I'll do another vintage clothing lot. And then I have a couple more lots on the far side. And we're, then we'll do some silver. How about some silver, guys? Silver you, works. You know what? You guys, you guys have been hanging out with us. So let's do the lot in front of you first. And then I will do a silver lot next. That's what I think. That's what we're going to do. We'll make that lot bigger. We want to get space, so we're going to make space. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got here. $25 ship to start on this, yep. guys. Starburst, so it's Star Trek on the front. Here's Babylon 5. Mything in action. Three of those. Another Starburst, the Star Trek guy, William Riker. Century Book, Starburst, 
with Arnold Schwarzenegger, Babylon 5. Then we get into some interesting stuff. Tracy Lord's first wave in Femme Fatales. I don't know what year this is. I'm going to open this up and let T take a look inside and see if she can find a year. But it's Sebastian Spence and an alien fighter, Tracy Lords, his new sexy series co-star. So that should be good right there, just Tracy Lords. Babes of Dungeons and Dragons, the movie. There's three of these. Femme Fatales. March, April, 2001. So that's from 2001. The other one's from 2001. This probably around the same time period. Then there's a poster in here for Deadlands. There will come a reckoning. Pinnacle Entertainment Group, Deadlands Pinnacle Entertainment. I don't know if that's a graphic novel or whatnot. Babylon 5 Crusade. Film Review 1999 Calendar. Here's a book, probably like a manga for Mazinga, for Mazinger. So one of the Shogun Warriors. That's kind of cool. There's some old Sunday News, 1971. Here's Beano Comic, 1965. Toy Fair Magazine with Indiana Jones on the front. Betty Boop's Sunday Best by Max Fleischer. Right, so this will be a... Uh, a graphic novel, comic book for Betty Boop. The Collector, number 22, Dan Atkins, 1971. Hogan's Alley, which is a magazine of uh, illustration art. Ultimate Marvel Superhero Toy Collector's Guide. This shows all the different figures and their accessories. T's probably going to need this in a week. Yeah, right. Anime X, 2006 program guide. Look, original concert program for Elton John. 1974. Wow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, this is very cool. Elton John Fan Club. You two could join the Elton John Fan Club. There's a little writing up here. Uh, these seem to be menus from French Night on some kind of a Sunway Cruises to Bermuda, 1984. Another menu, another menu, home lines, crest of the nine Bermuda parishes, right there, 1984 as well, Atlantic, home lines, another menu, another menu, oh, look at this, Whoa. Grooves Magazine, Kyle, number one snapper. for Kiss, free giant poster, oh, there it is, oh, the poster's the poster there. Still there, guys, wow. Kiss poster inside. Huh. 1978. It does have a crease down the front. Oh, 78. Hmm. Revel Tours. Born in 77. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to have been born in 78. I'll take a year younger. Sunway Varieties. So these are cruise menus. But that's. Kenneth comes in at 32. Kenneth Rosenberry in now at 35. Kent Kyle Elliott at 37. So that magazine's awesome. Oh, Jim Professor was just talking about menus. Oh, it was, Don. Yep. I miss my friend Don because yep. I've been so busy with auctions, I haven't watched them. Yep, Don. It's got like wax pencil on it, too. But the Tracy Lord's books are nice. So, and you get. So you get. Yeah, her now at 45. So you get all of that stuff. Plus, you're going to get. There's more. You're going to get a flask of fields. Hardback book. This is a Hirschfeld cover. And this is... i find you guys a year while you're bidding. 1972, first printing. Get that. The Films of W.C. Fields. This is a paperback. It is 1972. It's a second printing. Pictorial History of Great com uh, Comedians, hardcover with dust jacket. Striker in for 55. 1970. Now. Who's on first? 65 now with Snapper. 1972. 
A Vogue magazine. Or part of a Vogue magazine. April it just 1st. says April 1st there. 1966. Oh, great year. That was a this. great year. Great year. That was a great year. That was a great year. Look at all the hmm. pretty like clothing designs. <laughs> Look at all the beautiful clothing, clothing designs. Great fashions from 1966. Here's a whole bunch of little cookbook things for Pillsbury. Bake Off cookbooks. And then last but not least is some kind of military bureau of ships, the Navy Department, radio equipment log, Navy ships. This is restricted. This was on the USS Jensen, Jansen, J-N-S-S-E-N, D-E, classification D-E-396. So my guess is you weren't supposed to have this out. 1945, so World War II. Yeah. So this is all about the radio equipment. It even tells you nature of modification, modification made by New York Norfolk on June uh, 21st, cable and radio phone unit installation. Like it's actually written in. Here's diagrams. So this is pretty awesome. Here's the contractor that they dealt with, the date it was installed. So this would have been on the ship for World War II. That's pretty crazy. There's a lot of pages that are empty, but then there are pages that have a bunch of stuff in them. Like right there, this is all written in hand. So very, very cool. 75 now from Stryker. This is probably a rare piece, especially since it's restricted. Well, it was restricted back then. Kyle's in for 80. Stryker's in for 85. You never know what we're going to have here. 90 now from Kyle. Just never know. Because I don't really look, guys. I just buy big lots of stuff, and I bring it here, and I sell it to you. There's the Benjamin. 100 from Kyle. Nice, nice lot. Striker's going to go out. Any other interest? We're going to call it down. I'm going to go once. It's a nice lot. With a fair warning, we're going to call it to Kyle for $100. Congratulations. And ladies, we're going to be sold to Kyle. Congratulations. Okay. As promised. No, we don't have all of our silver bars in here. That means somebody else is going to get a better deal. Grab a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Okay. So let's go with, let's do the two Walking Liberty halves. 1942, this is silver. 1942. 1936. And then this one does not have a mint mark, but this is a Morgan 1880 silver dollar. So that's what we're bidding on. 1880 silver dollar and two half dollars. So we have Evil Lenny in at 30. Treasure Hustlers jumps into 40. Silver Stacker in at 50. Mama G. No client at the auctions, Mama G. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> 
<laughs> was she trying to say like she said she was i was wondering why she was telling evil lenny to go away before oh. because she wanted to have no competition <laughs> she said thank god kk's not here and go away evil lenny yeah oh lenny's in at 55. they said that book might be a no-go for something that book might be a no-go for yeah. I think that I think that the classifications have time restraints. Yes, yes. So, it's 1945. It's World War II. I think you're fine. Yeah, I think that was a. Uh, you're fine to sell that stuff. It's probably a hundred dollar book. Just so you know. yeah, I'm sure it's declassified by now. It didn't actually give out coding. It just uh, gave logs. Logs just of who, logs. who was doing the repairs, repairs and stuff. That's all. So you're getting all three of these. <laughs> uh, Kyle, maybe he's in it. <laughs> that would be awesome. Mama G got her coins earlier this week, Lenny. Don't worry. <laughs> Silver hair stacker is out. Thank you, Todd. Thanks for All right. We've got Lenny in at 55. Treasure hustlers are out. We're going to go once to Lenny. Yep, KK's not here now. <laughs> Your chance. Sixty now from Matthew. Okay, Scotty, we will. <laughs> he said put up more lots of coins so we spend all the Lenny's money. <laughs> <laughs> I have something that I'll put up that I think Lenny will be very excited about. And I don't think there's competition for it tonight. Which may not be the smartest thing I could do, but, you know, that's all right. And we're going to reward everybody for hanging in seven and a half hours with us. That's right. Farmer! <laughs> you missed some awesome stuff, Farmer. Where's the five ounce Janine wants to know? Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> All right, Lenny, let us know. We need a $65 bid or an out from you. We've got Matt in at 60. That's a big job switch, Brian. We should touch base with Kelly, the garden. You know what, Scotty? I'm going I'm to bring that up. I forgot about it. And we are definitely going to be rewarding the people who are staying. So, yep, yep, Farmer missed all the naughties. He missed the $1,100 plate. Yeah, which not, he donated to me, Farmer. Awesome. Not the plate, the money. Yep, whatever it brought, T got. That was for helping this weekend. Evil Lenny's in for 65 now. All right, Matt's going to go out. All right, Stryker says he can stay another six hours. <laughs> I can't. My feet are killing me. <laughs> no, they're really not, to be honest. I, I was expecting to, but they really, it's really not. Yeah, not too bad yet. What kind of food was on it? Palmer wants to know. $1,100 plate. What kind of food uh, was on it? It was a rare number Jiminy 18 Cricket. of 25. Made 
Jiminy Cricket. Charger. Charger. Signed by Brenda White, Disney illustrator. It's probably a three thousand dollar plate. Yeah, I got four, but okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. We won't comp it up too much for Brian. <laughs> Listen, whoever gets it at least doubles their money. I'm thinking yep. triples. I'm just happy for him. I'm just happy for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy for her too. Sold to yeah, Lenny for sixty five. All right, thank you, Lenny. Yes, I did. Oh, tissue. See that. Okay. A nice mix lot right here. And then I'm gonna get the I'm gonna get another banger for you guys since you all stayed. I'm gonna bring something up that everybody else is gonna regret that they didn't stay for. So Studio News, Wizard of Oz. This is a program courtesy of Hyperion. It's reproduced from the 1939 program. This is probably 79. Now, for those of you who know toys, these are from Mark's Best of the West figures from 1974. This is the instruction sheet for Jane West. This will sell by itself. Toys are kind of my thing. But I told you guys, if we started getting good bids and good action here at the auction, I would stop putting most anything online. I got to keep my workers doing something, but the majority of stuff that's a little harder to describe, I'm going to do it here. At the end, Evil, I will. Equipment manual, Sheriff Garrett. This is his instruction sheet, 1974. $10 start, guys. $10 start from the Aurora model kits. This is the Allosaurus prehistoric scene model kit. We have original wax wrappers for ET. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's either nine or ten here of those. This is probably from a Mark's playset. It's a little Snoopy dog right here. A Soupy Sal's pin back button. Nope, Lenny, you didn't. So this is a Dopey from Disney. Right there is the Walt Disney Productions. Mark on the back, his head just needs to be popped out. Those go, there's a box that's marked coins if that's what you're looking for. It's right there. It's right over here. See? Over here, above MPPF 1 through 110. So these are Snoopy. Okay. If you're into non sports cards in this lot, there is a nice group of Marvel comic book heroes, 1974. Uh, some of them are backwards, some of them are frontwards. Farmer's asking, Brian, do you have any S stuff in boxes? Any S stuff? Or any, what's S stuff? Any oh, S. Ness. Ness. Um, Farmer, I have so much stuff I really don't know. <laughs> Over at the other warehouse, it's very possible, um, but not that I know where it is. Luke Cage, 1974 superhero stickers. You get some Charlie's Angels cards. It's a Spider-Man. Janine, I have this as a lot 90. Iron Fist, Daredevil. So you get all these non-sports cards. Another Snoopy book. This looks like $6 million man. Charlie's Angels. Welcome back, Cotter. I don't know what that one is. What are you looking for? I moved it over earlier so when we were doing the poster. Charlie's Angels. There's some more non-sports, and then Wacky Package's 8th Series Checklist. So far, you get all that. There's a little metal charm of a lion. Hello Kitty pencils. Dynamite little monster cards. A Fisher-Price wooden person. A trophy for a Dusty doll. This goes to the so Rimco Dusty doll. Uh, this is probably Play School, little bear. This is a single shoe for a Johnny Unitas doll. Or Joe Namath, I'm sorry. I don't know who the other shoe is. A little pin here. Mama G, honey, I got this. Don't worry about it. You got to rest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead. You take it. You know what? We're good. 7.20, you're going on with Donna at 8. Go take a nap. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I promise. So these are these I are banks. It. It. And it's up to Janine, but I'll, I'll stay with Janine. No worries. Unless she wants to go, too. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're good. We know we're working you guys over time, but it's fine. I, I, can, I can handle it. I'm good. So these are 10, 10 litho banks. There's four complete ones here and then a whole bunch of halves up there. 
These are early. These are 1940s. There's a little box of parts for some game for monetary value stuff. There's a 1977 Hallmark date book. And then you have these awesome plaques, Nakedness is Next to Godliness, 1974, Wallace Berry and Company. These are in the packages, unused. Crazy Zoo. Looking for a starting bid of $10 on this guy. Free lunch, $0.10. Cents. Street Now. You have a metal car mold. Oh, no one, no one, Janine. I just feel like you guys have been here forever today, and I'm, I'm fine. I, I can handle the rest if you guys Donkey want Kong. To take a break. This is an Atari like ColecoVision cartridge. Eckerd Drugs playing cards. 3D glasses. A 1975 Raggedy Inn. Steve Vosh. Steve Vosh in a 12. First edition Detective Comics. Well, this is some kind of a. 20. Like Treasury Edition book, American Artist, a Watson. Nineteen. This is from nineteen fifty one. Steve Vosh now at twenty two. So it's very cool. We have a poster of something, and a press photo from Aliens Three. All right, honey, you've been here a while. I appreciate it. We yeah, so absolutely. Appreciate it. Yeah, we do. I mean, you and Mama G worked your butt off today. Lewis Gossett Jr. and an alien. So this is the uh, poster for VHS tapes available on video cassette for Enemy Mine and Iron Eagle. Twenty six from Steve, twenty eight now from Connie. So it's a lot of stuff in here. These these little plaques are good. Yeah, they're still, still sealed. sealed. Yep. All the non sports cards are decent. A little Atari game, bunch of Snoopy stuff. It's a good sellable lot. Just was in the bottom of a box that I was doing, and these are nice 1940s globe banks. Ten litho, and then a whole bunch of extras. For the kitties too. All these non-sports cards, including superhero ones. The Walt Disney piece, Soupy Sal's pen, the comic book thing for the um, the instructions and comic for. Prehistoric Scenes Allosaurus. Johnny West Adventure, Sarah Garrett, Instruction Manual. Jane West, Instruction Manual. Nine or ten E.T. wrappers. The Wizard of Oz, uh, Studio News, Reproduction. That's not, not old. And the little Raggedy Ann piece. All right, and we have Connie in at 32 now. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> Farmer, he's not backing down on that price because he doesn't stop buying. He's going to Boston this weekend to pick a circus lot up. But Farmer, if you haven't heard, he bought five storage units. I'm not backing down on what price for what? He's like, now that you sold some things, what's your what's your bottom line price for you know the whole sale, the whole kit and caboodle? A million dollars cash. Yeah. No change in the price because he no. keeps filling it back up again. Yep. If you buy it after after another week from now, it's going to have another 18-foot truck. I sold a minivan worth of stuff, and I'm putting an 18-foot box truck worth of stuff back in it. <laughs> yes, Palmer. <laughs> 34 now from the Treasure Hustlers. Look, that includes 40,000 rock and roll posters. All right, we have Treasure Hustlers in the 34. Thirty-six now from Connie. I hear you, Talbert's mom. I get it in and it goes out just as fast. Talbert's 
Connie's in for 36. Oh, yeah, some people do. Okay. Yeah. All right, Treasure Hustlers, let us know. Matt comes in for 38. Honey's out. Gonna go once now. Treasure hustlers are out. We're gonna sell it to Matthew. Shipping included in the one million dollars. <laughs> Where's he at? Uh, See, Texas. Like Midwest somewhere. Yeah. For you only. I'd do it. What the heck? It'll be about four tractor trailers at least. What's in this lot? Quickly, 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 quickly. So some non-sports cards, uh, an Atari game, some plaques, four 1940s tin uh, globe banks, a dopey uh, puppet, a treasury edition book, two Johnny West, best of the West uh, instruction manuals, and a few little Snoopy things and some non-sports cards. Yeah, I don't own the warehouses. Yeah. <laughs> that's what makes it, that's what makes it appealing because then I save All almost right, $3,000 a warning, month. We're going to call it. We're going to call it and sell it to Matthew for $38. And ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's not too, I mean, it's not really too bad if you think about it, because we have a sold to Matthew. 160,000 listings on eBay for over $7 million. A million dollar mystery box. That sounds awesome. And we have. Are we doing lot number 39 to Farmer? Million dollar mystery box? Is that the next lot? <laughs> almost 3 million items that are not listed. So. Okay. So this is. Lot number 91. Right. So this is an original document. I know Evil Lenny likes this stuff. So this is relations between the United States and Northwest British America. This is from 1862. This was a government report, but the reason that this one's here, I don't list any of them that have the maps because I like the map ones. And these are colored maps from 1862, right here. Bowen and Company lithographers from Philadelphia. And this shows all of the United States and some of the trade routes uh, into Canada. So this is Canada above us in the top of the United States. So $10 start, 1862 orig with original map. This is the full report for this document. I would recommend anybody that really has interest in doing that, you come here and look. And I can show you stuff that would blow you away. I mean, I have in for ten dollars. Evil Lenny's in for twenty-five. I have ten thousand dollar books. There's gold coins. There's everything. Toys he hasn't even gone through in the back of this warehouse for sure that I know. Oh, there's so much stuff. I've got the original artwork for Nirvana posters. Uh, original artwork for Kiss posters. So $10 on the 1862 with a map. 27 now from Connie. Okay. Robert's mom says she doesn't even have a million pennies. <laughs> a million pennies is a good amount of money. Is that $10,000?
Evil Lenny's in for 40. Connie's out. We're going to sell it to Lenny. We're going to go one snail. You know, a good example, I have 100,000 of these. 100,000 government reports. They don't all have maps, but I have 100,000 government reports from 1802 to 1905. Hey, we sold. Sold. Okay, let's do another one that I have hidden here. This one's awesome, guys. Ten dollar start. I probably don't even need to show it to you, but to put it nicely, okay, hold the side there, too. Yep. Okay. C and I are going to open this one up, and I'll show you guys what's really awesome about this. And look, you guys are going to get away with a steal because KK is not here. So this is Indian Reservations within the United States. Honorable D.M. Browning, Commissioner of Indian Affairs, 1894. Yeah, he got coins as well. Yeah, you can just put it in the coin box, buddy. So it's a nice, nice large map. Marks the Indian Reservations. Yep, shows the Indian Reservations. All right here, all the orange spots are Indian Territory. But look at this. Look, these are all maps. I don't even know if that was part of this lot, but there's one, two, three, four. So there's seven maps in this lot right here. You can see them right there. And they're most of them are pretty large. Hey, Robbie Lake, that the year on this map is 1894. The, yep. It is. Yep, the Indian Reservation map, that one is 1894. This is the West Indies with the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean Sea. This one. <laughs> what are you talking about? Maybe it's not. <laughs> I guess these are Oops. Okay, let's see if I can get you here. And this one, this is 1892. From the Bureau of Navigation, Navy Department, Washington, D.C. So an 1892 map, you can see, even says West India Hurricanes. Okay. 75 now from Jade Moon. So you're talking 1800s maps. And this is map number one, plus the Indian Reservation map. So here's map number two. No, I think it's, oh, no, that's all number one. This one is Galveston, Texas. Yep, it says the Galveston Bay is what it says. Galveston Bay, Texas. Right there. These are all nice, large fold-out maps. And Lenny is in now for up, oh, Benji. So this is pretty awesome. And this, this is only two maps out of seven, guys. There's seven in the book, and then the Indian Reservation map. Oh, eight maps total. So eight maps in this lot. I haven't opened it up to look at it, because generally when the guys find them, when we're doing the reports, when the guys find them with maps, they just set them to the side, and there's are for me. And I put them in boxes, and nothing happens to them. Coast of Texas from Sabine Pass westward to High Island. So it has a whole bunch of different numbers for, I guess, different topographical things, different lakes, all from 1892. So these are awesome. All right, Jade is out. Holds up. Are we doing eight maps? Yes, we're yes. doing eight maps. We there's can't pull them all up together because they're still in the book. Yep. So we're just yep. opening them from the book. Yep, so you guys can see them and so you can know what they're for. This one looks like another bay, right? Delaware, Delaware and Chesapeake, Chesapeake Bays. I'll have to open the rest of it. Yeah. That's okay. They can see. Yeah, we hate to keep handling this stuff too, guys. Yeah, because... this is definitely 1892. 1892. 110 now from 
Obviously, the color one is the Indian Reservations of 1894. So that one's pretty awesome. That one wasn't part of this little book. I just added it in here because it was with it in the pile. Baltimore Harbor. This is Baltimore Harbor and approaches Maryland. Maryland. So it has Fort McHenry shown. Um, shows some other forts. A bunch of the streets. We got 150 else. now from Todd Miller. So, 1892. These are awesome. That's number five. Hey, Lone Star Picker. Yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> this is number six. This is Annapolis Harbor, Annapolis, Maryland. Shows different water depths, and I guess by the colors. And there's numbers everywhere 23, 25, 22. This is just like a little book of nothing but maps. This one. And then number seven is another biggie. Let me see, they've got 60 now. 1892 map, Chesapeake Bay, coast, uh, coast chart number 135. From Choke Tank River to Mahogany River, surveying the coast of the United States. Awesome. I've been hoarding back all the all the maps and all the ones with like I have patent ones. That have, oh, there's actually eight maps in this book. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, so you're getting nine pieces now. River, Maryland, Tannock. P-A-T-U-X-E-N-T -E River. I'm sure Mike is bad. Oh, my mic is bad? Might be dying. What are your problems? So oh, maybe. All right, so I'll put the other mic on. Hang on. It could just be the... Uh... Turn it off and turn it back on. Yeah, it, it cut back. That's what it was. It just it shut itself off. No. Yeah. Is that better, guys? Yeah. Turn it back on. No, it's almost dead. It's fine. You <laughs> say no, no, it's not any better. Why well, didn't turn it back on? It's rechargeable. So it's connecting now. I have it plugged in, so hopefully it'll, it'll let me do it while it's plugging in. All right, we have a high minute. Oh, no, no, it's not. So you have the, you have the yeah. mic on over there. I can do it from my phone. Absolutely. So Farmer says, Farmer says when we're all finished. All right, hold on, guys. Hold on. We'll, we'll get it. We'll, we'll get it. There we go. We're good. There we go. Okay. One more. Okay. One more. What you guys should do is my phone. What you guys should do is my phone. All right. Can you guys hear me from right. here? Can you, guys hear me? Can you guys hear me now? We're good. Okay. Okay. So farmer wants a five hundred dollar mystery box. Of what? Because he can't spend the million. Okay. Five hundred dollar mystery box. Okay. Well, can he give me some kind of? Does he want rock and roll posters? Does he want movie posters? Does he want old maps? Does he want miscellaneous ephemera? So you get eight maps and then the Indian Reservation map from 
Okay. All right. No problem. All right. We have Lenny in at 160, guys. So you get nine total maps. I'll tell you what, Farmer, if you wait like a week, I have 10,000 turn-of-the-century CDV cabinet cards, daguerreotypes, embryotypes, and cabinet photos coming. He does okay, cool He's stuff. You got it. He's not I'm sending him to use women's panties, you know that, right? Size 5. <laughs> He's just kidding. They say they were in a tin can again. It's going down again. Okay, well, let's turn it on over there, and I'll turn it off over here. That's Todd said he wants the panties. <laughs> All right, Farmer. All right, guys, can you hear us? Better now? What do you think? All right, we're going to go with that. There we go. We, we turned the mic off. The mic yeah, is off. We went back to the computer mic. All right. Any more interest? We're going to call this to Lenny at 160. And the colored map is awesome, especially since it's Indian reservations. And you guys are making your steel because KK's not here. She likes our Indian stuff, her Native American. Todd Mill is in for 170 now. Toss him in some hot looking babe posters too. He likes the ladies. <laughs> we will we'll work it, Alpha Farmer. We, yeah. we, we get it. We'll get it. I'm going to put silver in his box. I know he likes silver. I'll clue him in on some of Farmer's stuff. All right, Farmer, you got it. You got it. Yeah, Farmer, the only person who's going to see that stuff before you is me. <laughs> well, that's not true. I already tried to buy the whole thing. <laughs> I ain't even seen it. <laughs> no, I did not buy 20 units. Stop starting rumors, Farmer. I got my husband in angry with me already with five packed 10 by 20s. <laughs> All right. Oh, you didn't tell him that the guy's bringing another room full of stuff? <laughs> oh, I, I forgot uh, about that. He's throwing that in, though. Yeah, oh, okay. 170 to Todd. Let us know, Lenny. We need 180. Yep. We get nine maps. Nine maps. Okay, Iris, we will do. And then I'm going to do something else awesome for you guys. It's because it's a big thank you for you guys hanging out. Put these in the bag just so that they're sealed and safe. Lenny, let us know if you're out or in. Well, there's there's eight bay posters. Going once. There you go. Eva Lenny, if you're in or out, let us know. We're gonna go. We're going once already. We're gonna go twice. Oh, that's not good. Well, guess he'll have to buy the next group of maps I bring out. Sold, sold, sold. Sold. Oh. Thank you, Farmer. Thank you. 180 to Evil Lenny. Did Janine say sold? No, she did not. Oh, our legs killed him. All right, that's why we ask you guys to bid as quick as possible. Yep. Oh, you had buffering. Stupid internet. 
Yeah, some of them come to me. Oh, okay. <laughs> if it's before, if it. If it's before you see sold on the live chat where she has it typed out, then it's in. If you see it after the live chat, after she says sold, then he's he's in. Yeah, because of the lag on the internet for the thing, that's why they type it. But nobody worry, I've got hundreds, not thousands of maps. Yeah, it's just, whenever you do the online auctions, that is the, the downfall of the internet. You probably have about a 30 second lag. All right, Todd, just let us know if yeah. you're in or out, honey. Okay. Okay. No Todd problem. is Todd. out. All right. We're going to call to Lenny at 180. Okay. Here we go. Going once. Going twice now. Hey, for everybody who stayed in the chat, our bangers are coming up. We're going to do some things great for you guys. And with a fair warning, we're going to be sold to Lenny for $180. Nice buy, Lenny. Congratulations. You will probably get that out of the Indian name. Okay, World War II ration chest. So this is a ration box. Would have had food rations inside of it. World War II German is what you can see. I'll probably do this just to not offend anyone because anybody bidding on this knows it's there. The chest is where's a measuring picture. tape? Yeah. But has both wooden handles on the sides. Guaranteed authentic. 20 and a half inches wide with the handles and 16 and one quarter inches wide or deep by 10 and a half inches. If you don't count the handles, it's 18 by 16 and a half, 16 and a quarter by 10 and a half. $25 start. Oh, really? Why not? Oh, my God. What All the right. Heck? $25 start on this, guys. Right? Let's have fun. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> you got 25 with Farmer. 50 from Scotty. Yes, Evil Lenny, it will fit in T's car. <laughs> 60 now from the Lone Star Picker. There you go. There's the inside. I guarantee this could be authentic. 75 now from Kyle Turan. I just like gambling. Casino's closed. Yes, yes, Glenn, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. 80 now from Scotty. Yes, it is, Glenn. Eighty-five with Kyle. <laughs> Eighty-five now at ninety. 100 now from Farmer. Very cool box. 110 now to Scotty. Any way to get a close up of the logo? 
you need to see the bottom part of it or is seeing the eagle okay? I just don't want to get in trouble with anybody. Scotty's in for 135. I got this and I got uh, two pieces of trench art from the same guy. And the trench art I sold to a buddy of mine. I was going to give this to my son. Actually, I was going to give this to Aiden because he loves vintage military. But we have friends that come over and visit him. and I just You don't want to cause like any him. issues. 150 now from Kyle, 160 from Scotty, 175 now to Kyle. I didn't feel like you know trying to explain that. To 185 to Scotty. They come over because I deal in history and we don't want to repeat it, so... Please show the bottom. Two hundred now from Kyle. Two ten from Scotty. Some of the nails are starting to pop a little bit. <laughs> How old? <laughs> Eighty years. Yep. Eighty-ish years. Yes, Talbert's mom. Yes, farmer. I wish I had the lid for it. The lid would be I know, awesome. But that would be awesome. Imagine. So I'm giving you guys the spin around view because I don't have a turn. spin view. Two twenty five now from Kyle. Because I don't have a turn stop here. Much noise that way. I'll show you guys another piece I got from the same guy. Okay, Lone Star Picker says out. I'm current past my budget. Okay, two fifty from Kyle. Thank you for thank you for letting us know though. We appreciate yeah, when you guys let us know that you're out. It just helps us move that much quicker. We're trying to fit in one more lot before we go. We'd love you guys to see this. Um, and you guys like the historical stuff, so you're treating me right. I'm going to treat you right. I agree, Lenny. Yeah. All right, we have Kyle in at 250. Scotty, let us know. Okay. All right, Scotty is out. We're going to go once to Kyle at 250. Thanks, Lone Star Picker. <laughs> He's gotten me enough. It's time for me to buy him a steak. Are you kidding? <laughs> All right, Farmer. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're going to go. I'm going to call it to Kyle at 250. Scotty's out. Farmer's out. We're going to go once. Lenny's out. Thank you guys for letting us know. Never, never tell Bert's mom. <laughs> <laughs> going twice now. And with a fair warning, Lone Star Picker, it's a pet peeve of mine. Please don't do that. <laughs> And we're going to be sold for $250. Oh, the dots. Yeah. the heck out of me. <laughs> okay. This piece also came from the same guy. It's another banger. And you guys are getting the deals because I like to reward people who stay for the whole auction. Oh, did I say Kyle Elliott? I didn't mean to say Kyle Elliott. <laughs> it's not Kyle Elliott. No, I didn't say it. Janine said it. Right no, it's Kyle Tehran. Yeah, <laughs> I know which Kyle. Thanks. 
Thanks, Kyle. Yep. So there's the box for the item I'm putting up. Here's the original instruction sheet. Directions for using the reflectoscope. Here is the reflectoscope that went in this box. Wow. Look at this piece, guys. Yeah, it's very cool. Um, I don't have a cord or anything that plugs into it. So I think it's something you used to plug in there. So you could put a bulb in or you could put a candle in it. But here is the piece. Obviously, it's very, very early. It's the turn of the century, if not older. It's probably. Probably 18, uh, 1860s, 1870s. Somebody had put a postcard inside of it. Oh, yeah. So, right there is the inside. I will show you there is a light bulb inside of it. I guess this is a much newer bulb than what originally went inside. But probably something very similar. And you can see this stuff has the striped paint right there. So what do you want to start this at? Uh, 30 bucks. $30 shipped on this to start, guys. This side's a little nicer. But very, very cool. Like if you're into really early odd items, this is awesome. Here's the original box. It has the original label. Right there, the reflectoscope. Fiddle with 100 to 112 incandescent bulb. Also, gas appliances department. All right. Alco gas appliance. Todd's going to start us off at 50. From New York. This is the original box. The little wooden crate that it came in. No top on this. No top. And here is the instructions. The guy even framed the instructions before he sold it to me. <laughs> it's like my father would do something like that. I've seen just this piece before. I've never seen one with a box and the instructions. And the box is fully dovetailed. You can see right there. So, very awesome piece for those of you who like historical items. And this is about as early as you can get in this type of thing. everything there okay so we have todd in at fifty dollars the manual special yeah especially in a frame scotty did the other one you saw have a box mm -hmm. yeah the box is awesome so we're at fifty dollars on this lot Looking for 55, guys. Next bid is 55. Oh, it did. Mm -hmm. nice. They came with the postcard for demo. Oh, very cool. Yeah, the postcard that was in this one was like a 1980s Snow White postcard. <laughs> So at fifty dollars with Todd, let's go ahead and start calling it. All right, we're gonna no. go once to Todd at fifty. If there's no other interest, there's no other interest, I'm okay with selling everything. Todd's gonna steal it up. Like I said, guys, just remember I will be back on Tuesday from one until four p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on my channel. Make sure you thumbs up, share the channel out. If you're not signed up for auctions for you make sure you do that and we're gonna go twice now super cool piece 85 of you stayed with us we appreciate you guys 
especially a lot of you who hung out. Oh, snapper, a little too late, honey. We called it. Sorry. We're going to be sold to Todd for $50. Nice buy, Todd. Awesome Sorry, buy. snapper. It's called on my screen before you got in. But next week, guys, Tuesday, I'm going to have some awesome stuff coming up. Um, the CDV cabinet card embryo type lot will be coming in to me. I should be getting it Wednesday or Thursday. And I don't know what's in it. Uh, I can tell you there is an amateur um, boxing piece that is very cool that is in it. Um, it is a Navy boxer, so probably like golden gloves. There's pictures of him as a kid, pictures of him boxing. So just, just some awesome stuff. And thank you guys for hanging in with us. We so appreciate it. Absolutely. All day. <laughs> Seven hours, eight hours now, just hitting the eight-hour mark. Um, go over and visit Donatella Badalino. Thank you, Mama G, for dropping her link in the chat. Don't forget, we do auctions on my channel and Donna's channel all week. I'm usually on with her tonight, but I'm going to bow out tonight. Mama G's going to go over and keep her company, and I appreciate that. I appreciate Janine Ketchum. Thank you so much for all your help today. Mama G, everyone who stayed with us, so thank appreciative. And, and, a, and a so much thank you to, to Brian for his generous gift to me today. Oh, my God. I still want to cry about it. No crying at the auctions. I know. I'm not allowed to cry at the auctions. But <clears throat> appreciate you guys. Look forward to seeing you over on my channel. Five storage units coming to you in the next couple of weeks. And thank you, Farmer. I try. You know me. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. And we'll see you see soon. You guys.